Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to more Dungeons and Dragons. Early Dungeons and Dragons by four minutes. Are we early or are we not as late as we thought we were going to be? We are early because it was scheduled to happen in four minutes from now, and therefore. All right. Yeah, checks out. Well, Sargon, what happened last week? Uh, well, the week before last week, wasn't it? Um, uh, so, uh, you went to the north, to the Wildlands. You found the missing um, a company of men who had been ambushed by a bunch of orcs. Uh, you rescued four of them. You ran to them, uh, brought them back to Tarbur, received a small reward, then went back to Ilandora. Uh, Ilandora then told you that uh, you you told Ilandora that Viten had sent the expedition to the north to try and find the Mithril mine, and he was not authorized to do this. Uh, Ilandora realizes that this is a problem as it seems that Viten is trying to enrich himself without telling the king, who is the owner of the Mithril mines. Uh, and so you are in Amar at the moment, waiting for. Uh, Ilandora to converse with Selendra about what to do next. And you were looking for some armor, I think it was, and you came across an antique store, and the owner suggested you bring back an orc slave, and he'll pay you 10,000 gold, and then chaos ensued. Yeah, that was a <laughs> yes. strange quest to be offered out of nowhere. It's not a yeah. quest. <laughs> it's well, we, quest. we discussed literally, it. There's uh, literally no tab that comes up that says quests on it. There is, there is a... You see, there's there thing is down on the my road screen. Me, there is... Down the road from me, there's a target, and they are hiring. I don't consider that a quest. Exactly. Well, um, we, we discussed things. Off that would be an adventure, we, though. We said it would be fun to actually go to Keora and uh, see, see what's happening at the good old academy. Yes. Um, our plan, I think, is to give... Uh, Dev, did you get that armor, or do we need to take a last look before we head out? I did not get... Oops, I did not get that armor, no. Didn't happen. Um, well, um, we well, can actually, give that what, a look what, if we can before we head out. Well, is it the same day as when I looked last time? Because if so, I've already oh, used up my looking. Let's uh, actually, just to make sure everyone's caught up. Uh, yeah, we've decided to go to Kaora, which is the town to the southeast that um, the Mages Guild is headquartered in. Yeah, they may be interested in hearing about the orcs as well. Yeah, yeah. Should we um, should we consider who we are and are not going to tell about the orcs? Do you think that's something that we should tell to pretty much every person of high status, or should we kind of keep it more to ourselves? It's a state secret. Them? Like, like it, it's not something that we're supposed to keep hidden. That in the north of us, there was a kingdom and it's overrun by orcs. And chances are, most that's people wouldn't believe us anyway. Like the guy at the back didn't believe us. But, but the mages guild may want to know, like they're the keepers of knowledge, so they may be yeah, interested I feel like in they knowing know. that. Yeah. If even the mages guild didn't believe in orcs and stuff, that would strike me as odd. Because the common person not knowing, and even people who are not, I guess, historically mad. I don't, I don't know, it's kind of odd, the existence of orcs. They seem to be almost quasi-mythological. Like yeah. Peruvian. Not, not to mention, I watched the previous campaign, and the orc actually did say that he, they do plan to invade at some point. They, they said that they will invade right away if we trespass on their lands, but even if we don't, eventually they will come and they will fight. <sighs> Extrapolation, your honor. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I can I can just pull up the audio segment from the previous. Yeah, yeah. But give, give me the timestamp. The. I'd like oh to God. Know. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I can just baseless, unfounded now, threat, Your Honor. Like a six -hour video. <laughs> Appeal to authority, which does not exist. But, don't, but hold don't on, like, you Sargon, you're, you're the DM. Like, you can just cast a ruling on this. Like, Further no appeal. <laughs> this is... I mean, I, I will, but I want to hear what you're say, what you're referencing. I I can go, but it's a six-hour video. Like, do, do you want to pause? Oh, you now said you had it. You, it. you said you had it. You, you offered. Yeah, you, you presented offered it. this as if, well, like, yeah, I've I've got blood. the hard <laughs> truth <laughs> right in front of me. Arch calls your bluff. What it is? It's just quite. And oh, then, I love calling V's bluff, man. I, just I um I I remember that he said if we go north of the wall, then. Uh, he would do bad things like uh, invasion and stuff, and they wanted to be left alone. But that that's my recollection. That, that is, is my recollection as well. Down my notes. This occurred. My this notes concludes stay. with my uh, 
my own memory. Aren't you uh, the video? See. Where can I find it now? Rumble, where everything else is. Just go where you. you uh, link? Just go where you went when you checked. When you double. I'm not gonna make this remember. easy for you. V. You're the one who's like, yes, I'm gonna authoritatively state this is totally what happened. And I go, no, I wasn't. I was like. Yeah, but it Arches was uh, uh, on Arch's channel last time I uh, looked into it, and now oh, it's not. It so away. I will have to spend some time in order to do the proper research because it's no, not no. like I had the timestamp on Arch's channel. But yeah, I will have to, to go on R Arch's Rumble, find out where it is, and then go through all the six hour of footage. I, I kind of have a vague idea at, at which point is it, but it's going to take like 20 or 30 minutes or so. Well, consider. So. Consider that that might be leaning into a bit too much metagaming to go back and listen to the specifics of a conversation from a previous episode. But I guess it depends on how you look but, but at again, it. But again, like, do you want a ruling on this or do you want me to go nope, look I don't. footage? Like, both are fine. I, I, I can. I want it. neither. I want neither of those things. So, so I how do we recall operate? What I, well, we can operate as if we shouldn't. Uh, I guess that's up for us to decide, right? So I am totally keen on telling people that, you know what, it's a barren, desolate, shitty wasteland up there. The orcs want it, let them have it. They just say, don't go north of the watchtower. So, that's it. If they're up there in the crappy mountain lands where Paris barely sh you know, shrubs even Fire grow, the <laughs> and the grappling hooks can't even attach to boulders well, they can have it. They can have it. I mean, there's a mithril mine there, but but I will operate on the possibility that they will invade regardless. Um, Is there so... a mithril mine up there? Um, I know yes. Bray Hill. Well, we have it uh, allegedly Bray Hill, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, was an old city that I think there was alleged to be a mithril mine. Yeah. Be but it seems to be like a, a legend or something lost to history. Okay, well, th there's rumors that there is a mithril mine there. I wonder if the orcs would even know what to do with Mithril. I bet no, Mithril is not, really but, but hard like, to refine. Our, our, our kingdom would be interested in that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I found that our kingdom is in uh, almost like, not, not in civil war, but it it is very much in conflict. So this could actually unite the kingdom. Um, Unrest, maybe, I'm, in I'm, certain instances. The, the the nation is in unrest because of the mithril mine, so I'm sure finding a second one will lead to many hugs and kisses all around. Well, during the conflict, it will definitely lead to hugs and kisses until they manage to actually get it. And then they would also be occupied with colonizing the north. And... Hey, the Holtzenator I... points out, V, you could have clipped it ahead of time. Yeah, you could have, V. You didn't, though, did you? You know why? You it's because the orc said, if you ever return, we'll invade you. That was my understanding of what they said. But yeah, if no, you have I, a different I interpretation, you can totally it, run with that. I, I don't disagree with that. It was, if we go there, they will invade. But they're also planning later on. So. But you know what? Well, you my know what they say. The Defenders choose the place, orcish. attackers choose the time. So... Well, um, yeah, I mean, but, but take into account my character is the only one that speaks Orcish, so basically they, like, everything so I So basically, we've gone from this totally happened to this possibly happened, but I can't prove it, to you don't actually know what I'm talking about. I am really glad that I was able to make the episode. It's so, so I'm, I'm going to try to find your rumble arch, and we're going to oh, spend the next 30 sake, minutes. Oh, for fuck's sake, You have to cast Please, I know what the orc said. Arch and Rags are correct, and you're not correct rumble. on this. Damn, what okay, so the ruling comes in. I didn't even want this. You were not correct, this. correct on this I last time. Listen, I didn't even want this. I didn't want the ruling, but I guess I got it anyway. So yeah, it's it's literally what I wanted rather than just waste so much time. Why were like, you just okay. making up an alternate scenario? I, I believe, remember it. I believe T. I I believe that V thought that. I don't think V was lying. I just think he missed. I'm not saying he's lying. I believe that's what happened. I'm not saying he's lying. I'm saying he. I I believe he believes it. You know. I believe. Yeah, it. like he like I, I I can remember something correctly. This is why I asked you for a ruling and you told me to go on Arch's video and it's like okay, well now I need to find this rumble. I yeah, you sounded so mindset. confident. But I, you because asserted I was sure it, that so. it happened. The pride anyway, goeth right. before the fall. Sargon, Speaking take us to Kayora. All right. Um, um, unless get there was any stuff, John that, yeah, Doe in chat. Me. It's like, you're wrong, Arjun, you know it. Mm -hmm. I don't think you were. 
Uh, do we have anything magical amongst us? We have that scroll of the control water, right? If we have anything magical, maybe, uh, and we're not going to... If we have something magical and we're not planning to really put it to use, maybe the people there, because they're, you know, the Mages Guild, and they might actually use it themselves or want it, they could give us a good price for anything magical we don't plan to use. So just a thought. Yeah, we, we do have market. the... Um... We, we do have the control water. Do, do you have any more antiquities with you, Dev? Like any more coins or stuff like that? He kept I have you, right? one old coin left. I saved one just in case. I yeah. sold the rest for money. We can, a thousand we can show gold. It the Good chunk of change. Yep. Right, yep well, I'll hand over the coin when we get through. They can look at it. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's head out then. I have a I have a minor pet peeve, which is on this word processor. If my cursor is on the left hand side, then the like the normal cursor, the arrow is pointing like to the right instead of to the left, and it doesn't look right. What, it doesn't what look right. What time of the day are you going? Um. Well. What time is I it right now? Actually. What time is it now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, late late test. Oh, we're getting okay. tomorrow morning. Then. It's set off in the morning. We're... Yeah. Actually, oh, we, we, could, it, we could we could go one store and no. Um, is well, anyone we, we else's go... yeah. uh, character sheet now loading? Because mine is just insistently white. Mine, uh, mine is, is loading, loading but that has happened before. Yet. Sometimes okay. that happens. It, it loads, but it loads very though. slowly. Uh, yeah, you should leave and come back then. to the game. I think. Oh, Sargon, we forgot to ask for XP for the orc encounter. You you didn't give us anything. Oh, and you, know? you told us to remind you the next time we play. That is true. I remember this too. Oh, okay. Um, you each gained 250 experience. Gotcha. Harrison so that'll put us at 3495. <laughs> right? Yes, it will. All right. Double checking. Okay. There we go. My finally loaded. Uh, 3495. Yeah, that's our experience. Fire. Thank you. So we're going to the inn. We're sleeping. And we're heading off first thing in the morning. Agreed. Um, uh, before we head off, I'm going to let Ilandora know that we are headed to Kaora so that if we are needed, she knows where to send a letter or where to find us. I think that'll be a good idea. Yeah. Instead of us just be disappearing. Uh, so... Uh, okay. V, if you want to come with... You, v, you in particular, uh, if you want to come with me to tell Ilandora that, we can yeah, sure, because, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll tell her that I haven't reported to my university, and I, I should at least pay a visit to see what's going on. Um, yeah, okay, you uh, you go and see Ilandora, and as you uh, arrive to see her, she uh, seems quite pleased to see you. She says, oh, Rex, brilliant, I was just about to send a messenger to come and fetch you. Oh, I've had well... a message from Selendra, and she uh, has something she wants you to do. Heresy is what, the question. Uh, Fire is does, the answer. Does uh, she want to tell us uh, <laughs> this herself, or shall we go see her, or is this uh, as part of no, the message? No, we're there. She she just told you this. Uh, who's Salendra? Is she the Seneschal, or is he? Yeah, yeah, Seneschal, the Seneschal, yes. Okay. Well, she's talking to you, so. I know. Uh, are the orders here here in this message, or does she want to see us personally? Yeah, she just uh, says she'll talk, tell you them. Um, Selendra uh, wants you and your party to go and scout out the rumors of the mithril mine in the north that V10 was looking for because she does not want V10 to find it. She would like to be the one who finds it. Oh, that orc right. slave I, thing I, sounds more and I, more I, like a quest every second that passes. It makes sense I, that uh, whoever finds Ellen the mithril mine... I, I want to ask Elendora, with, with all the respect, how do we handle the diplomatic issues between the Orc Kingdom and ours? Like, if we're discovered, it may actually lead to military Heresy's conflict. Question. I'll Fire voice my concern answer. as well and say <laughs> the, the Orcs were very, uh, seemed very um, insistent that we not go up that way. Uh, the Orc King of Shakhtar uh, said that lands north of the Watchtower were, were theirs and that we might provoke a war. Um, uh, Ilandora just sort of shrugs and says, well, I guess don't get caught. It doesn't seem that Solyndra respects the authority of the Orc King of Shakhtar. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, do, we do, do we have, I, I will ask Ilandora, do we have any information about where this Mithril mine can be? Because the Northern Kingdoms are quite vast. Um, well, perhaps, V, I have a, we have a lead that's more specific. Elendora, do you know of an rumors of an old city called Bray Hill? 
Uh, she says, yeah, I have heard of it, but apparently hundreds of years ago it disappeared. Hmm. Uh, are there Do any you... maps from that time? Uh, would we find any maps at Keora, perhaps? Um, she says, I don't know. But uh, as I understand it, it's just directly north. Uh, there's a mountain directly north of the Watchtower. And if you um, just follow that, you should uh, you should find the Mithra Mine in the mountain somewhere. Before we uh, depart, are, are we you... going to get some help, like some men, perhaps, um, some scouts that will help us in our journey? Yeah, we're special many forces. Orcs. Yeah, there's you, many orcs you, and there's you, just five of us. You have a ranger amongst you, don't you? Yeah, but the, yeah, but he's special in a completely us. different way. We... <laughs> You're not there, Arch. Um, she she says voice. you are the scouts. You're 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 the ones who are expected to. Perhaps the fewer of the rest life. there are, the easier will. The can we will be can we requisition if we pay for maybe like some squires that will help us? Like not a lot, but at least four or five. Well, no, the fewer men, the better. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, tell the Seneschal that it will be handled. Um, okay, I would like really to request. Rack, so, you know. I'd like to make a request, actually, um, because so little of this land is known, and this is um, a scouting expedition. Uh, mm -hmm. I would like to request that we make a uh, we we travel beforehand westward to Tafeld. We met an archaeologist there some time ago. And perhaps this archaeologist knows more about Bray Hill and the location of this supposed mithril mine. It might be looking for a needle in a haystack up there. And since there's only four of us, any lead that we can get would be of great help. Um, she says, well, that, I mean, that sounds fairly reasonable. Thank you. If you think he um, can help you, uh, I suppose you, you're free to do that. I think it's worth a try. The risk is potentially great if we're spotted, so the less... The less looking we have to do, the less the chances will be discovered. Yeah, I mean, she's... Sure is, that, is there, like, uh, anything, uh, like an archive in this kingdom? Like, where would the knowledge, like, the historical knowledge be kept? Um, well, there are, there are libraries, but uh, libraries aren't... Is there any in Amma? Public libraries. Uh, yeah, yeah I mean, but the is there any in Amma? Because, like, this, this wouldn't be, like, some hidden knowledge, I guess. Like, the, this would... Probably well, be something it available. Depends. But, um, I mean, the, the king's got a library, but you probably wouldn't be given access to it. Um, well, no, but I ask Elendora. It's like, given the nature of our mission, um, it would be wise if we could have, like, at least some old maps or, or any type of information about the Northern Kingdom. Is there any libraries or is there a way to get access to the king's library? Um, she says, I very much doubt it, but um, there isn't that much information on it. It was hundreds of years ago that uh, it, we lost contact with it, and nobody's really entirely sure what happened. Records from that time are very sketchy. Mm. I mean, none of us are prospectors, so like we genuinely don't know what to look for. Hey, not with that attitude, V. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess, but like, if if you were to said to find the Paris mine, the question. and you have Fire like thousands of kilometers, <laughs> like, would you know where to look? Well. Consider that uh, Maya, who's the archaeologist we met at Tafeld, was sent by the Kaoran University. So, perhaps that gives us a reason to go down there uh, to check her whereabouts. Because the less looking around we have to do up there, the better. And like I said, we could be looking for a needle in a haystack when it's just right. up there. There might be a mine somewhere. So We can always try and and diplomacy was... with the orcs. I mean, there's other work tribes. It's not like they have smartphones and talk to each other, so... Um, you know what? That's definitely an idea I'll keep in my back pocket for later. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, uh, we... Uh, thank you, Elindara. We'll we'll get the job done. Okay, she uh, just nods and says, good luck. Well, uh, um, we're going at the inn, waiting for the first thing in the morning, and then we're setting off to Talfield. Absolutely. I'll bid farewell to Ilandora, and we can uh, let the other parties know about what our plan is. And I guess we should actually formulate one specifically. Do you want to go to Tafeld to see if Maya is still there, or do you want to go to Kaora first uh, to ensure that we know about uh, her whereabouts? 
No, we um, can go to Tapfeld. If there's a representative sorry, of Kaor out there, there's no point in going all the other way around. Well, well hold on, V, because you wanted to go to Kaor to spend your magic ticket as well, right? No, 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 no. I don't have gold. I, I just wanted to, to tell them about the orcs and to see if they have a quest for us. But we, we got a quest, so we can just I mean, go north. Sure, but I, I guess there's probably a, a very big library at the... At the uh... The school that'd be the place to go to get information hey guys guys i'm i'm really really sorry but i have to go um i again i apologize great apologies but i do have to go i'm sorry um goodbye okay well um that's fine <laughs> okay. uh, okay. I, uh, I hope yeah, everything yeah, is fine like a personal emergency yeah and yes yeah. um yeah. Do, do, i mean okay we, we can do some of the things and, no, and no, then no, no, no. let's we'll, not play we'll, with we'll that wait yeah, we'll we'll deal with Rags when he next week. I'm sh I'm sure whatever has happened will. Mm. Sometimes so shit reaches up from the ground and drags one down, and that is fine. Yeah, yeah. Fine. There are people in the chat who are saying that I was right. I I don't like being gaslit, so I will actually take the the opportunity to go ah, back yes. into the video and see what the orc said. I remember a period of time <laughs> shortly yeah. before where V said, "All I want is for Sargon to tell me." Ten minutes later, yes, now, I do not believe now you, it Sargon. That it's a matter of I reject like, your I... ruling. <laughs> no, my reputation it does has not. Been put into question. It does not fall within line of my expectations. I'm sorry, V. You know, I was paid a hundred dollars to argue with Dev. I know. Oh, really? I was told really? about that, and I think you just I ruined Artemis's plans because I think Dev was given a hundred dollars to argue with V too. I was not. Dev does it for free. Dev, you're being <laughs> exploited, and you're getting nothing from it. I, Dev, I was given four hundred to watch Halo. God, that's cheap. Yeah, Jesus, I, I don't think I would do it even for four hundred. I mean, yeah, no, that's shit. a terrible hourly <laughs> hourly wage. Like I asked for a grand for that <laughs> stuff. You shouldn't sell yourself mm. like a cheap prostitute, Dev. Doesn't fit you. I might only do the the first season for four hundred because Jesus Christ, it sucks. What the first season? The first season is nothing compared to the second season. Yeah, well. And if you've already promised, Dev, now you've got to do both, Dev. Okay, Dev, Dev here's the question. I was very right? vague. I was very vague about let, the let, promise. Listen, Dev, Dev. There's, there's okay, wiggle so room. You were very what? Vague. Vague. What's a vague? Yeah, no, vague. he means vague. It's just that he's Canadian. I know, I know. It's just funny that Canadians have developed a very strange way of saying it. Dev. That's a lot if, of words, actually. Vague. The... Okay, Dev, 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 didn't you say Dev, herbalist? Dev, Dev, I have a few times, if yeah. ideology, Dev, was erased from the face of the earth, but there's, like, just one last believer, there's one last, you know, orcish-looking, blue-haired feminist, would you go and deconvert her? Eh, uh, probably not. Why not, though? Fucking hell, Dev. It's not Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking of your video. <laughs> no, Dev, yeah, of course you do. Like, listen, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah okay you know keeping the last christine around yeah that's what that's noble you know keeping the last fucking sjw around is not <laughs> so, so you would be converter sargon if, if yes, it was like obviously. the last feminist on earth yes like, no one my believes. god yes this is not a noble creed why is everyone acting like it is <laughs> but I'm saying it's, it's literally the last one. Like the, the, you know, Good. she's going to die of old age anyway. <laughs> no, I mean I'd probably put her in a zoo. What? <laughs> Why? You're not to just put people in zoos. <laughs> it's Dev. illegal, Dev. <laughs> Feminists aren't people. Yeah, oh, they they God. actually <laughs> are. I, I, I to inform you. <laughs> right. Well, chat. <laughs> What can I say? We yeah, I guess, Sorry, I guess that's the we, end of, we could do a bonus archcast. Uh, Dev, say something communist or just breathe. You know, it's the same thing with you. Mm, what communist stuff have I been doing recently? I got to think about it. I think you were talking about how oh, you were yeah, going to yeah. do a video defending Palestine. No, yeah. defending Israel mostly. Mostly. So not exclusively. So you got no. paid off like Destiny did, right? Okay. So there are pro-Palestine <laughs> talking points. You will 
you will Man, happily. I, 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 I love the narrative that, that Adam and Sitch and myself are getting paid. Man, I wouldn't mind getting paid, to be honest. Well, didn't, Give me didn't some of that Brianna money. Wu say that people are getting paid? Didn't you talk to Brianna Wu? Checkmate. <laughs> is that all it, that's all it takes? Damn. That is all it takes, damn, apparently. Damn. Well, <laughs> aren't you aren't you curious that like so many people think that you're Service being paid? Like, why is that? Like, no, no one thinks that we're getting paid. Like, what? Why uh, is it's it because that they're retards, V. That's why. I mean, that is true. But like, no, no. You see, that's, Sargon that's not has the take, question. Sargon has a take on 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 Twitter, and he basically says yeah. that it's not incompetence that the gaming is what it is, but it's malice, right? Like, it's it's activism. Like, it's ideological push. That all yeah. the, the the California man jaw industrial complex is ruining gaming, <laughs> it, it, and, and you know, that's a great you say, name well, for no, it. I believe it's incompetence. Like, like with all your body of work, with with all the videos that you've did, with with all the knowledge that you yeah, have, I know, how, I know. How can you come how, to that How can you say now? that, though? There you go, Chad. Hold on, hold on. Hey, welcome, v, you're forgetting the just you're forgetting the fact that you and I continued to argue this in private for like an hour, where I made the point that it's both, I and was it's very clearly both. Them. Yes, now now you move the goalpost. Now it's both. But like, why did you? Feel no, it's not a goalpost move. <laughs> why why did you contradict Sargon? What he said is a hundred percent true. Yeah, Dev, how dare you contradict me? <laughs> hold on, I gotta see. I gotta see exactly what you said. Give me a second. I gotta see what I contradicted. So, no, Dev, I didn't tell you what I said. I said that it can't be incompetent. No, no, no what, what he said. What he said. Are you gonna defend oh. Brazil as well, banning X? Yeah, Dev. Did they do that? Your communist friends. Service yeah, they're, they're currently. Oh, well, Dev, I don't know if they've okay, actually done Dev, it. Like, like, listen, they're they're the threatening to arrest uh, X employees. Last time I yes. heard. Oh, were they? So, so basically, fucking... what happened Dev, wild, is dude. that the Brazilian government asked. Twitter to censor account. You know, they just ask. They just they, ask. They yeah. There's official. nothing wrong with asking. Ask. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah nothing wrong with asking. Them. And when yeah, Elon said no. Questions. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. asking questions. <laughs> keep going, keep going. When Elon said no, then what? Oh, now they're threatening to arrest Twitter employees. Uh, they're, they're basically yeah, yeah, saying that's that. the bad part, V, yes. Oh. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say that's good. Ah, like, right, right. Could, so it, how, how, could it possibly be that the asking was never ever honest? Yeah, the the, imp yeah, the, the implicit ask is threat fine. of state the consequences forces for is saying not... no that are bad. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yes, yeah. of course, obviously. H how could yeah, it be any other way? Man, well, like... you are one hundred percent getting paid by the Dems. I don't care. No, I, I don't I'm, think I'm closely on that bandwagon now. It's like yes, when, no. when, when, when the mob when the mob is racketeering your business and, and yeah. they just make the ask, that's fine. It's when you say no and the consequences happen that's the problem. <laughs> No, the, the, I'm, I'm not an anarchist. I don't view the government as a mob. Yeah, but Dev, you don't have to be an anarchist to realize that this is not exactly just a neutral uh, question, right? I mean, sure. There's obviously reasons for these things, but at the same no, time, no, no, the ask no, no, is no, still no, fine. Not, no, 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 no. I'm so not saying there's no reasons. I'm not saying it's arbitrary. What I'm saying is the power dynamics of a private company being asked by a communist government to censor it's, just, it's not like there's no or else on the end of that. There's obviously an or else there. Yeah, like when a, when a country, when, when a nation asks you to do something, the, 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 the force okay, is Okay, hold implied. on. Let me, let me put it this way. Here, here. Let me put it this way, right? So when they ask you something and there's an or else attached, that's obviously bad. I'm completely yeah, on board all, with you There's guys. always an or else attached. I disagree with that. I don't think there's always an or else. Okay, when, when is the... Give me an example of when it hasn't been. Um, I, don't, I really don't even have personal ones, to be honest. This, the this is oh, literally, literally oh. like when I ask Mediterraneans, name the so other dessert that the Mediterranean well, let me put a question. Is the not the clava, and they just sort of it, sigh and go, well, I can't, but we've got more than one dessert. And I'm like, no, you don't. Well, well okay, Dev, if, <laughs> if, if, if Justin Trudeau's, hold on, if, if the Department of Harrison's Homeland Security the equivalent of Fires Canada, whatever do you guys have for that, right? If they mm -hmm. ask you to censor something on your YouTube channel, do you not think that there is an or else involved? Do you not think that if you refuse to do so, what they're asking, there's going to be something bad that may happen to you? The Canadian government's like, so, we're just asking questions, bro. So there might be. Here's the thing. There might uh -huh. be. I would uh -huh. still say no. Mm. Yeah, like, that, that's not the point. Yes. The, do you do realize that you're being coerced just by them asking? Like if the Department of Homeland Security no. said. Nope. Don't agree with that. Nope. 
it's, so, it's so you just think that question. they would ask you and they'll leave you be? Like, they, there would be nothing else that they would do? Depends. Happens sometimes, mm -hmm. sometimes it doesn't. But here, here's the thing, though. The, the point is, the point is, is that if they do ask, and if mm -hmm. you say no, and if mm -hmm. they go away, which, by the way, happens all the time in, in like, policing things, if they just come back with a warrant mm -hmm. and say, okay, fine, and then they go away, it's not the that's police, fine, right? that's like fine. Police, no, like, police deals with petty crime, right? Like we're talking about the yeah. Supreme Court judge of Brazil. Or in yeah. this case, we would be talking about the Department of Homeland Security. Like, not, not just some random, you know, government employee that deals with, like, petty shit. I mean, if, if Elon just leaves them unread, of... it doesn't go away, right? You understand yeah. that something still happens. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm, so I'm there, there, is, yes. there is an explicit yeah. threat of force there. I mean, okay, but nonetheless. <laughs> no, 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 no. The nonetheless, <laughs> that means... <laughs> he's, he's Christ, Dev. Nonetheless, that means that there's never just a neutral request from a government. You see, I don't agree with that. I think there are neutral requests from governments. There okay, are some governments that will. Oh, 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 there are some governments that will come down on you if you say no, and then there are some gov like governments that government. won't. Yeah. I mean, I, okay, name, I, I name just gave an example, and V is like, "That's that's petty. That's petty." It's like, well, no, 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 no. no, no government no, no, action no, no, is no, no, government no, action. No, no, no. Name the government that won't. Name the government that just goes, "Oh, well, that guy doesn't want to talk to us." I guess. Yeah, that, there's a difference between a police officer, which usually like makes snap decisions because you know he's a beat cop and and he deals with petty crime. But if you have like the Department of Homeland Security, having the, the very fact that they know you exist, it, it implies a huge bureaucracy that that have worked and came to the conclusion that you are required to do something for them. They will not just take no for an answer. Okay. Is there any, anything else though? Like, here's the thing: you, 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 you can bring charge. Well, you can bring charges against someone. You can go through the system, and so then you'll be found either or, either innocent or guilty, or guilty or not guilty. You're not found innocent. But nonetheless, like, you're not found I, don't, I don't see the complaint. True. I don't. I don't yeah, sure. Here, here, here. No, 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 here, here. Wait, wait, wait. No, I'll be more precise. I'll be more precise. I see the complaint that you guys are laying out, and the complaint is that. In engaging with the government has an inherently coercive element to it because if you say no, they could use the power of the government against you. They could come down on you using the weight of the bureaucracy. Yeah, the even the just right. wait, just wait, just wait. Yeah, even even right. if, even if everything they do is legal and above board, they can they can you know put the magnifying glass over your life and you know find problems and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, okay, yeah, I, exactly. I understand the criticism. Yeah. But what is the alternative? Well, we're not saying there's no alternative. Uh, there's an alternative, right? Because it doesn't matter whether there's an alternative or not. What matters is that this is the reality of dealing with the state, right? Sure, but and, and I, don't, I don't see how... Right. Okay, no, 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 hang on, hang on, V. But no, I, I have no, an alternative. No, 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 V, sorry, v, 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 hang on, hang on. No. The no, no, really? listen, this is all we needed out of Dev, right? This is all we needed for Dev's entire position to collapse, right? I don't I'm not think it saying... Is. Okay, but that doesn't change the fact that it is, right? <laughs> Okay, you, go you've on. just conceded that there's Heresy's always the going to be Fire is the uh, <laughs> a, an implicit threat of force in any dealings with the government. And the only thing you had to say to that is, okay, but what's the alternative? I didn't say there was an alternative. It doesn't. We don't need to have an alternative. It's just the fact that there is. Okay, let me put it this way. Um, if we're talking about major dealings, okay. Minor dealings, no, any absolutely dealings. not. No. Not any dealings, no. Minor ones, no. Oh. You know, when, you, when you interact with, with, with the local civil servant who picks up your garbage, he's working for the government. There's no there's no threat of force there, all right? But th then you, well, you have to... I mean, hang on, hang on. There is. You think if okay. I don't pay my fucking council tax, then nothing happens? That's different, though. Why? Oh, no. Like, like, the, the guy who picks up your garbage can't, can't order you to do something. Here, let me well, put no, this he, he can't pay my fucking council tax. Okay, yes. here, let me put it this way. I so I had a job answer. once where my job was to go around to various houses in a neighborhood and I had yeah. to gain access to their um their water and their sewer lines because I was working for the municipal government oh, what, of the a city. Burglar. No, 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 not, not a burglar. I, you were I was working, working for the local for, burglar. I was working for the in municipal Canada, government. And we were and we were mapping out water and sewer lines and yeah. 
if they let me into their house, we'd go downstairs <laughs> and I'd see their basement. Here's where the water line comes in. We'd update the map. You know, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? However, they yeah. could say no to me and there would be no blowback on them. We left them alone. Yeah. Yeah. And, That's because so, you, as a person who's doing surveying, have no authority because you're not a member of the government. But when you say no, no I was a member of the somebody government. further I was up a member the, of the government. I was will a... look at that. You said no, and then they'll go, okay, we'll get a court order. And if that doesn't work, they'll, okay, we'll send the police. And if that doesn't work, eventually well, yeah. they'll just bust down their doors. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Here, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Is that that actually isn't what happened. The, the policy was just to leave them alone. It didn't escalate beyond me asking. That's it. The yeah, policy wasn't. Thing, the policy will become the other thing. Yeah, but in, in a, like me, maybe, maybe you found something so phenomenally trivial that it's just not worth the state getting involved any further, right? I've because it's just measure the amount of water or whatever they have. But when it comes to anything that is something that the state actually cares about, such as your taxes, the censorship of Twitter, blah blah blah. There's, there's no and no for an answer because it just doesn't even, so, end well, that way. Even the petty well, well, things, because I've actually got though. the example of this, exactly this. Okay. The Norwegian government Go dictated ahead. that you need to install new uh, uh, measuring devices to check how much power you were drawing because the old ones weren't accurate enough for the government's liking. It started out as a, hey, could you please do this? And then it became a, yeah. okay, we're going to check if you're, you, you've done this. And then it became, okay, you kind of going to have to do this now. And eventually it was like, yeah, we're going to just fucking slap fines on you until you do this now yeah what mm -hmm. happens if i don't pay the fine death then you go to you go to jail yes i understand oh, really? well, I, I, I understand that point of view what sorry what i resist arrest well then you get arrested you might get shot yes i understand oh wow really? okay, <laughs> christ that yeah. sounds pretty all, pretty serious all this from not, like this no, I, I, I get it i get it let's, actually let's, underpins let's... all of my interactions with the government <laughs> Yes, yes. V violence underpins everything. Violence is the ultimate authority. Right. I get it. Heinlein. I get it. Yeah, I get yeah, yeah, yeah. it. But uh, here's the thing. Earlier, point, but yeah, yeah. Just wait, though. Er earlier, I said that there were minor things <laughs> that the government would just give up. And you said, no, no, all things. And now you admit, no, there no, are no, minor no, no. things. I, yes. No, 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 no. I didn't say the government would never just give up on minor things, right? E the government doesn't have to give up on minor things. It could... Say, right, okay, you haven't complied with whatever ordinance is the authority they're using in order to check your water or what was it again uh, his example was, was water. it was water and, was and sewage right yeah check your water and sewage right they they absolutely could have turned around and go no you know what we're going to push this we want to see your water and sewage and you said no i'm sorry you're not allowed in they're like okay well, we're going to get a, a, a legal writ that allows us to gain entry and then we're going to break in if you resist then we shoot you right it yes. underpins even that just because they didn't choose to follow up on that doesn't mean they didn't have the option of doing therefore the implication is still there dev okay so <laughs> Go I'm, I'm gonna put my thoughts together a little bit give me a to second be honest, they can just debank you at this point they don't even have to go into your house yeah yeah justin trudeau shut down your <laughs> just, just, they can be like yeah you're like <laughs> seize your assets because you protested yeah. a little bit too loudly unfortunate should have just they let them see the water bill. Just... okay so so here's the thing here's the thing mm -hmm. if the argument is that the, you know, the, the threat of force is underneath every interaction with the government because if you resist and if the government decides to press their claim, it can escalate and escalate until eventually you get arrested or you get shot. I understand that point of view. All right. Yeah. There, 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 is, there is force that, under, <laughs> that, that is beneath everything. That's true. Okay. Yeah. But the, the issue yeah. is, and this is, this is not what you three are saying, I don't think. But okay. the issue is, whenever we have this conversation, and I, and I look in chat, everyone in the chat is saying, <laughs> and this is bad, and this is evil, and this needs to change. And I'm just like, no, actually, this is how it should be. Heresy's the question. Not, 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 you just come out not, as the, not, strongest, not, the state's well, strongest warrior, don't you? Yeah. Not so, only like, this is how it all, should all be, it can't be any happened. other way. Okay, it all this conversation happened. Hold on, hold on. Like, all this conversation happened is because we said so that the, the Supreme Court of the United States of America agrees with us <laughs> that in a, in a country where you actually have free speech as a human right, which is supposed to be protected by every single senator that's part of the that, that swears on the Constitution, you do not have the government asking the private companies to censor on its behalf. Yeah. And not to mention, when you say the government is not the government, it's usually the ruling party. And they're asking to censor their op the dissent and their opposition. 
So so hold on, hold on. The I'm going to use the exact argument that we established like five minutes ago. Anytime the government doesn't ask, they could. They're just choosing not to. It is by their mercy that you are not asked. Okay, and well, you come around to my position, V. No, my position okay. is the no, 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 one no, no, that the Supreme Court has that the government v, should have v, v, v. No, 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 Dev, Dev. We're not taking things, that, hypothetical things that didn't happen. We're taking hypothetical things that did happen. Right. We're not yeah, going to make V way, prove right. a negative. You need. Okay, to I don't mean it like that. Positive. I don't mean it like that. Yeah, but that's let what let you're doing. It. Right. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. When the okay. government asks, like the government Paris can make unreasonable demands, Fire is the like, answer. <laughs> but the, the point being, even on the reasonable demands, when they do ask, there is never just an innocent question being asked. It's that simple. And by the way, uh, to, to add context, hold like, on. I'm not, I'm not hold contradicting on. you here. No, hold on, hold on. Just, v, I want to add a little bit of context. No, 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 v, let, let, me, let me just get this in, and I'll, then I'll be quiet. Okay, go in ahead. In the case of Brazil, Imagine it that. seems that the Supreme Court judge wasn't just asking Twitter to censor. They were asking to censor journalists and other Brazilian Service politicians and not to mention that it's on the behest of the Brazilian government and pretend that they are just violating Twitter's TOS, which, by the way, also happened in the United States. Like, I remember mm -hmm. exactly that during the 2020 elections and COVID, it seemed as if the social media are banning people for violations of the TOS and not because the government is asking behind closed doors. Well, we know because of the Twitter files, they were. And we know because of the Twitter doors. files. And, and, and we know because, like, most social media companies, they came out and they admitted. But at the time when the censorship was happening, I remember I was arguing with morons on Twitter saying that, oh, my private company can do whatever it wants. <laughs> right? So so you have the government, which by, by legal yeah. right, they cannot censor. So now they're laundering the censorship behind closed doors by working hand in hand with social media companies. And you're just saying, well, you know, that's fine as long as they're just asking. I mean, it's like... So it's like I said before. How would you have it? No, 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 V, no, no, no. We're not proposing an alternative system. We just want Dev force him to admit his status ways and that we're right and he's wrong. No. Okay. So hold on. You 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 don't want the situation improved or fixed or changed. No. No. I want you to admit that this is the situation. We can talk about improvements afterwards. This just is the situation. Correct. Yes. It is the hold on, hold on. Right. I, I, want, I want to be that's very it, clear that's about. It, that's all. I, I didn't to say to yes. I said hold on. I said hold on. <laughs> that's good enough. I didn't say yes. I just said hold on. So. Heresy's the question. What Fire specifically am I admitting to here? <laughs> you are admitting to the fact that even when it seems like a benign request, the uh, the, the the question asked by the state authority is never simply an innocent question. It's always backed by the implicit threat of state power, which means, eventually, when you get down to the end of the line, some fat piglet coming through your door with a gun. E hold on. Even if this... And, and so, I, I, so I, I understand everything you just said. I just want to add yep. to it. Even in those instances where, let's yep. say, a a better government than otherwise chooses not to press their claim because... It would go against some sort of principle. They still could do so. Yeah, but we're not saying about things that haven't happened, right? A, a government could literally just send a hit squad to your house because you're Italian, right? They could do they could yeah. do that, but that's not what we're yes. talking about because that's an unlikely hypothetical. In the very likely hypothetical that someone, and it doesn't even have to be hypothetical, just the last time some prick knocked on your door said, look, I need to see a sewage, check your meter or whatever, right? That normal thing, even though you could have said, no, sorry, I'm not going to do it. And they go, okay, well, fuck you then and wander off. Just because the government doesn't press their claim doesn't mean they did. They can't press their claim. It doesn't mean that the implicit threat is there, right? We don't need some ridiculous scenario. We can go for any normal scenario. And in fact, I think in the UK, a good example is paying your council tax. No one wants to pay your council tax. It's totally mundane, but it could, if you refuse to cooperate, escalate to ridiculous levels that end up becoming fatal. Okay, yes, I agree with that. Right, there we go. So there's never just an innocent request from the government. Well, hold on. What do you mean by innocent now? Uh, whatever you would define it as. Neutral, um, 
whatever you were defining as. Recently. Well, well, here's the thing. There, there could be, hold on. There is never a request by the government that is not somehow underpinned by the threat of force. Yeah. But it could still be neutral and it could still be innocent. Well, what do you mean by neutral and innocent then? Um, neutral if it's actually in the service of some sort of ideal that isn't tainted by uh, political Heresy partisanship. No, 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 that's Fire not what we're talking answer. about. Like, um, <laughs> that's what I'm it's, talking it's about. N- yeah, but that's not what it came across as. As in, it's it's never just a request. Because okay. of the nature of the state, there's always the implicit threat of force. And so it's always a kind of mafia-like, you need to do this or else. Even if the government so, doesn't follow up on the implicit promise within so here, let me put it this way like here's here's two possibilities okay mm-hmm. the the cops show up at a politician's door and they arrest him and it turns out that they have a uh they actually have evidence against him he actually has broken um broken some laws and it is it is the right thing to arrest this guy so they arrest him the other the other hypothetical is they arrest him because their boss is from an opposing political faction and they want to get their uh they 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 want to get people who are against them you know out of the way right Mm -hmm. so in one of those cases even though they're both using the same mechanisms one of them is obviously more legitimate than the other (coughs) sure but why are we talking about politician which is the example that i pulled out yeah but we're using the example of a private system before okay sure well, no, no. I, I'm using this example. I mean, obviously, to, there's to... obviously when a politician, when it's happening to a politician, it's even less uh, neutral, and um, the the yeah, threat is. Well, even more... I, I, well no, I no, think, no. I, think I just described an instance where Eastern European system. It's like this, Dev. If you're in Eastern Europe, right? Like you're in yeah. Russia, and you're a politician, and you can join a political party. If you join Putin's party, then all the crimes that you do go away. Like you, you can be a criminal, you can be corrupt. It's just like all of a sudden, all the authorities just don't know. It's kind of like being a Democrat in America, really, right? No, like no, no. You, you just, you know, no, you, no, you he's can right, do pretty much. Right. Yeah, you can, you can instigate like Maxine Waters. You can instigate for violence. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah, use yeah. any type of rhetoric you want on TV. Like nothing yeah. happens to you. But if you're a Republican, all of a sudden you're under the microscope. All of a sudden you got people digging in through your Twitter what you said ten years ago. All of a sudden you got. You know, uh, Obama listening into your telephone and wiretapping you and all that shit, right? Now, now from the surface, it looks that they're doing legal stuff because, hey, you know, not, nothing that you did, nothing to hide, etc. But it's the selective enforcement of the law that is the issue. Is that you, you only put under the magnifying glass the opposition, and eventually you may find something if you look hard enough, like maybe he pirated Windows or something. And, and the other people that are with the establishment, whenever they are committing crimes, oh well, you know, he just showered with his daughter. Oh well, that's that's normal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing to so look in what, there. So what I what I actually why brought up. Uh, well, hold yeah, on. Why do you so, so what I actually brought up were two examples, okay, and w- the two hypotheticals. And one of them is where a politician is being arrested for actually committing a crime. The other one is where a politician is being arrested because he is the enemy of somebody important. Okay, the first one is what I mean when I say neutral. When we're talking about let's you know n- neutral actions by the government. That's what I meant, Sargon. When you asked me, when we asked me. Well, well, hold on, hold on. Like, like if, if you're the enemy when, of when, someone, when you, just wait, just wait, V, just wait, just wait. When when you asked me what I meant by neutral or innocent, I didn't mean that there's no threat of force behind it. I meant legitimate. I mean, it is actually good to arrest this person because he is actually guilty. Well, okay, Dev, imagine that I don't that know. You I have... feel like you're changing your stance here because... He, he is. You, no, no, definitely... No, 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 hang on. This hang is how I... Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. This is how I've talked about this for, for, for like a year. I've, ta- I've mentioned it like me this. Whenever I talk about Stein. like Trump, no, it's always been no. the fact that he is guilty of X and he should be arrested. No, he's not. He's innocent. But anyway, right. The Let me let me explain, Dev. Right. You You previously definitely said something maybe not word for word i can't remember exactly but something along the lines of there can be instances where there's no uh coercion behind the request the request of a state right i think that is where the discussion generally started and that that is why you gave the example of you working for the government checking sewage or whatever it was water right that's Hmm. why you gave that example the thing is that example isn't valid because technically actually no even the threat of 
coercion was behind there. It's just the government chose not to follow up on it. So, no, I do not accept your recharacterization of this discussion, okay. Dev. Well, then, slippery, hold on, hold on. Dev. Hold on, hold on, because there's more. Paid hey, by the Democrats, Dev. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, you know, I whenever I talk to anarchists, and frankly, whenever I talk to you as well, V, I always have to point out yeah. that there are differences between different states. They're not all the same. They're they're not all of of equal moral worth, right? I, I the, the fact the that is are are, are much smaller than you realize. So, and, and I when, think like one of the hang problems. On v, hang on, V. Let him finish his point. With Sargon, with Sargon v, v, in, v, let, let him finish his point. Let him finish his point. Service guaranteed. So, so basically. If I can outline one one government where they uh, they actually don't pursue those minor things, even though they could, right? Even though there is that Paris that is implicit threat of force Fire underneath every act, in, underneath every <laughs> yeah. um, encounter with the government, they don't pursue some things because, well, I mean, it's not worth it, or it would violate their rights, or whatever. They take some sort of moral stance where, they, where, they, where the a person in the government says, Paris "We're not going to do this, even though we could do this," Fire which is, by the way, the right thing. I don't even know if that's a moral stance. I mean, a lot of the time it's just laziness, but yeah. Oh yeah, it's it, it's a combination of both in my experience. Um, however, there are there are governments that would pursue those things, right? Yeah. And and we can differentiate between those two types of governments as being better and worse. Yeah, but nobody. So I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Nobody suggests I don't, otherwise. No, well, you're, that's you're, not you're true at all, Sargon. That's not true at all. Okay, I've, I've heard. I, <laughs> <laughs> I've heard. I can see many that. Right? Are... V, v, v and many other very sensible people in the chat probably did contend that otherwise, right? But I'm not contending that. <laughs> Well, I'm no, contending. I just have one question. Hang on, V. I, I just... Hang on, V. Let, hang me, on, let hang me get on. in one question, please. No, you, you've been no, asking no, this no, no, no. Right? Well, no. When can I get I have it? Like, Dev, it, it... V, I have Dev right on the ropes. Why are you leaping in front of him? Right? <laughs> no, Dev, you contended that there could be uh, unambiguous or morally neutral or uh, non coercive interactions between the government and its citizenry, and that's just not true. Even if it doesn't, and that's what we've established. Okay. Even if it doesn't follow up on it. Okay. Well, here, okay, okay. Here's the thing. I'll I'll take the L on it. I have a recollection of being on the Archcast with you, Arch, several times, where where I have done the Heinlein force underpins everything argument. So I think a lot of this was crossed wires. But I will say, okay, correct. I agree with you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate that. I I don't want to get a gotcha on Dev. Like I genuinely mm -hmm. want him to understand. No, no, do it. Get get, get the gotcha. You just yeah, I want the gotcha no, I, I'm now. Go gotcha. On. I, I I just want to say this, right? Like, imagine you have a social media company. And you have like a member of the government asking you to censor, and you say no. Now mm -hmm. you're not getting arrested for it. There's nothing illegal. But all of a sudden, you notice you're getting audited. All of a sudden, you know, you, and the auditing now is a lot more minute than it used to be, and you're getting fines. And all of a sudden, there's this legislation that passes which fucks with just your social media company. You know, it doesn't fuck with the others. It just fucks with yours. And, and now you, you notice that you get uh, all these activists, the ADL and everyone is just fighting hate speech on your social media company, just out yeah, of the that's blue. That's just you know, a neutral nothing. institution operating fairly in the marketplace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, and, and, and it is. It is. Like, there is hate speech. <laughs> and, and maybe there's even child porn on your social media. But you know what? Jesus. There's all the others as well. But no one talks about them. They, they just don't appear. And oh, look, the January 6th writers are just organizing on your social media. Like, they're, they're, oh, they're, yeah, like so, Kampala. Yeah, a, yeah. It's point. not a coincidence, right? So my point is that, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be like the coercive force, like the police comes into you and, and just breaks into your door. It just can be like out of the blue, you know, things that are legitimately a problem. Like, yeah, hate speech is awful. It just happens that it's only on your platform. It's, it's not on the others. And, and tax evasion is a problem, but it just happens that you're getting audited and no one else is, right? This is the implied coercion that we're talking about. Right. So, when, when you get so, the NGOs, uh, I, I agree, V. I, I just wait, V. I, I agree. Selective enforcement's a problem. It can be a problem. It has been a problem. It should be solved. But what next? Well, no what next is that this? No, oh, I, I will give him what next. Wild right? West, free market. Let's do it. Yes, let them. No. It's when the Supreme Court. It's when the Supreme Court comes in and says, "No, you as the government do not have a right to ask social media company. Fuck off." That is what next. If you want to live in a liberal society, and if you actually want Which to live in a democracy... Which li is literally what it did, yeah. Yes. If mm -hmm. you want to live in an actual democracy, people have a right to look at all the information, even the misinformation, <laughs> because they're adults, and they have to make up their own mind people have a based right on to the information the that they had access to. They do, yes. I agree with that. Vote. Yeah. 
But if you agree sure, with that, sure. then why do you say that the government has the right to ask? Because you know they're asking from partisan positions. Like, the government isn't just this one institution. It's got various factions. And the factions that ask are going to ask so that their political opponents get suppressed. But also, the, the very act of asking is not politically neutral. Yes. It's not, it's not unmotivated. It's not unweighted. It, it itself can be considered a form of coercion. And it also depends if Nancy Pelosi is asking oh, or gotcha. if Ted Cruz is asking, right? Yeah. It, That's a great point. As okay. well. yeah. Ted Cruz done to shit. So here's the thing. I mean... I know that this, the Supreme Court has come down and said that they they can't ask. I mean, that's that's how it is. Um, no, I've I've had you know what I've had enough friendly interactions with let's say like my local police who have just asked that I, I don't no I, I don't I don't feel it that way. I don't think it's inherently a problem if on its own some it, the the government asks a private citizen or a private enterprise for and, and then they say no and they go away. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I've been sufficiently cooperative officer. that I haven't had a problem with it. Yeah, but like a police officer in the Department of Homeland Security are different institutions. Like, if the Department of Homeland Security even knows who you are, you're in big shit. Do you view the like police officer as being a part of the government, Dev? Well, yeah, obviously. He is the, he is the enforcement arm. He's the enforcement arm of the state, but not necessarily part of the government. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Like, there is definitely a distinction there in your mind, right? And even then, sometimes, sometimes not. Okay, there's a difference between a police officer asking and the police chief asking you. Like, if the police chief himself comes up and says, hey, my daughter does YouTube, can you can you have her on a stream with you? Right? It, it's not necessarily like an implied threat that bad things will happen, but it's an implied that if you do it, he will owe you a favor. So, hold on. I've I've asked this question several times now, and it's been deflected. So I want it to actually be answered. What okay. is the alternative? There is no. Well, alternative. I already said it. It's what the Anarchy, Wild West. Yes. <laughs> the government no, sign up, that's Dad. worse. No, no it's going to be great. Listen, it's going to be fucking brilliant. Listen, I I know that you're like at least partially memeing Sargon, but I want to make it absolutely like clear. All right, anarchists are fucking answer. retarded. <laughs> Left anarchists, Dev. right anarchists, doesn't matter. They're all yeah, retarded. All of make them. It absolutely clear that for the purposes of this conversation, I agree with everything they think. Because, <laughs> <laughs> no, because again, again, it, it's not the three of you, right? But whenever we <laughs> have know, this I conversation, know. everyone in the chat, everyone in the chat <laughs> is going full on abolish the state, no yeah, more government, no too. more I, like no like more anything, it. destroy no, I, I wanna, all. And like you guys are sure. fucking insane. Hold on, listen, I listen, listen, no, 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 no. I, 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 I want the chat to no, no, I, no, 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 no. I want the chat to hear. I am a statist. Do you understand? We, yeah, we I want states that. to exist. God, I want governments to exist. I get it. I get it. wait. Just yes. wait. Even though they are a necessary evil, they're still a necessary evil, and it's better that we have them than we don't. Oh, no, I, so I agree with them. I, I'm not going. I, I disagree with Sargon, but I want to point out that the solution. No, I'm with you. The solution is the Supreme Court <laughs> of the United States. The government has no right to ask. And by the way, yeah. Dev, uh, can you explain okay, fine, the yeah. neutral stance of New York changing its statues of limitations temporarily? You're just reading Artemis Fowl's fucking super to chat. Allow I understand. A woman to sue Trump for sexual assault. <laughs> How does that yeah, fit Dev, into your worldview? Yeah, Dev, explain that if you're being paid by the DNC. I haven't looked into that specific case, so I can't tell you. Sorry. I, I don't know anything about it. DNC <laughs> But can you... Funny. Okay, let, on the face of it, Dev, assuming it's true, what is your opinion on the state changing its laws to specifically target an individual? Uh, seems bad, yeah. Seems bad. Don't agree. So it's, it's not bad. It seems. It seems possibly bad. Glad, well, because I don't know enough about it, Arch. I'm not going to give you a hard but I, I just pass, said, like... assume that is what's happening. Assume they tar change their laws to target an individual. Mm -hmm. Even if that individual okay. is Trump. And, and, if, you, and if, there, and if there's nothing it? else underneath that, there's, there's no new information to come out later, there's nothing else, yes, it's yep. bad. There you go. So it's bad. Good. Yeah. You managed to make yes. a, a declaration, Jeff. Well... Well, hold on, hold on. So here, here, here's the thing. Whenever, <laughs> whenever you guys back. want me to like lay out a very, a very strict position, it's always 
when there's not enough information to do so. And so the request ends up being like, just put your reputation on the line. Because Say the craziest fucking take there, with no information whatsoever. It's like, I'm not going to do that. There is actually if you just enough came out and declared information. Yourself a statist, I mean. That, that's yeah. the thing. The state changing its laws and it impacts one particular individual that just happens to be the political opposition, that is in and of itself enough information. Yeah. Well. Right. Anything else? We've earned uh, <laughs> V his hundred bucks for Zuba for, uh, from Artemis, so we can do Super Chats now, I guess. Dev yep. and his statism. I do remember do also that on. Dev's position was once that the government can just ask and there was nothing... Uh, uh, yeah, I remember that too. Yeah, me, me, me okay, remember that. So okay, I'm well, glad we, yeah, yeah, we but Arch, change Arch, that. Well, hold on, Arch, you also remember me making the Force as the ultimate arbiter argument as well on your, on your, uh, your podcast several times. Absolutely, but, you know, weaponized hypocrisy is yes. a tool of the left. No, that's not what I'm... Here's what I'm here. here, here, here. You know what I'll do? I will harmonize these two positions. To use a very specific type of language. Yeah, go on, go on. <laughs> so, basically, when I mentioned that there are very clearly better and worse governments, where yeah. where better governments don't pursue trivial things or they do they do main like so, so for example a better government would respect something like a constitution while a worse yep. government wouldn't or a worse government wouldn't have a constitution e so basically mm -hmm. like the even though all governments can do the same things the better ones choose not to do certain things that we consider to be bad sure and that's what i was getting at yeah, but no, no one's no one's debating there's a quality difference in some governments with others. It's obviously true. Many people are debating that, sorry, on the entire chat's full of people well, like that right now. And also that's well, V's well, position well, half the time. No, no, no. I, th I think that's a straw, man. I think that the chat definitely... I don't think so, man. Yeah, I think that's a straw. Oh, yeah. There's the Eastern European argument. Hold no, no, no. no. I, I I've seen so many well. ANCAPs yes, running around yes, saying this nonsense, right, man. Let me, let, let me tell you the Eastern <laughs> European way of thinking, right? Because this is the most base thing, and, and I'm not just being subjective okay. here. It's objectively okay, fill true, me in. right? No, like, no, like no, listen, listen. While, while the government is necessary, and, and I agree with them, at the same time, I understand that the government wants my well-being, and I need to be very sure that it doesn't take it away from me. In yeah. other words, every single time that the government wants something, it's probably for my bad. And, and if I go with this assumption, yeah. I, I'm already at an advantage compared to other people. Now, it can be that I'm wrong, you know, but so fucking what? But if I'm right, then at yeah, least I, I know he's got that the, the Pascal's wager of statism. Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't think if that the I'm wrong, what, nothing bad happens. If I'm right, I'm saved. Service from the guarantees citizenship. One hundred percent correct, mm -hmm. right? Like, so the government, <laughs> the, the government is good that it exists, right? Because it protects me from Russia. But at the end of the day, every single time the government asks something from me or wants to propose something, it's probably bad. Yeah, yeah. And, and with this mindset, I actually managed to, to not only just save money, but but also save myself a lot of problems. Okay. Don't you think like Not this? Though? When did you when, when you assume that the government actually does good things? That like with with my assumption, I always end up predicting the correct outcome. Almost like ninety percent. Um, because of I've time. hold on. Because I've seen governments do good things before. I think we all have. Like what? Like, what? like freezing the truckers' uh, bank accounts. Yeah. <laughs> what what are what are the good things the Service Canadian government do? Citizens. What about made? Does it kill a lot of its citizens? <laughs> that's pretty bad. Yeah. Does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, are the good things? It's pretty do? bad. It was send, like, like, does it send elderly, billions right? of your money to Ukraine just out of interest? Yeah, like, I don't mind that, though. The actually, 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 remember when the government <laughs> said ah. it's going to only be for the elderly and it's only going to be for the people that are going to die? And I was like, they're going to expand this shit. How did I know? Yeah, of course they are, yeah. And they did. Yeah. yeah. yeah like, yeah. see, like, like, do, do you so see how me assuming the worst actually ends up being me making correct predictions? Mm-hmm. So well, that I is, the government did. I, mean, I also did. Was. I also did sit down though and watch and watch a bunch of conference given given conferences given by doctors in Canada where they talked about this stuff. So, I no, I, I agree with you. Yeah. Well, like, the doctors in favor of lowering or raising the number of people killed. What well, is the last well, legislation that the Canadian government passed that you were like, you know what, this actually makes my life better? I have to look it up to be honest. I don't know. But I can't. I can't give you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just wait. Just wait. V. I can give you one. Spe Here's the thing. All of these are now are now anecdotal, right? Because now you're asking me for specific yeah. instances. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, so, that's so, uh, okay. Okay. So, um, without if we had let's say more of an American style healthcare service, my sister would be dead. 
that's pretty important to figure out because she she was born with uh, a congenital a congenital defect and it and it, it, it would have cost millions of dollars in the American system to fix but the Canadian government just paid for it how long ago is that uh that was the 90s right so if it happened now do you think they'd just pay for it or they'd have it killed oh no they pay for it yeah mm. optimistic dev Okay, but still, I mean, hold on, hold, no, 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 no. Rock is going to okay away from this. I, I was you actually going to go okay for an instance. No, you like, asked me for an dead. instance, and I provided one, and it was a good one. Right? No, was a good in thirty one. years of your life, yes, like in thirty years of your life, there is one instance, which wasn't even a law that was passed when you were a kid. Like it was a law passed the from the previous Fire government the that had like the public <laughs> health care. And there's like this, what is this in your life where the government did something good? I No, I concede. Like, you're right. Do you want me to look up more? Yeah. I'm sure she's not the only person who had some sort of a congenital defect that was fixed. Yeah, no, no, no. But the thing <laughs> is, right, like, and, and again, this, this, this is again one of these things where it's like, right. So the government is now taking credit for medicine. I don't mm -hmm. think that's the case. I think we had medicine before governments actually... Sure. Well, the yes. government took it over, so you know I think but it's, it's one it, of those things where it's like taking credit for something you didn't really do. But it's like I said, though, if we had an American system, it would have it would have bankrupted my family. Yeah, but you the know, American system is bad. Them? What if, of what course, if the American system is bad. Heresy's the question. No, like hold on, hold on. If that's not the only alternative. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If he if he had an American system, how do you know your parents didn't have insurance? Yeah. Why wouldn't your parents like, have insurance, just, just because it's a different system doesn't mean like there are different ways around it. Yeah, sure. Who knows? So, so like you're you're basically having your parents pay for the government. They're paying taxpayer money since they they started working all the way up until now. And then from their taxpayer money, your your sister got healed. That, now, alternatively, they could have not paid taxpayer money and they could have paid the insurance to a private company. And eventually, your sister when she would have needed the health, like she could have got it from the private insurance company. Uh, maybe, but I mean, they're exceptionally hard to uh, wring money out of in the United States. No, they do pay. They do pay. They for do it. pay if you like someone. <laughs> you got, got, you got to fight pay. for it, man. <laughs> I see pay. that like, that is an uh, no. That is a very a very American, un-American view. Like I was like, oh, insurance companies always evil, always bad. No, 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 no. Ninety nine percent of the time, they will give you the money. You are legally protected out the ass when you deal with these companies. It is a complete myth that price, yeah. all of these insurance companies are <laughs> just evil. Dev, if, if, if it helps to persuade you, it's the government that's protecting people from the insurance companies reneging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah. you know what the government yeah. can that's do? Fine, it can decide that <laughs> the healthcare you need is too expensive, and then it will arbitrarily say, no, you can't have this. Legally, you can't have Depressed. this. Depressed? Maybe you should just like Sure. Oh, yeah, wasn't there that's a also bad, that, right? That, but... that they didn't want to. They okay. didn't want to send to like some experimental medicine because the British government decided that nope. Sorry, I what? think that was was in a, like a, like a, a, it was it was someone in the UK going to Italy or vice versa. Yeah, you know yeah. What you're talking about yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know they what killed about. that fucking baby. Yeah, it was awful. <laughs> Jesus, our God. What? Yeah, that's that's what it was. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's fucking awful. Yeah. <laughs> what what is funny so, about it? I think that's terrible. <laughs> that's not your reaction to it. It's like <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what what? No 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 your reaction to anyway, it. Anyway, listen. Yeah, but what? I'm not even joking. What what is wrong? I, I don't like it. I don't like what my government does. No, I agree no, with you. Fair it's, enough. it's just like you have a very British way of expressing your dissatisfaction. Romania's with curse more. <laughs> Uh, well, the okay. fact that you're not cursing, you're not <laughs> dropping f bombs and stuff, is what bewilders me. Like I would be a little bit more upset, but like, okay, well, it's, it's just I the mean, British way of reacting to stuff, I guess. I don't, I don't try not to swear, I suppose. <laughs> it's YouTube. You should never case, swear. In, Stop it completely. In any case, there is a place for governments. They should oh, but not nobody be has argued yeah, against that at any point. This entire <laughs> discussion. <laughs> this is okay, your enormous just, fucking I, straw man. It's no, the chat. I just I watched like, seven people yeah. in the chat. And he's the a, chat not, like, is more than two, memeing. More, more they than know people, it's riling me. you up, Dev. <laughs> you are saying, yeah, hey, well, these are my buttons. It's Arch, what are you complaining about? <laughs> Please press my button, says Dev. And as Jack goes, okay, hammer, 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 hammer. 
And yeah, yeah but they're doing need, it with you money. You need to start stacks keeping of the money. stream now. Yeah, yeah, okay. But that is also good. So yeah, keep going. No, but, but like my our <laughs> point is, Dev, is usually when the government does something, it's not for your best interest. It's evil. It's not evil. necessarily evil. It, it, it's no, yes, necessarily evil. In the same way that video game companies are making deliberately ugly women. <laughs> by the way, Sargon, I, I no, have no more by the ways. I have allowed you fun. enough really by the ways. Back. Sorry, Arch, Arch you, you want you have Arch, to be. Arch, did you not want to do an like a an impromptu Archcast? No. Yeah, because like we. I thought we, you just we suggested we're supposed to play seriously. Dungeons and Dragons now, so. <laughs> I'm, like, do you guys want to keep talking, or do you guys yeah, want to I'm just happy to go keep off talking? Like... There's this Sorry, thing that YouTube. There's this thing that yeah, YouTube no, introduced like... the other day called super chats, and I'm sure they will provide mm -hmm. topics of their own. Oh, it's right. only nice. on. Okay. Yeah, Sharp stick, Dev. Two hundred dollars bet that Trudeau's party will win the next PM election. If you truly believe the government in the West to be incapable of large-scale corruption, this will be easy money. That is, if the elections are even held by then. Okay, wait, who's this? Chopstick. Who's Chopstick? Oh, he's Chopstick. Uh, Sorry, what was he arguing? I missed it. Uh, he, he said that he, he wants to bet me $200 that Trudeau will win the next election. Uh, I wouldn't. I don't think he will. With the implication that it's going to be rigged in his favor. That's what it sounded like. Yeah, I don't think so. So I'll take two hundred dollars, man. I'll take your money. Yeah, 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 not... yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, chopstick. I'll, I'll, I'll take your bet. All right, because I'm pretty sure Trudeau's gonna fucking lose. Yeah, like he's, okay. he's doing very badly. I'm sure they will find a way to make him do less poorly, soon enough. Ren Tedda, the purple stateswoman, after becoming the state mandate, all chairs be dev proof after he broke another. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> An Oathbreaker, so, change thy class heretic. He has, he has changed his class sorry. from here to away. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously though, we hope everything's all right. We don't know what's, what's happened. Yeah, yeah. Listen, chat, by the way, chat, you have to understand something. Uh, government regulation can be good. You just have to live with that, sorry. Oh Every God. single fucking possible government regulation that has came question. up in the last 10 fucking Fire years have answer. made my life worse. Either I have to pay more taxes, <laughs> or there's a higher cost of living, or there's this shit that I can do now that I, like, I could perfectly do before. Death. That is absolutely... Even the traffic regulations, them, even the fucking traffic regulations, the ones that existed when I was born were fucking perfect. Everything that adding on top of that is to make life more difficult. In what way is V wrong, Dev? Um, I don't know the specifics of what he's talking about. I don't know what's going no, on in Romania. Exactly. Good point. Just, just it's everywhere in, in... around the world. There is no fucking place, even, yeah, even unless yeah. you're in Ghana, where where like maybe there's like some village in the middle of the savanna that doesn't have any traffic regulations. Like maybe that's the exception. But like any place Service in the first world country, any additional regulation added is not needed. The only thing that the politicians do is to figure out what more to ban, what more to regulate, what more to censor, what more to restrict. That The, the only thing, the, the only thing that I can Fire think of is the, the European answer. Union thinking, hey, you know what? That daylight saving bullshit is pissing off people. Maybe we can get rid of it. And they didn't do even that. Like that would have been like the only thing that I could say, yes, this is a law that actually made my life better. I love the, the idea that there's the some sort of Garland V answer. who's currently <laughs> raging about regulations about like, I don't know, food safety. <laughs> it's everything. It's everything, Sargon. Yeah, like, it, it, I guarantee to you, five years from now, the Amish will, will be farming poison. Like, even yes, though up until it. now they've Fire been doing the, the same shit for hundreds of years that it was fine, there's going to be the wisdom of some Democrat that is going to come to realize that actually what the Amish are doing is poisonous and what McDonald's is feeding you oh, is actually. It's damaging the climate, V. It's damaging the climate. Oh, my you fucking God. No, like, you know how they're going to get it. Yeah, like yeah. McDonald's is giving you perfect food that they're not harming the environment, DSG friendly. No. But those fucking Amish, man, those fucking Amish mm. would stuck into their old bigoted ways. Yeah, how long is like there's... with their neo reactionary so... ways? You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, here, yeah, yeah I, here, 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 here's this guy in the chat. Less regulation is always better than more. No, that's not true. Less regulation yeah. is always better than more. We are more. already regulated enough. Society is functioning perfectly with the current regulations that we have. Every is single it? time they're making new Theoretically, regulation. regulation is not bad. But 
in the last yeah. like 20 years regulation bad yes yeah, yeah. and the I regulations we do I, I need like never that, arrive that yeah <laughs> no one ever regulates canadians on the internet Mm. That is one of the many failings of the modern day system. The only yeah. good regulations is regulations that are applied to the government. That is true. <laughs> that's not true. And me. weirdly, no, there's no, not that not many true, of those. Me. That's not true. I wonder Listen, why the government doesn't regulate hold on. itself. If regulations, regulations so good. can ser regulations yeah, yeah, yeah. can serve to fill gaps in the market. That's completely fine. Mm. Mm. Especially knowledge gaps, because those are actually quite hard for consumers to fill themselves. Like what? Like uh, genders, you to, for example. You example. There's seven million yeah, genders, yeah, and the government is here to enforce Gen these genders. genders upon you. Okay, so yeah, listen. Wanna... You, like, like, okay, the, the the basic like free free market idea is that you engage in a market, you buy like you buy a product, and then you consume the product, and then you through your consumption, you've gained some knowledge about the product, and you can turn around and then buy a different product if your tastes have changed, right? So, a great example is apples. If you say, "Well, I want to buy an apple today," and you go and you buy like a, a Macintosh apple, it turns out you don't like Macintosh yeah, apples, so you go buy a Granny Smith, and it turns out you don't like those, those ones either. And then you you buy a Fuji, you you like Fuji apples, okay? So now through your your free interaction with the market, you've discovered what kind of apples you like, what kind of apples you don't like, right? So you've gained yeah. knowledge by interacting with the market. Um, there are some markets where you cannot gain knowledge by interacting with them, uh, or it's very, very hard to do so. Uh, healthcare um, is one of those markets. It's a very obvious one where it's like you walk into a doctor's office and let's say that you're sick and you have no idea what's wrong. Where the government the doctor forces does. you to get vaccinated? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 just wait, just wait, just wait. Yeah. So, oh. so, 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 no, we, we can talk about vaccines point. if you want. I don't, I don't give a shit. It's not my channel. But, <laughs> but listen, listen. But, but listen, the, the point is, though, V, is, like, is, is you walk into the doctor's office, you're sick. It could be one of five different diseases. You have no idea what it is. The doctor does, but he has knowledge, and you're not going to get the knowledge from him through through interacting in, in, a, in a market like scenario, right? It's the same with housing, right? So you, you, you don't have the knowledge to know what makes yeah. a good or a bad house aside from like aesthetics and some and some basic stuff. That's why you have to have people come in and inspect the property, right? You ha We have regulations to enforce standards to shore up deficiencies so in markets where consumer yeah. knowledge is not enough to make the market function. Yeah, but my, my point is I, I'm already born with all the regulations by country D. Everything extra is at my detriment, right? Like, like I, I was born in in the 1986, the and, and at that Fire point, the all the regulations were there. <laughs> it was good, but since that point forward, every single thing added is actually making my life worse. It's lowering my living standard. It's making shit worse. I'm paying more taxes. The inflation is worse, right? Like this is what this, this is what I'm trying to say. It's it's not that regulations are bad per se. It's that what we had up until now was a good thing. My parents, well, not mine, because we lived under communism, we had the bloody revolution. But like in America, for instance, like, and probably in Canada as well, your parents were probably more happy and had a better Canada life. Canada lives under communism TV. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Hold on a second. Is, it, is, is V's voice breaking up for anyone but me, for anyone else? Is it just me? No, no. Nope. Not for me. Fine to me. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Uh, read, read another super chat, Arch. Okay, so V, I want to actually reply to that real quick because d did you have, What's let's say, our, our modern, our our modern um, uh, food labeling regulations in Romania when you were born? They were probably more lax. Um, mostly, you'd go to the market, you would sniff it, you would taste it, you would fucking boil it, and then you'd eat it. Good enough for <laughs> Vlad the Impaler. It's good enough for V. <laughs> so so the, you know a lot of a lot of governments at least western governments have implemented a regulation where you have to show what's in the food and put it on the package that's in that's a relatively new regulation happening yeah, in the past yeah, 30 years that, it's a good one you know what happened no no we what? didn't have that but companies that didn't Every do that Romanian were, were not trusted by the consumer sorry what and the companies that lied about it would get sued because you're, you're still committing some form of libel when, when you're lying about what's in the product Fraud, you mean? Yeah, so, some sort of fraud. My bad, right? Uh, so, so basically, we didn't have a law for that, but companies did it anyway, simply because every other company did it. And if you didn't do it, then people wouldn't buy your stuff. And if you lied about it, you'd get sued. Hold on. If you lied about it, you get sued. 
Why? Yeah. You mean for breaking the regulation? Yeah, you're yeah, for breaking the regulation. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it sounds no, no, like this no. is a good regulation. regulation. Now, yeah. no, the regulation now is that every single company has to do it. That didn't exist back then. Yeah, but has to do it or what? Or else you, or else you, you've broken the law, right? Or, or, I mean, or else they get a fine from the government. Yeah, it's fine. That, that's that's good. That's okay. Yeah, but but no, like I'm saying that before this, the system that we had in place was that if a company didn't do it, people wouldn't buy the product and. If a company lied about it, they would get sued in civil court, and they would have to pay the the person that sued money. To be honest, V, I feel I feel like you're strengthening Dev's argument here, so I'd like you to stop it. Not necessarily. Well, hold on. This, this R- is Romanian the, um... Romanian food standards in the 1990s. I don't think is a winning argument. I just <laughs> <laughs> just well, call I, me I, crazy. Just, just wait, have, v, no, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, V. Obesity rate. No, hold on. We didn't have the obesity rate that the Americans have. I mean, certainly didn't have the obesity rate that even Romania is starting to gain. Yeah, but you probably have a life expectancy of like 50. More more, more healthy. So here's the thing, What's the life expectancy of Romania at the end of communism? I can look it up. It's probably not great, I don't think it it? was very low. Depends on your definition of very low, I guess. So, so here's the thing. Like, this is the, this is, I know you're on an ANCAP V. but it's 64 years. I know that you're on an ANCAP V. 76.64 76.64 like, years. When? In 2024. Okay. No, no, no. So in, in 1990. Service guarantee I don't know if I can find the place where they measured. Oh, never mind. I can't. Come on. <laughs> Real Hall Senator, I have DM'd you a request to years, play two oh, yeah. clips for Saga Remember. Your call, of course, but you have my word. There is nothing bad in them. That is the... You so can what, hi- what, what was that, V? Quickly, seventy. Seventy. So six yeah. years life expectancy has been added but because this was of other food. Communism. I, I don't think people were dying because <laughs> of the food. I think that people were dying for other reasons. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. So, so hold, hold on, V. V. Here's the thing, right? Because I know I know that you're not an ANCAP, but this is like a common ANCAP argument where the idea is we can let the market correct. So we'll have a manufacturing Paris plant that question. dumps sewage into a river and then downstream a town dies. And then because of, because just, just, I know just, just wait though. Just wait though, V because Sorry, once I'm the saying, town yeah. dies, once the town dies, uh, the the general um, view of this so company and the population will go down, and so they'll stop buying the products, and then so no, 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 no. That, the, the company will go out of business. Saying. Like what I am saying, though, is that in the past, things actually worked like that, and what you're describing didn't really happen that often, as you think. In fact, like I, besides Chernobyl, <laughs> I don't know if it happened. The thing is, like with the regulations, you also have that happening. I mean, didn't you have like the East Palestine shit that happened in the United States? Uh, yep, the, and there's the also uh, more that. recently, if we're talking about if we're talking about food, more recently there was uh, lead found in Lunchables, <laughs> right? So there, there, there are still things that fall through the gaps, but we are better off with food safety regulations than not. And I don't know how I you can argue think otherwise. Morbidly obese Americans agree with you. Yeah, V, I think it's trying, time to change tack away from materialism and go for the transcendental argument. I don't fucking know what that means. Like in a normal human, Jesus. It's good. It's good if people die of these things because it means they're free. No, 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 no. That, that's not what I mean. What I mean is that the government, being malevolent, is making these regulations not to care about your health, but to protect the big businesses. And, and you can see this as the effect of what's happening in the United States, where you have like morbid obesity, not because of people's lifestyle, but because of the food quality. Like, there are Americans who come to Europe and they lose weight, and there are Europeans that go to America and they gain weight, even though oh, they maintain I'm one of their those, lifestyle. Man. I swear to God. Every time I go to America, I put on loads of weight and I hate it. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's that, right? So, despite the fact that you have all these regulations, which are, are supposed to be for food safety and whatnot, the purpose of the regulations is more to help the big businesses rather than to actually make sure that the food that the people are eating are healthy. And you can see this, and this is why I was keep bashing you in the head with it, is that they fuck with the Amish, but they don't fuck with like the big industries that are making people no, no, morbidly obese. The, it's because there's a difference between unhealthy food that makes you fat and food that has bacteria or a virus in it. Those are there two different kinds there. of bad things. There, shouldn't there be is a difference. A difference. Like, there given, is a difference. The amount of regulations, no, listen. Given the amount of regulations that the United States have, there shouldn't be a one. Right. If they're actually so, going okay, for it's... like the one piece of E. coli that that happened in the hundred of years of that farm operating, right? And they're, they're uh-huh. furious about that. They should also tackle with the big shit, which is like the the fact that the America is making people obese, despite the fact that in well, other places of the world, there, that just there is a difference. Happen. 
there is a difference, and I outlined it to you when we talked about it this last V. And the this, difference this is, is literally like me coming to no, your no, no, house no. Let me tell you the difference. Let, 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 let Dev explain his terrible point. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, V. V. The difference is that people like uh, you know purposefully catching E. coli is not a vice people engage in. All right. <laughs> people do do unhealthy things. They smoke. It's so bad for you. They drink. It's bad for you. They eat a bunch of Big Macs. That's bad for you. So yeah. is so is so is catching E. coli, but no one goes out there and catches E. coli for fun. It's not a yeah. vice the same way that these things are. Press one if you've gone out and caught E. coli for fun, and if you think Dev is a hideous status for inhibiting your freedom to do so. E. <laughs> coli in a fucking hospital, and they don't shut that down. I want to see all the ones come in because we, yeah, they hear the <laughs> good. See, I told you, Dev. Why are you so against freedom? My freedom to catch E. coli for fun. But unironically, <laughs> Sargon, I, no, hold on. I, I have a, a, a moral question for Sargon because you do philosophy oh, yeah. and shit, right? Yeah. If you are a, a customer that is aware that the Amish farms can occasionally produce E. coli, but you genuinely like their food, you think their food is more healthy, yeah. you think that the way they're farming is, is a lot better than what the big industries are giving and, and, and people are getting more obese. Yeah. So you choose, despite the warning, to buy from the Amish. Should the government yeah. prevent you from buying from the Amish? Well, I mean, in America, they don't have free health care, so you should know. <laughs> so the government shouldn't, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. My, my freedom to get E. coli from the Amish trumps dev statism as far as i'm concerned so so here's the but, thing right i've actually yeah. i've actually watched too many lotus eaters videos in the past six months or so i am 100 percent off the freedom train oh uh, really we're not really yep. like a hyper freedom channel yeah, yeah get, i know get, get them to talk about porn or anime and they'll take it away from us yeah yep yep that, that, that's what i mean is that so, like the freedom to do oh, no, what dev is the question the, Canada, the freedom right. to no, do what Yes, you did, Sargon. The, you, you, you asked me. You know what? You and I had that big conversation in private about freedom, what is it, a year or two ago? And you kept asking me, Dev, the freedom to do what? And I was like, you know what? Sargon's right about that. That's a question you do have to ask. I haven't and now we've arrived at this enough. position. I need to become a harder communist. And now we've arrived at this position, the freedom to do what exactly? The freedom to be free from the government, Dev. God, I thought this was America. <laughs> The real hallucinator says, okay, V, okay, okay. you could have clipped it ahead of time. You could have, V. You didn't, yeah, V. Yeah, you could, but that was never going to happen. <laughs> because it, I, I'm pretty sure he did find it, and he realized it undermined his position, and then therefore yeah, I I reckon reckon so to not bring it along. Yeah. Well, I was trying to get a gotcha, though. Like, I, I generally wanted to engage no, with no, them. It wasn't a gotcha, V. It was just... No, this really is about the orcs, V. This is about the orcs. Yeah. Oh, the, the, sorry. My bad. I thought that was about our debate. No, no, no. Nem, have you guys tried Foundry Virtual Tabletop? I've looked into it. I haven't tried it. <coughs> Plus, that would be a new system for Sargon to learn. Sargon hates learning new things. I do. Um, I mean, if it's really good, I can be persuaded, but I would need to be shown that it's really good. Well, Ar Arch, what was that application we used when we played Skaven? That was actually a really good tabletop application. It's... A decent one. It's quite <sighs> unwieldy, but it does it does work fairly well. And it had the, like all those fun rain effects when it was raining and stuff. You you put a lot of stuff in the maps. Yeah, that was what nice. Was it? it had a lot of uh, little whole slides things. Well, it was called something, but <laughs> well, it's terribly. I still have it installed. Actually, hold on, let me look. Oh, there you go. Dev can find. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Uh, Sean King, Arch, your character would want to convert the orc to your god. Uh, so they're the vile savages. Yeah. I don't think they can be converted. No, I, I think Lysander would be right. Um, because they're obviously well, vile savages. Well, it's unlikely. They're obviously uh, uh, vile Sarah, savages. What would Lysander say about converting orcs? Well, I'm not telling you. Well, we'll have to do the uh, Vaux veal on converting the orc populace then. What will be the 30 minute consequences of going out to convert orcs to Lathanderism? 
a good question, frankly. The horse header, V, that's your assumption are uh, why devs sometimes get Ws. Stop overstating your case. Yes. No, it's again, I didn't try to get a gotcha. Like, I wasn't just playing to get a score. But why do you try you to give points to, to devs? Dev? Have the win. Not about <laughs> points. It's like I, I generally wanted to see if his position is tenable and if he understands how corruption is like in Eastern Europe. Of course it is. Because I, I, no, I, I don't think, it. like, no, as a Canadian, I don't think he gets it. I think, like, he believes that if you say no to the government, they find you or arrest you. Okay, v, 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 just, v, just real quick, just real quick. I get it. I'm saying that not all governments are Eastern European governments. That's yes, it. Yes, and I'm saying that the differences are that big because, like, at the end of the day, they're still human beings. And, and, like, finding ways v. to fuck with someone else is not Eastern European inherited. You know, it's the... like, look at look at how people act. Hold on. Look at how people act on social media, right? You have someone that hates so you, and all of a sudden they start doxing yeah. you. They start looking into your shit. Please, Why do you think that if on, that bro, person was bro, at the level bro, of the government, bro. he wouldn't behave in the same manner? V, V, we, we got Dev to admit that he was taking the L on that, right? Now it's a super chat that, that, that brought it up, so I just explained Sure, <laughs> you, you can just be like, yep, Dev took the L on that. Moving on. Yeah, okay. So, so, so V... There's a difference between like the Nigerian government and the British government, yes, for yes. example. See, now he thinks he's not taking the other. Some, I'm right about this part of it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the super chat said, v, and, and, "Stop and giving not Dev only is there W's. a difference between yes, Arch, re, re, so re, why do you decide? Not only is there a difference between the British Arch, and Nigerian Arch, governments. There's a difference between British and Nigerian people as well. Now is the time. The moment is upon us. Go to the next super chat. Dev just went full fascist. Let him go. Yeah, that, it's fine. Yeah. But like, read the next super chat. <laughs> Sandoom says, "Hello, Art Sargon V. Devon Rags. May today be a good game." Well, <laughs> <laughs> All right, V, behave. Dev, role play more. Oh. Arch is good. Rags is good, and Sargon is so patient. Uh, Arch, it was called Fantasy Grounds. The application we used for Skaven. Fantasy Grounds, right? Do you remember it? I do. It does have a lot of nice little extra bells and whistles that I did enjoy. It was just quite cumbersome to use. Sean King, Arch, I have... I experiment with new facial sculpting techniques, but your character came out looking like Greta Thunberg. Well, don't do that, because Greta's currently getting cancelled by all of her sponsors. It turns out that the whole pigtails look could only go so far. What? Why is she getting cancelled? I, I saw I saw her tits as she got arrested. <laughs> oh my god, V. That was Photoshop. You tarred. She she is she's over eighteen. Hold on, I'll post it in the chat. You guys can see it. She's okay, that was go photoshopped ahead. V. You tarred. No, I no, no, no. Myself. There were, there was actually a video and it wasn't. There were tits. Yeah. Yeah. See Sargon knows. Okay, well, well Sargon, Twitter I well. think worse of you now. Well no, I've got Why? Twitter as like, well. I know it's, what everyone's it's on Twitter, the, uh, art. Yeah. Yeah, but I haven't seen it, and I'm on Twitter too. I think worse of both of you. Really? It was all over fucking Twitter the other day. Well, you notice I didn't comment on it, you know, fuck's sake. All right, here we go. You can't, you can't even show this on YouTube. It's, uh... No. Yeah, yeah, it's nothing, it's nothing <laughs> explicit. Fine, but, uh, yeah, but fine. I refuse to out of principle. It's answer. Greta Thunberg. I'd rather not give her even the attention of that. Like, when she gets arrested, she smiles. Why? Because she yeah. knows that V will spread her image and talk about her and give her flailing, <laughs> fledgling, failing career. Look, man, tiny I, I little boost. The market wants, okay? If people weren't interested, I wouldn't do it. Uh, D then, V moves to defend his honor. His honor. What is, what is V honor? trying to defend now? I posted it in the Crusader Tapestry. Okay, I'll have Disco already. I fucking ban you later. I have the power to do so. A skeptic student, read spells, comprehend language and tongues. Have we must understood either of those spells? I don't think we. I think we've figured out those spells. I think so. Uh, skeptic student, yeah, uh, Raining Terror. Dev is going to defend Brazil trying to act like America per Twitter files. He is, and he was. He has. He what? did no, do I that. Didn't. He did do that. 
I said it was bad. He def did do that. Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. Ah, <laughs> huh. where did... Ah, there we go. Uh, Agrippa on the Streamlabs. Hey Arch, thank you for recommending the first law. Awesome audiobook. I love the character. I'm sure you know who's my favorite. Take care, guys. For first law is a great series. Defend. Hi, boys. Now, Dev, how much money for the RP's episodes you have? Okay? Have fun, boys. Dev. What? I'm not following any of these super chats. Uh, Dev is holding a previous RP episodes hostage. Is he? Yep. I, have mo I have them on a hard drive somewhere. See? Why Release the RP's, Dev. Will do. Why are, you, why are you holding them hostage? I didn't. Okay. So here's the thing. My my friend's uh, demonetized channel got nuked, as it was likely to do. Why so not? actually, because it, it had a bunch of spicy videos on it. But oh, right. nonetheless, um, a fan of mine has said he's going to open up a channel to basically just store a whole bunch of spicy videos, and hopefully it'll fly yeah. under the radar. So. I'll, you know what? I'll just tell him not to upload the dog pill video because that's the one that that gets it taken down every time. I can't believe that YouTube is so bothered about the dog pill video. Yeah, uh, primary were a victim: white women and dogs. YouTube yeah. might like both. Oh, no, no, no! I, I know what's happening. There's a push yeah. from the credit card companies to remove bestiality from the internet. So if you well, name fine. something as the dog pill, it probably falls under the algorithm. Sorry, you suggest yeah, the credit card companies have finally done something right? I wouldn't um, go that far. If you're thinking, see, see, this is the problem where they use useful idiots. Where you're thinking, yeah. oh yeah, this is a good thing, but but in reality, they're expanding stuff beyond the scope, and it just normalizes the idea that a credit card company can decide what you purchase and what you don't. Yeah. See, on the one hand, I am mildly sympathetic to the idea of taking down the videos of people fucking do dogs. That sounds okay. Just mildly sympathetic. Yeah, mildly sympathetic, you know. But what I'm not sympathetic to is the fact that this the the is correct and this Fire will normalize the, the idea that credit card companies can and cannot decide yeah. who gets to put stuff on the internet. I mean, to be honest, we were, already, we were already there with, with, with Patreon and... Yeah, we're already there, to be honest. Yeah, that's, MasterCard that's pushing stuff. There, right? yeah, but, like, if you look at AOC... There's, there's no a point in making it worse. One. AOC is partnering with a hyper-religious group in order to take down porn from the internet. And you're wondering, like, why would AOC do that? And then you realize, oh, because you they, they actually ask for, like, identification when using the the porn sites. And when you think about it, Twitter is a porn site because it does have porn, right? So imagine, like, having to use your ID every time you want to log on to Twitter. Mm. So hold on. The upside to this is no more under-18s on Twitter. Yeah, I'm starting to come around. Because, I mean, like, it can save your ID. You don't have to log in every mm. single time. Everything you do, that. Sargon, would be traced, right? So, like, oh. every post... V, for fuck's sake, man, do. I live in the UK. Everything I do is already traced all <laughs> the time. That doesn't mean that I need to be subjected <laughs> by the same tyranny. Uh... Wow. <laughs> so, so, basically, what you're saying, if we have this Romanian thing, it's like, I wish the neighbor's goat would die as well. It's, uh, it's kind of what you're implying here. It's like, it's well, bad thing. To I do to me, hope so your goat dies. If my you're goat dies... Well, this bad thing that's happening might not happen. It's yeah. like, what? My goat dies. No, I want no. your goat to die. I, I well. mean, the, the 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 reason that I do not agree with these regulations, right? Even though they sound good, and that's how they get them in, because it's like, oh, it's the anti bestiality yeah, law. Well, why Fire for bestiality? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no, it's yeah. basically against the credit card company deciding what I can and can't purchase, especially mm -hmm. in a society that becomes more and more digitalized. V standing on a soapbox in the nineteenth century is a man not entitled. To the bestiality porn of his own brand. <laughs> well, no, but look what happened with Nigel Farage, right? Like, like it, it's it's basically the normalization yeah. of that. He you know, like watches Nigel bestiality like... porn one time. No, but like Nigel Farage was debanked <laughs> because he uh, he was promoting hate speech. Are you for hate speech, Sarah? It's yeah. like, oh, yeah. right? But but it, it, that, that's how they're getting in. It's like I slowly know, and I surely. Know, I know. I mean, but basically, the terms of service on Twitter and the internet as a whole was because the argument was, oh, if we don't have that, like, girls kill themselves. Because, like, there was this yeah. case of a girl that got bullied online, and she, she killed herself, so now you need trust and safety because, oh, you, yeah. do you want more kids to die? Like, are you a sick son of a bitch? No, yeah. of course you don't. So you want regulations. You want social media to, to have the trust and safety council. 
I'm aware of the argument. He just doesn't find it persuasive enough to pretend to protect no, the LT. I mean, uh, no, V V is V is right. I mean, he is right about this, but like. No, and the thing is, like, they don't get rid of bestiality anyway, because you got torrents, you got magazines, you got, like, other forms. Uh, see, I... I, I magazines? What kind of magazines being published yeah, on, yeah, like, on Romania, V? Yes, they were, they, they were saying at one Fire point, I think Connor was the one saying that there's more porn now than was ever. It's like, bullshit. When I was a kid, you actually had magazines of pornography. Like, I guess outside of the Anglosphere, that wasn't the thing. But here you could go to, like, a newspaper kiosk. Why would you oh, yeah, yeah, like, well, well, no, actually, you did have you have the Sunday no, Times, no. right? You had the Sunday Girls and no, shit. No, no, no. We 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 had like actual pornography magazines, but they're really soft. Like it was a girl's tits and her bum, you know. I mean, I didn't buy them because I was a kid, but like I remember like walking through the streets of Romania, and as a kid, you could actually go to a newspaper kiosk, and they had like OK Madame, I think it was called, and Playboy, and all the other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they, they had that right? sort of thing here. It's, it's really soft, though, really soft. I think yeah. a lot of, I mean, part of the reason you, why we don't you use that to actually... is because it's kind of pointless in the age of the internet. Why would you purchase yeah. pornography in paper form when you can Google tits? Yeah, but like, yep. uh, Arch, if they were to ban porn from the internet, like, look, there's no more porn on the internet. They would go back to the magazine. You you have USBs, you you would have, like, torrents, and, you know, back then, I remember I was selling yeah. DVDs in high school. Like, you could still mm -hmm. monetize that. There will I mean, always be a China. thriving illegal market in illegal goods. You are correct. Yeah. Um, also, I I did the DVD hustle too, but it wasn't porn. It was anime. Mm. Anime well, and like imagine PlayStation putting games. Imagine someone in prison, because this is what they're asking. Imagine putting someone in prison because they have like a, a USB with pornography on it. Right? So like consenting nice. adults, I mean, I, I, I'm i not talking about like anything yeah, illegal, yeah. but like le legitimately, right? Because... Not talking they, about they anything say... found on Vosh's hard drive, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like vanilla stuff, right? Like in China, for instance. In China, they yeah, they do that in China, yeah. 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 So, so like, imagine like putting people in prison just because like they're, uh, you know, sharing uh, pornography or something. I, I, I don't think like that is um the correct way forward. I mean, yeah. But and I don't think you have I'm, enough I'm, prisons I'm, as well, so it's going to be selectively enforced. Give me I'm, gooning, I'm or still give me okay. death, says V. I'm still okay with them taking the bestiality down, though. See, no, I have, I, I have arrived at the point where I'm not okay with that either. I have arrived at the point where this is a very, very simple question. Where if you give them one inch, they will take the next. This is inevitable. Like, because the, the entire... See, this, this, is the, this is why government is bad, okay? Because current day government, current day democracy, exists for no other purpose than to perpetuate itself and to continue to provide um, work for the people who work in it. That is the sole reason mm. why this exists mm. now. It is for politicians to continue to pick up a paycheck. And how do they do that? By going, hey, we got to have something to do. Let's regulate this. Let's regulate that. Yeah. Let's do this. I, I think that Vosh has found a new ally in Arch. We have to arrive at the <laughs> point you. where we are actually removing. You're the one who persuaded walls. it. No, because Sarka, like I, I noticed where it's going, and it's uh, Arch is right. Don't say no like, when that's exactly the argument you're making. No, I mean I I, I agree yeah, with Arch. No, don't say no. You say yes, yes. That's exactly yes, the yes. I I, I agree okay. with Arch over this, and, and it's because yeah. I I notice what they're doing and, and where it's going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Vosh is suddenly just happy to have an ally. I think. <laughs> is only one i have fully yes, arrived we, yeah, at the but, idea but that i alley. don't no, care no, how no. morally repugnant someone or something is i say we have fucking rape videos have it all no, unless no, illegal so no, 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 no. but no everything all of it in animated format yeah. so nobody's actually a victim no like my my way of solving this is absolute if freedom illegal if something illegal is uploaded, then it should be the cops that find out who uploaded it and arrest the person. It shouldn't be the credit card companies. It shouldn't be social media's responsibility. It should be yeah, the okay, government so. and the authorities if something is illegal. Oh, right, like, Mr. Anti-Statist is suddenly like, no, no, not a private company doing it. It's got to be the government. <laughs> no, no, because I, I, I was never an anti-statist. But, but like, there are... What? Oh, 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 <laughs> oh <me>. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> 
Because I, I even told oh. them, like, I think the state is required. Suddenly we have a very nuanced and subtle opinion on that, do we, V? I, I never said I would add Cap Sargon. I don't know where you got that from. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> no, but like, unironically, when it comes to crimes on the internet, right? Like, do you think it's mm -hmm. the social media's responsibility or the government's There is no such thing as a crime on the internet. It's impossible. There are no crimes on the internet. Okay, child pornography, Arch. Okay, there are so no crimes on the internet. Video. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> there are no crimes on the Paris internet. The Calm down, the you answer. need to get your hard drive checked. <laughs> there exists no such thing. There is only government fabrication. Uh, Jim Z, the Red Bridge is a pre pre prescient name now that day is called bridge. That is true, Dev. But um, bum I get the joke. Honestly, I think I think the bridge rebrand will just fail. It will. The bridge rebrand. Yeah, DEI is being rebranded to bridge. Oh, really? Is it? Yeah, you should talk about that. Then she was upset that you're not talking about it. It's because I, okay. honestly, it's because I understand better what's going on. Like, because we haven't been doing this for all of these years because we're attacking DEI. Nobody's been arguing like, oh, DEA is bad. Only DEI is bad. No, the entire point is wokeism is bad. So you yeah. can rebrand wokeism what, however many fucking times you want. It'll still be bad. Yeah, what's the what's the acronym that Bridge stands for? Okay, I'm, I'm going to read uh, it off real quick. B here. is for belonging. Um, D, oh, yeah. l l I don't know what the R is for, but I... Hold on, hold on, B, I got it. D is for diversity. The G is for Dev's global. Dev's got it. Come on, let him do it. Okay. So here, th this is from the Bridge website. It's also an organization, right? It's not just oh, yeah. an idea. So Bridge stands for Benchmarking Race, Inclusion, and Diversity in Global Engagement. It's an institutional survey that explores diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility metrics, structures, and practices at the organizational level across U.S. registered organizations in the international development and humanitarian sector. So they're tr it it's the new big push to try to get people who are working with this bridge organization into various companies and institutions. Yeah, I think I think Arch is right about this. I don't think this is going to work. Because I think the average CEO is going to be like, well, what's that? And they say, well, is it? it's kind of re rebranded DEI. And they're like, well, I don't want that. That was terrible. Wait, anyway, Sargon, I never asked you, because you're into philosophy and shit. How would you define woke? An ironic question. Like, Race. Uh, it's the redistribution of uh, resources and power along race, class, and uh, gender, sexuality, any kind of arbitrary characteristic line. So when someone says this video game is woke, how would you say that it's trying to push for the redistribution of power along racial and class lines? Sure, because they, they view representation as a form of power. So the um, the representations that you'll see in the game, the reason that you're not playing a straight white man, you're playing a fucking disabled brown hijabi or something is because they view that as a form of redistribution of power representation like matters, the, the, the power of of being visible the the yeah. power of visibility yeah yeah, yeah oh man and influence and things like that so I, I i gave my definition which was woke is the ethics and processes of socialism applied to intersectional identitarian conflict yeah um, that's totally fine fucking um Corn cob guy Jake did like a two hour segment on me because oh, really? he, he found that to be a very uh, he didn't like that definition very much. <laughs> really? What was his objection? Because that's I think that's a good definition. Um, his objection was that I don't understand wokeism, I don't understand Marxism, oh. I don't understand communism, I don't understand oh, anything. Hell, Jake, I'm it's a not retard. Our first rodeo, what are you talking about? <laughs> I know that Dev understands Marxism and woke, yeah, he is all those things, <laughs> yeah, exactly. No. He's <laughs> No, I am not. <laughs> How could he not understand no, it, these things that are so intimate to I, his I, so, being? So I did that fifteen-minute video, like going into detail, pulling out a bunch of yeah. a bunch of Marx writing, talking about it, right? And he like he he did the streamer react thing, where he listens to ten to Two fifteen seconds, seconds right, yeah. and or like and then he he picks out one little thing he hates, he pauses, he rants for ten minutes, and he plays it again, and he's completely lost the actual thread yeah. of the video you know what i mean yeah. he so did that for like two hours video responses, I guess. Yeah. yeah 
he he did that for two for like two hours, and a, and a lot of it was just like you're retarded, you're retarded, you're retarded. It's like oh okay, all right. Why, why is he retarded? I mean, I'm I'm willing to accept the argument that Dez retarded, but I need to know why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Dev, did you did you see the the stuff that Medicare is going through? Did you see all the the, the uh, not, not really. Oh, I saw his medical thing. bills. Yeah, yeah. No, I saw those. Yeah. No. Yeah. Damn. Ventera, Dev, how are law laws enforced? Now apply that to their masking. No, I get it. Good. Yes, yeah. Heinlein. De Dev took the L on that. That's He's good. taking the L. Heinlein, I get it. Afro Fry Cook. Dev, should be a boss be able to ask his underlings for sex? Assuming he says ahead of time no punishment will occur. Neutral request Ooh, would be FDR that, meeting that, that, that industry good, yeah. owners during the Great Depression. Uh, the answer to that's obviously yes. Yeah. What? Yeah, no, I agree. Why not? Of course. No, no, that is consistent. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Dave. Yeah, no. The boss goes up to yeah. the attractive woman and is like, hello, would you like to pound? Okay, she, yeah, she has listen, every ability have... to say no. The... Listen, I already fuck my employees. It's fine. We do know that you have a lot of sex with uh, your editor there, but... <laughs> do you think a teacher can do this to a student if the student is of age? I mean, you mean, is it moral for them to do so? Do they sh no, um, should they be able to do it? Um, I guess it really depends what we're talking about here. An 18 year old student, right? And, and she's a girl and she's got her exams coming up, and the teacher goes, Suck my cock. Right. Come on. The answer is obviously no. I mean, I did it. Sure, but this is why universities and schools have rules about fraternization. <laughs> no, when I when I was a first year student, I ended up getting with my assistant professor. I passed that class, by the way. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> no it, it was a girl who's like six years older than me. It was fine. Yeah, because you passed. Yeah. But by did the way, he though? Though, Um. Did you know that in the state of America, if you get condemned to death, they let you get the firing squad or the electric chair? Oh, like, which God, one V, need? this is the third the stream you're bringing up. But this isn't true. This is the first one I've heard. Is it? It's not? I've heard oh, okay. this many times now. I don't think you can still get the firing squad. No, which one would you guys prefer? Break the chair, oh, definitely sorry. firing squad. Fuck me. No, he will break the chair. Break <laughs> well, the oh, right. I get, I get the giving. joke. I get the joke. Yes. I get yes. the joke. I mean, there, there, there's something heroic about a firing squad, you know, there that is. isn't there with the chair. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, it's less painful. Well, to be shot. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, than the electric chair. Well, I suppose it depends how quickly you die. Yeah, because yeah. like with the electric chair, it can take like 30 minutes. Your eyeballs pop up. Like, it, it's fucking not hell, really yeah. Pleasant. Just shoot me. Just fucking shoot me. <laughs> yes. No, unironically, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's in Utah, apparently, Arch. You, you asked where it is. It's in the state of Utah. Really? Mm. I did not yes. ask where it is. <laughs> That's a good point. You didn't, but I am. I was curious. Uh, Thomas Hosea, Dev's argument for government asking people to censor is the difference between American and Canadian founding stories and the following philosophy. Well, that's true, Dev. Someone, uh, someone who uh, wishes to sacrifice a little freedom for security deserves neither. I fucking hate the formulation of that though so much. I forward yeah, that because we do it all the time. Of bestiality as well. But it, no, 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 no. It's not even that. It's like it's just Benjamin Franklin's fucking opinion. Oh, you just don't deserve it. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I don't give a fuck what you think, Baldy. All right. You know, <laughs> I don't care what you think. I deserve. It's such a shit statement. Yeah, and also, it's just it's incorrect because on a practical level, we do sacrifice no, freedom no, for it's safety totally all the correct, time because he's just giving an opinion. Oh, I just think you deserve okay. it. Well, who cares? I've got both. Now, fuck off. You know, it's such a shit statement. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair, fair enough, fair enough, right? But the, the implication behind the statement, as it's commonly used in the modern day, is you should not sacrifice freedom for security, but we do so all the time, and it's actually fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, Dev. I think you've sacrificed a little bit too much freedom for not quite enough security. Yeah. I think you Are have you sure? a made appointment, Dev. Yeah. That's my problem with it, Dev. <laughs> You've sacrificed a tremendous degree of freedom, and you seem to have garnered less safety. And that's coming Listen, from you know Scandinavian. What? I'm actually thinking about it. I'm actually 100% on board with made. Jesus of course you are. Christ. 
No, let me let me let me give me give the argument. The state is I'm not 100 on board with Maid. Yeah, yeah. Let me give you the argument. Okay, let me give the argument. Okay, so if if you're talking about like the people who who are old and declining and they're like they have diseases and they're gonna die anyway, you know, I understand. Okay, but now let's talk about uh, the young depressed people who want to kill themselves. Right? Mm-hmm. Well, they're all leftists anyway. I knew you were going to say it. I knew you were going to say it. I'm literally <laughs> moments away from preempting you. But I thought, no, no, no. He sounds like he's making a serious argument. Let's just let him do it. <laughs> so, Dev's argument for Maid is, is broadly eugenicist against the left. Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, um, I don't have a counter argument. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of a reason why not. <laughs> Why? Uh, I need to scroll the YouTube thing now. V, the one time I want you to just start talking about some random stuff I could not care less about. This is the time. This is the moment. You couldn't even oh, do God, it. Would you, would you smother baby Karl Marx? No, because I wouldn't want to kill no. Dev that much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, if it wasn't for Karl Marx, Dev wouldn't be who he is, and I wouldn't know him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I'll put it this way. If it, if it wasn't for Karl video. Marx... You, you made an what? entire video complaining that the Young Turks were rushing in to smother baby Hitler. And, and that, <laughs> you're like, well, actually, if it's Karl Marx... I wouldn't. I wouldn't smother any baby. I think. Um, yeah, but it's got a bark sargon. It's got a beard. <laughs> a baby with a beard. <laughs> well, did baby like Hitler have a mustache? I mean, what the fucking. <laughs> um, no, but the thing thing is, right? I I've come to view Karl Marx as just kind of inevitability. At this point, it was some German autist was going to look at the liberal propositions and go, "Well, hang on a second, and communism would be the result. So. <laughs> Your fascination with this liberalism when communism just brought in through nations that didn't even well, have the fucking concept of liberalism. What what concept of liberalism no, did China no, 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 have? No, 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 it, it doesn't. It, you don't have to have had a country with the concept of liberalism because communism is just saying, yeah, let's do what liberalism promised. Yes, and, okay, and hold, how do you just go wait, to wait China a second, and make that argument, Sargon? How do you because go to it's China an ideal. North you Korean? can take the ideal anywhere. I think it's the equality shit. I I, I think it's yeah, the. Yeah, I'm not the, saying it's all, not, but what I'm saying is, it's you don't have to ha- ha- go through a series of stages. No, but I I think it's more likely that it's just an ideology that focuses on envy, and it's basically saying like no, let's burn the shit no, no, the no, 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 no. That, that's that's the 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 kind of person the ideology appeals to. The ideology yeah. doesn't mention envy or, or okay. revolve around it. But that's the then, kind of like my point would to. be. My my point would be that even if liberal ideology didn't exist on planet Earth, you would still have communism. Um, not really. Judging by the fact that the majority of the time in human society we didn't have communism, that seems absurd. We, we actually yeah. did. No, we actually did. In ancient times, no, there were didn't. various yes, forms of, of similar stuff. Fires, like people the wanted equality. <laughs> they they wanted the idea of like, oh no, well, but... I need to have what the other one has. Not really. I mean, like, there's. It's not that I'm not. I'm not saying there's never been envy or anything. But equality has never really been a driving force for a long, long time. Like it, it was only Christianity that really made equality in some respect um, an issue. And even then, it was only moral equality and the ability to choose. Um, it wasn't physical equality or like social equality. Sure, yeah. but like even today, you have like different forms of communism. Like the, the stuff that North Korea has is very different than what Romania had and so sure. on and so forth. But but like my point well, is like it's only different in like um, mechanism, right? Heresy is the question. No, the ideology Fires as well. Like the they, they, there were. Yeah, like, but that instance... we, we, we've, you've just sidestepped my point by going in the current year. Yes, but this was not normal throughout human existence. In fact, communism is an no, absurd but I'm aberration. About that. Even in the past, even in the past, yeah, even in like the past. Okay, communism. tell me communism yes, in the fifteen hundreds. <laughs> well, I think like uh, the Greeks had a form of communism in the fifteen hundreds. <laughs> And, yeah, and there was also Sparta, in China. Sparta was something you could call communism, I suppose, right? Yes, and, and even I, in ancient China, they had forms of communism. Well, I think we are taking the term communism and applying it in an unfathomably broad sense now. 
That is true. I've been saying commune. this about you guys for years, Arch. Living in the commune, oh, okay. raising everyone's kids together. Uh, you know, like, like That's not the, communism. The communism isn't living together. If that is true, then the natural state of humanity <laughs> no, is communism, you tard. Living in the commune is different than living together. Yeah, but it's not a commune. The, the like, the commune, commune is a political no, idea. The commune implies Having a community you, is not a commune. And oh, are you talking about, like, the longhouse V? Like the, like, the Native American longhouse? That's, like, a form yes. of communism? Yes, like, where we all it's share our stuff. You don't communism. have... communism. Holy shit. Oh, listen, Arch. Listen. You don't have personal property, right? Like, everything you have the is The Greeks communal. had personal property. The Spartans had personal property. No, but they, they had instances where people lived in places where you did not have personal property. Like, everything you had belonged to everybody. That is communism. Well, that's... The, yeah, okay. That That's... That's a very... Um, strict definition of communism, right? It's quite an extreme one. Like, yeah, but like obviously but you have like different factions. Then, of then by by that definition, then then nobody has been communist, basically. By that, it's never been tried. By that definition, no, but... every single society that's been on the move has been communist. Like this is retarded. But, but no, no. But well, well, hold on, is, hold on. communism isn't just one single sentence, right? Communism is also a means of imposition. And the way that communism is imposed is through a centralized government. This is what socialism is, right? That, and that means that tribes are not communist. How, how would you See, define then well, an authoritarian government that's not communism? So like, for instance, fascism, well, like fascism. Like that, that's centralized government and yet. Yeah, yeah, but no, 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 not just, that's not the, uh, no, the it's not one line, right? Co communism is the ideal that is imposed. I mean, fascism imposes a different ideal, obviously. Yeah. But like, how would you define communism then? Like, what what exactly do you say that? Okay, well, it needs to have this and this in order to be called communism. Well, I mean, it depends what you're trying to define, right? Well, the yeah. argument is that if it was a liberal ideology, you wouldn't communism have, like, as we um... saw in the twentieth century is what you're asking for, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, the reason that the commies all say it was never actually tried is because Marx called it moneyless, stateless, and classless, which is why he said that that ancient tribes because they had no money no states and no classes that they were communist they, it, was, it was like which is these are yeah this is what i was basically god when i said that ancient uh, societies have communism that is nonsense though Mo the, the ancient society that didn't have some yeah, yeah marx was wrong about this. Mar marx yes. was wrong about this like what, not having money is, that... is very rare Co communism is also a theoretical position right so if these ancient tribes don't have like a theory, then they're not communist. Yes, communism is more than the state of being. I mean, obviously, if that's the situation, nothing before Karl Marx had communism, just because like there, no, there, there, were, wasn't there the were, ideology. There, were, there was communism that isn't Marxism. Uh, Kropotkin, yeah, okay, but like if you're saying that, that then obviously before well, the Rutland word, well, there was communism. Well, no. The, no, no, the yeah, thing I'm... is, right, what, what they would say, right, is that the those people existed in the state of nature, right? And that's what, that's what communism is trying to bring about, which is ultimately the liberal ideal. Like the, you'll notice that the, when, like, read, read the Communist Manifesto, sure, but and like you'll never, are... no, 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 listen, listen, right? You'll never find Marx or any of the other communists saying the ideal that the liberals are putting forward is bad, right? They don't think the ideal is bad. They think the ideal is great. What no, they're saying I, I is what the liberals saying. will never get to that ideal. And they are right. I, I get what you're saying, but the, the issue is that most people don't think about the liberal ideal. Like, like if you live in a liberal nation and you're talking with people, it's like, hey, you know, the natural state of... They probably don't know shit. Yeah, uh, of most of the time, communism is brought upon by force. Like, you have the Red Army yeah. coming in and forcing your yeah. government to become communistic. Or you have a revolution in your country. And, and yeah, but it's they, usually they're, they're always making the same promise. As well. like, like, they're the, always the making the same promise. Yeah, but like the revolution in Russia was sponsored by Germany. Like they are the ones sure. that founded it, right? Sure. So, so like they could have used just any other ideology. The the purpose wasn't yeah. to bring upon equality or the communist dream. The purpose was to just destabilize the state. And you can no. use like literally any type of ideology to do so. No, not really, because there's got to be something inherently um, bewitching in the promise okay. itself. Right. Well, Napoleon it, did it. Know, like Napoleon, Napoleon abolished it by simply being against the monarchy. Yeah, but Napoleon so they, was bringing the liberal ideal. Napoleon, yeah, like he, he was bringing the abolition of 
the the old order, I guess. Like he he yeah. didn't want the idea that oh well you have the aristocracy and you have the peasantry. It's like no, we're all equal. Yeah. No, no, that was not Napoleon's ideal at all. No, I'm not saying that was what Napoleon did, but oh, he's bringing like the French no, Revolution. With the French Revolution is not day. Napoleon. No, no, well, but wasn't Napoleon it literally before him know. though, and and after Napoleon got to the throne, he tried to spread the the concepts of the French well, Revolution to other no. nation states. No, Do you know Napoleon's how I know a contradictory that? Contradictory man. Yes, because oh. he is the Emperor of France. Yeah, I know, and that's I knew you were going to get to that. Look, Napoleon definitely was a child of the French Revolution, but he was also a contradictory man. And uh, so, honestly, so from the French Revolution know, had some contradictions in it itself. So yeah, from from the history that I know is that he was trying to push the French revolutionary ideals to other yes. nations to destabilize. That them. is true. Yes, like he he did believe that he is the emperor of France, but like he didn't care about I don't know Bulgaria. It, it's like okay, well we can well, get no, it's, it. it the thing is, by... it's not that he didn't believe in these ideals either. I mean, Napoleon, you can see that Napoleon like begins. Going, oh yeah, liberty, equality, fraternity, that sounds great. And then later on, it's like, hey, that, that is a bit bullshit. We're not freeing the slaves in Haiti or anything, for fuck's sake. Calm down. You know, like, <laughs> he, you know he, he does renege on a lot of that stuff. Well, yeah, but this There's... is our argument about, uh, you know, orcs being slaves. Like, like, back then, people did believe slavery is wrong, but it's like, well, yeah, but are these people was the question, right? So, like, with our yeah, yeah. present morality to apply it to a medieval society is, like, Asking a medieval society why don't they have electricity? Well, not every medieval society, society has slaves. No, well, I mean, it, it's what but is slavery? Europe, you know, like it's a surface slave. Like, like in Romania, for instance, the peasants weren't allowed to leave their uh, their property, like, like the nobles' property. The noble could beat them to death if so wanted. You know, is that a form of slavery? I mean, if you apply it today, it would be classified as that. Maybe, maybe. Well, there's also the thing that we often forget is that serfdom was a little bit different because. The peasant who lived on the land didn't just happen to be there. He was renting that land. And yes, if you then try to renege on your agreement with the Lord, which is a percentage of your harvest in return for the land, then the Lord is actually within his rights to beat the shit out of you, yes. No, Arch, God, I mean... I want a 14th century you're... dev to be like, well, look, I'm a statist. No, like, like <laughs> that's just kind of correct, but only technically. Like, if you're born in a peasant hovel, right... Well, and, then you're, and you it's your parents that's the problem. Age. Yeah, yeah, and you come of age and you want to leave your hovel. You want to go someplace else. You're literally not allowed. Yeah, oh, no, people like, did all the time. Yeah, no, the the child are entirely allowed. The child of Phil has gone into no agreement. Now it, it will mean that your channel, your family will die if you do that, because yeah. you are the man of the house and your father is not going to be healthy for much longer. So you will be killing your family if you do that, which is why it's pretty rare. Well, no, because like families have like nine or ten kids. Yes, but and the, the second sons were almost always going to go away and do something else because the first son would yeah. inherit everything. Armies were From what I know, it depends on the state you are talking about. Sons. Like in some countries, what you're saying is true, but in other countries, like in my, for instance, they were called legat de glee. It means like literally tied to the land. So even if you had kids, they were also tied to the land. They, they needed the nobles' permission to leave. But the interesting thing is that cities actually offered um, like like this thing like if you lived in a city for three years and they didn't catch you like you were considered a free peasant. Yeah. Hmm. So, uh, is it slavery? I would say like if you did that today, it would definitely be considered slavery. I don't know, man. It's not really how it works in like the south, though, is it? It's like, well, you know, this 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 well, black why, guy why is the is evaded us for three for years. I guess he's free. No, I get, I get it, but like, why is America the benchmark for the rest of the world? Yeah, it's just funny, right? And, and of I was, course, I was just know, making like, a joke. Calm down. No, I get it, I get it, but like, of course, like working on a plantation is probably worse than working in medieval Europe. I mean, I, I don't know. Man. Well, actually, I, yeah. I don't know how bad the plantations would have been. I, I, because I mean, most of the time the weather's pretty good, right? So, a, we've got that, and b, like, have you ever read the slave narratives? No. You really should, right? Because it's actually kind of weird that the slaves are like, well, you know, I never went hungry when I was a slave. And you can see the amount of food they have to eat. And man, it's a lot of fucking food. Like, these people are eating really well. It's like, wow, that's really weird. Because, I mean, like, uh, an Englishman at the same time would not have eaten that well, I think. 
I think She's the difference, really... though, is that, uh, and, and, and I don't know if I'm right or not, but, like, if you were working on a plantation, you couldn't be drafted for work, right? Like, in Romania, for instance, you had the, the Ottomans, the Goths, the, the Huns, the, the Hungarians, the Ostrogoths, like, all these minorities coming to plunder and, and pillage. And if you are a peasant, oh, well, you got to pick up arms. But yeah, you I mean, didn't have to do that stuff in America. Yeah, but be, being, being a peasant and being a serf aren't the same thing. Oh, but if you're a serf, uh, you still have to pick up arms. A lot of the time, but a lot of the time you'd want to pick up arms because you're the one who's going to get raped and killed. Yeah. So, so my point is, like, if you have to choose, you're, you're, you know, you're getting born now, and you get to choose. You're a black person working in a plantation in the United States, or you're a you're a serf in Romania. Like, what what do you choose? Uh, I'd probably choose the black person in the United States. I think so too, to be honest. I'd 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 be the Jesse Lee Peterson of. Like the seventeen eighteen hundreds, <laughs> I, I, I just um, I, yeah. No, I mean, I, I'm not I, saying like just just so the chat knows. I'm not saying that it wasn't bad to be a slave in the U.S., but you have no idea just how bad it was to yeah, be. Yeah, I I US. wouldn't want to be a Romanian peasant then. It, it, also, it, like, uh, like, sla reading, slaves yeah, in like, Central I'm, I'm and South America history, had it's, way it's worse, so fucked way up. worse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, it's so fucked up, and people just don't understand. Like, anyone that says, oh, 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 you don't you know what I'm talking about. Like, you haven't read the history and, and the... Yeah, 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 no, being a Romanian <laughs> peasant would have been rough. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Do you know what's interesting as well about these slave narratives? Is the number of them that actually really like their masters? Like, because their masters are Christians, right? And so the masters tend to treat them quite well. The problem that they have is the um, enforcer, who's usually another slave, uh which the master has chosen. And basically the master will end up having to like discipline or replace the overseer because the overseer is the one who's horrifically violent. And another oh. interesting thing is that they've all got like, oh yeah, no, my master was really nice, but I heard that there are bad masters out there. But none of them so the seem to be... the Discord is what they're saying. Like the Discord Jaddy was the Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. But the, the... No, no, it's, it's really fascinating because loads of them are like, oh yeah, no, my master was a really nice, good Christian man. But I have heard of terrible stories from other slaves about their terrible masters. Uh, it just wasn't my one. It's like, that's really interesting. But Sargon, I mean, is it true? There, ha there were bad masters, say? though. Let's be honest. How do you I'm know, Dev? How do you know? Hold on, I'm hold on. I, I wanna because because I've also read other reports of bad masters. Yes, it's not I'm just sure yeah. Is it true what they say on Twitter, Sargon? That the Jews government documents. Brought... Sargon, is it true what they yes. say on Discord, what, what, what Twitter, that the Jews brought the ships? I have no idea. Because I, I looked true, into yes. it and I couldn't find it either. Yeah. Like, I know this uh, yeah, meme. I, and, and I, I did look into it. it, but I couldn't find anything on it. Same. So same. I, I, looked I, I looked into it. I looked into it. And um, I think it was the Portuguese. Basically, they, they had a system set up where they gave uh, monopolies on certain areas of commerce yeah, to specific... Question, well, well, I, I, I is... know that a Jewish person can hey, be no, a Portuguese no, no, no. or not. Like... V, V, let him... No, no, this, this, this is actually the answer to the question. So the Portuguese had a system set up where they gave monopolies on specific sectors of their economy to um, to families and also to, to minority ethnic groups in their empire. So uh, Jewish traders and I think Genovese traders, they both had the opportunity to trade in slaves where other ethnicities in the empire did not. Genovese are the Jews of Europe. There we go. <laughs> and they, for, for some reason, that's just how they organized their economy. They they had a bunch of ethnic like a bunch of ethnic groups that were in there, and they gave them all like state monopolies yeah. on certain parts. But they're, of they're client whatever. groups that the king would have um, had control of. It's the same mm -hmm. everywhere, really. Reading Tara. That, that's why you get just a quick thing. That's why you got the expulsion of the Jews a lot of the time. Uh, because there'd be a client group of the king, and basically the king would own the money. And they'd be like, you know what? I don't really feel like paying you this money. The state would probably shut down the water or just find them out of a zoo if they said no. Yes, the state would. It is what the state does. <laughs> Sorry, if who said no? This is back to oh, Dev's I water back a bit. pipe. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, I, I want to go back a bit because, because v, v, much earlier in this conversation, you you were giving like a a more pro Marxist take than I ever than I've ever given in my life, Dude, <laughs> which is on. great to hear. Go on. The fact that no, no, you, 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 you makes me suspicious but, about your allegiance, is that? But go on. Well, no, you gave it. You gave it. It was just funny. That's all. That's all. That's all. No, I, 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 wait. What, what, what was your Marxist take? How, how was the? Um, 
it, it was that it wasn't real communism and, and that like old tribes were all communists. That's like a that's a very it's a very orthodox Marxist no, position. Like I was going by Sargon's definition that you need to have the ideology. So the behavior itself is not enough. Like even if they're behaving okay. like communists, but don't have yeah, yeah, the yeah. ideology, it's not real communism according yeah. to Sargon. So it's like okay, yes. fine. Yeah. That's not a Marxist yeah. thing, Dev. That's just like language and, games. And also, just just out of curiosity, Sargon, you, you you um you think that there would have been someone like Marx had he not shown up? It yeah, I think it's kind of inevitable that someone will notice that the liberals are promising something that they'll never deliver. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it'll I mean, be that's, an artistic German. To, I mean, that is, that is, it, it, it honestly just sounds like something out of Marx's historical materialism, where just history is going to play out a certain way based on previous developments, and that's just kind of how it is. Well, that's you know, reality. No, because there's many paths. Like, like the problem with Marx is that he believes it's just one path, but the reality is like there's many crossroads, and you can notice this because different states have different crossroads, and they take different well, no. paths. No, 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 it, that's not what I mean. Like, I, I think it's inevitable that anyone who buys into the liberal ideal will look at it and say, hang on a second, liberalism will never get us to this ideal. And they'll identify the reason that Marx comes to. Well, property standing in the way. Yep. I mean, well, th that that is basically the historical materialist analysis, right? Um, right. It it's a bit more complicated than that, but um, let's talk about. Shouldn't I mean, all short, short answer, day, I yes, I guess. Yeah, short answer, yes. I mean, yeah. the the the, well, the point of dialectical materialism is that um, Marx viewed it as a teleological lens of history. So all um, the Large scale, what, what, what we call history isn't just a series of events. What it is, is a series of motivated conflicts between groups for various reasons. Now, most people would look at history and say, well, that happens for lots of different reasons. Like, it's not, it's not material concerns that are causing the Crusaders to go to Jerusalem, right? Because obviously they lost loads of money, loads of them died. This wasn't about material concerns. It was about a transcendental concern, right? So it was a religious conflict. So it mm -hmm. wasn't just materialism, right? Was but, Marx, but we actually we... don't know, Sargon. Like, sorry for what? interrupting, but we actually don't oh. know why the Crusaders went. I think, like, they had different yes, I mean, they wrote the reasons why. Yeah, yeah exactly. we, we know. No, no, no. Why like, I, I know, I know to the liberate propaganda. the holy city for the glory of God. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know the propaganda, but like, I'm talking What's the happening? individual peasant. Like, if you were there, right? Because, oh. like, all yeah, the but we, we, we do know, know we do know, we do know, we do know, we do know, right? So this is this is V's will... communist take, by the way. Yeah, 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 I can tell. Some some of them will have gone for you know lots of like you know a, a multitude of silly reasons, right? But there there were general themes. I mean, one and the most overriding one is the remission of sins, right? So people in that day and age genuinely thought that their their immortal soul would not go to heaven, and the and Pope Urban the second said, "Hang on." If you go on this crusade and take up the cross and die, or even you know, or you're successful, then you will go to heaven. You will have your sins remitted. You, it's a guaranteed entry to heaven. And lots of people who genuinely believe that went along with it. Yeah. So, so when I talked about historical materialism in the video that Jake was was picking yeah. apart, um, he he made the claim. He made, he made the very orthodox Marxist claim that all conflict is class conflict and motivated yes. by economics and that Stupid. all other reasons are just, they're basically just propaganda to hide the fact. Yeah. It's like, that's not, that's not true. No. People well, do I, things I for non-material reasons. What, what, what I wanted to yeah. say is, is that you look at Gamergate, right? And yeah. you go on Wikipedia and there's one narrative and you look at all the authoritative sources and there's yeah. the narrative, right? It is the same in the medieval society. It's only the scribes that get to write the narrative. You don't actually know what happened with the people because they can't write. They, you, you will never know. Yeah, some, what... some of them could write. Like, for example, the the, the, we, don't, we don't know the name of the person who chronicled the First Crusade, but we do know that they were with the Crusade. And so they just wrote down what happened to them. There is also it's the one of those things where, like, was, it, where... was he like a peasant or was he a noble? We don't know, but peasants could write. Yeah, but but like the thing is, Some like unless you know, like, that I'm it's not a saying peasant. every peasant could write or anything. 
like and, and even then, room. even then, like, like if the peasant was writing something that Heresies wasn't part of what you're Moreover, fire is moreover the just as a quick thing, I I would be fucking shocked if any of the Norman knights who went on crusade could fucking write. To be honest. <laughs> Like, these but but not, Sargon, like, 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 if, if the peasant would have wrote something that was against the establishment, would his book be preserved what or establishment? would it be burnt? What the establishment? Church. The church. There's loads of fucking... What do you think Martin Luther was? Wasn't that like after the Crusades? Yeah, but it's, yeah, but it's like 1590-something or something. I can't remember exactly. When was the 1595 theses? See... One of the things that you also need to remember is the church... 1517. Unironically, was not as fucking censorious as modern day society for the simple reason yeah, that they true. were a lot worse at it. Yeah. Like, the, this is the thing. Like, the, and that's exactly right, Arch. Like, it's not that they didn't try to censor things. They did. It's just difficult to censor things in the medieval era because everything's so decentralized. That was why the printing press was such a huge deal, because there there were so many publications, there was genuine difficulty in trying to suppress them. Oh my fucking god, sorry for saying that, but, but I just found out about this. Apparently in the new Star Wars Outlaws game, there is a mission that is artificially locked because you only pay $70. You gotta pay 110 or $130 for, for the mission to unlock. Yeah. Yep. Welcome That's to Mass Effect, I guess. It was mm -hmm. also revealed that they have an army of bots that are pushing that game. Alleged. Oh, of course. Not game. proved to my uh, satisfaction. Well, I no, didn't it, look it into is, it. I, but... I yeah, I can show you, but it's... I, I mean, it's... any any. Yeah, I want to see it too, if you don't mind sending it to me, V. Yeah, I'll... I'll, 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 I'll see it's it probably yeah. likely, let's be honest. Yeah. It's, it's like, <laughs> this so... game is the encompassment okay. of literally everything wrong with the industry right now. Like, if, if you were to ask me, like, show me what's wrong with this, this like, this game, everything. <laughs> it's got the nouveau, it's got a community manager that's racist and sexist, it's got $110, $130 price, and if you pay it, you get an extra mission. Uh, it's got season pass in an online-only game. Uh, sorry, it's got the man jaw. It's got, yeah, it's got the man jaw. It's got, like, literally every fucking thing that is wrong with the industry is this tell one. Tell you game. what, Dev, you, you've just got the worst take on that. <laughs> Hold on, we already went over this earlier. I had to make yeah, a I video know. about it. It's just the, I haven't watched I know you the video, did, v, but I'm, I'm going to watch it because I'm, I'm going to enjoy it. Because, Dev, you genuinely have the worst take on this. So we had the, we had a long conversation in the symposium pedal. after V put out his video. My my I didn't backpedal V. My back take was that it's like, no no gut chat. My take was that it was both. It was a combination of, yeah, yeah, that, that of ideological capture yeah, and incompetence. The answer. Yeah. No, I've said this before, like like weeks ago. Oh, v. No, 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 I said no. it about I'm other games. I but I made a video about Stellar Blade like three or four weeks ago talking about this exact thing, and I said it, it was both. It was a no. hatred of beauty, and it was also incompetence. Yeah, it's but, both but of these the, things. The, no, no, no. The the hatred, the the activism is the problem because even if you have like competent artists, they're not allowed to do what they want, right? So until the yeah. the the activism yeah. goes away, until the 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 malice goes away, you cannot have competence. Yeah, Dev's got you. Here. But, uh, V's got you, here, Dev. But here's the thing. I, I've point, I point, in our conversation, V, I pointed out several instances where it was clearly their their inability to do anything. It was clearly a product yeah, and, of and the I competence that. crisis. I, I reviewed that with the fact that the male characters look great. We're not talking about like incompetence that they can't get the physics of the hair correctly or the armor or whatever. And, and the environment also look good. Like even though you say, oh, well, Spider-Man 2 looks like a 10-year-old game. The environments are made good. The, the buildings aren't crooked. You, you don't have like glitches and graphical shit that, that's more over the top compared yeah, to what other games Dev, Dev, Okay, these, oh, hold, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Yep, yeah, but now look at Suicide Squad. And now look at Saints Row, because these are two games no, don't, where... Don't, look, hold on, v, v, let me, v, let me v, let me say it. V, let me say it. V, let me say it. Let me say it, V, okay? So, listen, look at those two games. Because in those games, you have not only ugly women, you have ugly men, you have ugly environments, you have completely non-functioning game systems. In those cases, it was actually incompetence. I, I don't think that the killer whale or the boomerang guy is considered like an ugly man. Like, it's passable for a video game character of a AAA to look like that. The women look awful, though. 
But also, right? ugly like they, men aren't. Compare about the people. Joker, though, V, in that game. Compare the Joker okay, and the Suicide Greta, Squad. Okay, the, listen, the old the Joker. Greta Thunberg looks terrible. Look alike. The, the Poison Ivy, Greta Thunberg look alike. It's not that she looks disfigured, right? It's not that her eyes aren't symmetrical. It's not that her hair doesn't look great. The problem is with the decision of the developers to include her in that form. Like it's not it's not that they don't have the competent people required it's to make this game if they want it. It's both of these things. Dev, listen to me. If you give me I am, that I'm... staff, li li listen, you give me the staff no, of the it... Suicide Squad. No, listen, listen, right? Yeah, you yeah, give yeah, me go the ahead, go staff ahead. of Suicide Squad, I can make you a double A game that will sell. With those people under my command, right? Like if I actually tell them what to do and I get them to commission stuff and I put it together, I will get a good game with the team that worked on Suicide Squad. On that note, I don't know. how is your game going? It's going pretty well. Um, we're getting close to beta, so I'm excited yeah. about that. Yeah. That's cool. That's good. Well done. Are you going to play it? No. Sure. I'll play it. What, what if I, I remove I won't, the, but I'm, what, I'm just, I, I just want to show support because I'm proud. What, what, what if I remove all the, the, the adult scenes that is just like a, a normal game? That's well, hard. it's still gay, like Japanese inspired shit. <laughs> oh, you like Japanese inspired shit. Like, no, that, really. you watch the anime. You, Are you telling me that Netflix is better? No. Okay, you know what? You know what? What do you uh, like for entertainment? Don't tell me you're like bad I, ha I hate entertainment like, and shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, Listen, like Sargon, you still need to watch Attack on Titan. It's great. No. Sargon, it's great and it's political in a way that you'll no, like. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dev, Dev. Sargon, recommend me something. What should I watch? Um, Come on, there must be something uh, like a TV show, like anything. Um, I don't really watch, watch a new Fallout show. Oh, oh my god, out, you're like Matt Walsh, shit. you're like fishing at Jesus, aren't you? <laughs> no, 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 I'm <laughs> currently painting Warhammer figures, so but like, I can't. You know what I actually it. liked, and unironically, you, you, you made me look into it god. the fucking Robin Hood story. Yeah, it's good now. So it's actually good. I, I, I genuinely like. I wish you'd have done it differently than to get the the outlaws to attack us. Like, if that wasn't the case, we would have probably allied with them. No, you wouldn't. Hey, wait, hold on. Speaking of Robin Hood, you know what you guys should watch? You should watch that Canadian TV show, Robin Hood. No. I actually where, like where, the Robin where... Hood that the Brits made. They they made a TV show. I think it was called Sherwood. Um. And it actually had like some really good cast. Uh, forgot the names of it, but but they they had like a very very hot uh, female character. What was the wh 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 who's Loxy's girlfriend? Hold on, v, pull up that image. Yeah, yeah, like pull she, that she image was in smoking hot. But but the thing no. is, like the sheriff was a really great actor. Like the sheriff was an amazing comedian. I actually like the sheriff more than Robin Hood. Right. Okay. Dragon Soup says, "Hey Dev, hell of a performance Monday. I'd never seen a total eclipse before. Heresy Thank you." Question. Fire is the oh my answer. fucking! Well, that was, what the that fuck was me, is eh? that? Jesus fucking Christ! Sargon, did you see it? No. What? Look at the, the D D, &D chat. Channel. Look Jesus at it. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> There's a picture of Dev carrying out a total solar eclipse. Oh. <laughs> that, that, like, if, if that is not cultural appropriation, I don't fucking know what is. Holy well, of shit! It is. It is, but their cultural appropriation is good. Is it? Well, according to them. Do you know, like, actually, it's, it's one of Canada's you're... greatest cultural productions. Is that show, by the way? Are you serious? You know what? If you, if <laughs> I, I could actually make that sell. Like, if you make Robin Hood in the fucking city, and they're actually stealing from the government and giving back to the taxpayer, I That's guarantee they did. you. Well, they didn't. They didn't the give question. back to the taxpayer. Fire none of the them gave me fucking tax. <laughs> no. But, like, imagine if you have, like, a cyberpunk version of Robin Hood and they're actually oh, yeah. going after, like, Pfizer and, and taking Pfizer's profits and redistributing it back to the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Service guaranteed definitely... like, Wouldn't that be fucking great? Well, you could definitely make that is basically Robin what they did. They, they did, um... They, basically, their gang is called The Hood and Friar yeah. Tuck is a hacker and they did, like, a cyberpunk kind of thing. No, but it's not, it's all saying, right? it's all BLM like black activist stuff. Yeah, and all that, villains that's are the white. thing, right? Yeah. They're, they're pro establishment. But I'm saying like actually make them populist. So they're actually breaking into BlackRock, into Pfizer, and they're giving back the money to the taxpayer. Hmm. 
Like the grandma dinosaur? wakes what up and she's got money, you know. Yeah. Just... I, I think you could do it. It'd be good, but they won't do it. They won't do it. Because I, I, I realize that it's not really a left wing versus a right wing dichotomy. It's populism versus establishment mostly. Because like the left it that's is, populist, yes. they yes, also get fucked. Okay. Yeah, the, the uh, left we that's are also beginning to go a very long time with just a bonus archcast, and we are constantly doing new topics. <laughs> it's a lot of fun though, Arch. I need to make it on my channel so that you don't constantly get chat. It's like, oh, we need, we need to cut this short. We need to. Uh... So, so just real quick, Arch, you and I did did a dive on this show before, and just just to inform uh, V and Sargon in the chat, the director of this show is a black guy from Canada named Director X, mm. <laughs> and he had like he had no directing experience for TV before this. Mm. They just gave it to him because he said Black Lives Matter a bunch. He's black. Yep. He did say that. And it, it was it was one of the worst shows ever made. No kidding. I kind of want to watch it, see how bad it is. Yeah, you're actually selling it to me here. <laughs> of course, Dev is interested in the, the woke show. No, it's basically hey, I, I like a good train wreck. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah, a good I train wreck. Okay, here, listen. I know there's a super chat that just came in calling me a fucking communist for the 1,000th millionth time. Okay. We've all spoken about Marx and communist shit in the stream. I think it's important to point out that, Sargon, even you have read a whole bunch of Marx and you're not a communist. It's yeah, important it's... to understand these ideas. But I'm not the person who sat there yelling, I'm a statist. Yeah. It's not about that, Dev. It's like every single time there is a choice between more government power or your freedom, you will always choose the government power. Not every single time. Say, well, that's we're not talking true. about. That's it not depends. True. Give it your past record. Give it your past record. Like if we if we look at this time that you're like more regulation, you're like yes. Yeah, depends on regulation. The government be. gives you a narrative. Whatever the government gives you a narrative, and you know, like the government we just have to wait and see, V. Yes, I don't automatically dis disbelieve a, a, a narrative. Yeah, I look into it. You first. should. You fucking yeah. should. If it no. comes from the government, you absolutely should. A hundred percent. Yeah, I'm with that, you. That it's, like, you should use probatia ad diabolica. It would be like, no, until they prove that what they're saying is true, I won't fucking believe them. Yeah. I, I just look into it first. I, I, the point is that you don't believe it. You also don't disbelieve it. You're just like, okay, I'll look into it. Okay, I'll look. Like, no, you, you I will wait and see is, 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 the, is the way to do it, V. V, we just listen, need to listen, hear Satan's government... side of the story, okay? Yes, if, if the government says that they're going to give you free money, you're, you're trying to figure out how it's going to fuck you over. And it will, because it causes inflation. But, like, literally anything that the government does is, like, you, the first thing that you need to think of is, like, okay, how does this fuck me over? How does this make my life worse? And the yeah, thing is, most right, of the time, you'll find out ways that it actually does yeah. exactly that. Yeah, V is right here. So... I think you're correct, V, when you say that it's it's um, it's populist versus establishment, and it's not necessarily left versus right because a lot of the populists on the left they come to a lot of the same positions that populists on the right do. G generally, through this this like this natural baseline Which distrust of, I don't know, everything. Which, which is kind of where you're going right now, right? It's like, you, you, you're like, distrust it, distrust it. It's like, okay, fair enough. Sometimes you should distrust it, right? But sometimes you shouldn't. It really depends. Well, no, 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 no. You can distrust it and then go and verify the facts and find, okay, this, on this unlikely occasion, the government wasn't lying, right? That's fine. But just begin with, a, you've got to accept that they're probably lying and just, you know, assume negative until proven otherwise. And you, you'll never go wrong with that. I mean, w when I say I'll look into it, that's usually me just not taking a stance until I can look into it. Let me give you an example, Deb, right? Like, the Canadian government is saying that they want mates, right? So, like, if you're old and you're dying and you got, like, this chronic pain, they're, they're going to, to make it so that you can self-delete. And I'm thinking, mm -hmm. like, okay, what has the government gained from this? Like, well, what is their... You know, interest. It's like okay, well, so they don't have to pay the pension. Money. Healthy. Yeah, like they don't have to pay the pension. Yeah, they save money, money and you know what? There was actually a report studied how much money they saved. It was all grotesque. I did, I did a video on it. Yes, I know. Hey, well, hold on, hold on. Let me and yet you're me still finish. like, well, but but hang on. Let's hear the government. No, no, out. Let me finish because because I I get what you're saying, but like <laughs> I, I'm reading the report this, right? is hearing the government out. Sorry, on. Like, listen, I, I didn't even watch a report. Like I'm thinking. What is you the government gaining? And it's like it's gaining money, and then it's like okay, well, why won't they expand this then? 
And guess what, Dev? They fucking expanded it. And I didn't have they to did, watch yes. any statistics. I didn't have to look at any reports. It was just like <laughs> me being cynical of the government and assuming the worst. And yet, look, I was right. How the fuck? Stereotyping mm -hmm. V. If it's so wrong, why are you always right? <laughs> I mean, yes, v, here's the thing. I, I don't agree with, with how made has gone either, V. Like, you're not, you're not going to get an argument from me. Really? You're not in favor of just killing people? Well, hold on. But it Leftist, benefits. Aside from that, it benefits the government, Dev. Don't you yeah. like it when things Sorry, benefit like, the I government? I actually Dev. am in favor of maids. Like, like here's not the thing, necessarily. It's, like, it's with bestiality <laughs> and porn, right? Like the in theory, I do think that if I was diagnosed with like uh, a terminal cancer and I would know that I'm going to die in an exquisite death, I would love if I had the option of maids, right? But the I problem is, is that they constantly that. expand it. Like, they don't just let it for, for, like, what they initially proposed. They're just, like, yep. expanding it more and more and more, and that is the issue. I agree with you. I agree with you, man. Man, I, I, don't, I don't like the fact that it's medically. Again, can't I have a firing squad? I mean, uh, goal 82. Oh, that's for a crime, though, isn't it? For Sorry, fuck's sake, sure. no D and D again. No mind this, but why? Well, this time it was Rags having a presumably personal emergency. Which, what can you do? Yeah. So, yeah, nothing. Yeah. But no, but just a quick thing. I mean, why, why can't I have my um, death by firing squad? You mean if you're like a like a ninety year old man and you have cancer yeah. and it's like I might as well just get shot instead? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess you could. I mean, hold on. Let me think about it for a minute. Because not well, the answer. well, because yeah, probably not. But well, now you're like roping in other people into killing you, right? Oh, uh, you think that doesn't happen with made? Um, you think it's robots? Actually, yeah, I, I, I made. No, I, I think you like push the button yourself. What? Yeah, but someone's got to set you up for it. Yeah, that's fair. But no one's actually like pulling yeah, like, the trigger. The, the problem you're, you're with made, Dev, is that they they couldn't find doctors to kill babies. Like that was actually a thing, right? Like they Jesus. couldn't find enough doctors willing to do it. Did you really? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I want to see it. Modern Canada. Yes. Wait, hold on. Like, the, you, you didn't send me that last actually... thing. Hmm. You didn't send me that thing about about uh, that video game. I did. It's in the tapestry. Oh, okay. Wait, why is it there? Yeah. I don't know, it's what I could point out. But, but like the, the thing place. is, like there was like a, a subsection of the demographic and they couldn't do it, uh, they couldn't push it further because they couldn't find enough doctors. So so like what Sargon is saying send, is send me that too, right? I want to see it, yeah. yeah I they see they hook well. you up. So so here's the, it's pro probably the worst thing to come out of made is um, I, I watched the conference of some doctors here like in Canada and they were here. and they were basically talking about how if someone was going to get made, they it should it should be set up in such a way that their organs could be immediately harvested and used for other people. Jesus fucking Christ. And and also, if they're going to die anyway, if if they've already made the decision to kill the themselves anyway, will be able to have sex with their corpse. That's not where they went. No, but they, really? but they basically said, okay, so so if they're already going to die anyway, rather than waiting on them to die naturally and then take their organs, we should end their life by taking their organs because they've already agreed to die. <laughs> Jesus, literally returned to Aztec rituals. <laughs> so, hold on. Just wait, though. I, I, I finally, I I finally understood what, why Dev is thinking the way he is, right? When you say the oh, government... Do you? you I don't agree with this, like, V. No, all that. No, 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 no. This is not it. It's like in, in general, right? Like when you're hearing the word the government, it's like it's like a person, but but like all human beings, right? Like the moment you use the financial incentive, like like a psychologist, for instance, right? His financial incentive is that you go there as often as possible, right? So his interest is not to cure you. His interest is for you to keep coming back. It's the same with the government. Whenever there's a financial incentive for the people in power, they will just amplify it and expand it. It's the same thing with maids. Like, they initially started as this thing. It's like, well, you know, like an elderly person that's from a cl clinical illness and uh, he's yeah, going yeah, to die yeah. anyway. Might as well give him the option. And I was like, well, we need to harvest the organs. What, what if we can just take it and have sex with the corpse? And it's no like, one yeah, said that. that. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> no, somebody right. did say that. <laughs> Oh, who said that? Swedish scientists argued that we should use people in comas uh, for breeding. 
Oh, I heard about that, yeah. You're normalizing the conversation, Dev. That's why it's happening, right? It's like, okay, well, if, if I mean, people can at just this ascend, point, if we've already arrived at the point where the sanctity of life has, is, is highly de dependent upon the government's ability to save money, why, why the hell shouldn't we push it to the logical air limit? I like, literally, this is how it's happening, Dev. You've it's already like, surrendered uh, your bodily <laughs> autonomy. Yes, like, if you're normalizing the conversation, what's one more step forward? Like, you, your only goal is to get, like, when it's normal at one point, you can just push it a little Paris bit more, and, like, Fire why not? Yeah. Like, for v, instance, v, gay v, marriage, v, right? V, like, what do you want me to say, V? V, we already agree on all of this. What do you want me to say? Well, no, I, I'm giving you another conversation about gay marriage. You said, well, you know, like, from okay. gay marriage, you can't get to transgender children. And it's like, no, but it doesn't have to be tied one to another. But like, once you get gay marriage... They don't have like, to well, be, yes. Yeah, but then... And yet they, they are. They're going this to have main another thing activist. where they couldn't get enough uh, doctors. I'd like to see that. Yeah, you're going to get yeah, another yeah. activist that's going to say, well, okay, well, if gay people can get married and everything is normal, why can't we teach this in school? And then you're going to get like, someone else that's like, well, uh, if like all of this is normal, why, why, what about transgenderism? Why can't we teach it in school? And if, like, if it's normal, why can't we get it to kids? But but it's basically like just constantly pushing the conversation more and more and more and more. Because once you normalize so one thing, the next thing doesn't seem that far Where's the main doctor thing? Hold on, I'm gonna put it in the symposium. I think I found something that V's talking about here. But 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 V, V, like, what do you want me to say here? You're 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 preaching at me, but I don't disagree with you. Well, it's more <laughs> like a conversation that we're having also with the chat. But, but is like, this I a conversation you're just yelling at me? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing. <laughs> I'm not yelling at you. I'm just talking louder. But like, listen, ah. uh, I, I specifically you know what we like, could do? You know what the alternative is? It's both of you shut the fuck up. That's the alternative. <laughs> I like this alternative. Boog says, "What happens if I don't give twenty percent cut to a government grant to a company that is owned by the government grant giver in Canada, Dev? Edison Motors Canada." I don't know what that specific thing he's talking about is. Sorry, I cannot help you, Boog. Boog is calling out your shilling. Oh my yeah. God! It, th there's been there's been three super chats I, in a row from this guy named Kiki Hideout. He says D this one: Dev is unironically evil. V, ditch him already. Oh my God, it guys! You doesn't it? like the chat. You can't just ignore it. it like you are showing <laughs> that they're pushing your buttons, and they will push it more because you're doing that. And he says, I'm "Why Dev is just me? He's a dirty commie." <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to the there... Dev is unironically evil video, though. That sounds like. Specific. Oh, I'm. Listen, there. I know there's at least two people making them, and one of them is far left, and one of them is far right. So it's really, kind of... oh, send them yeah. across. I'm not you know, my publisher really <laughs> hates you, though. You know, oh, if yeah? both Why? sides agree that you're <laughs> evil, maybe, Dev, maybe there's a point somewhere. <laughs> no, Dev, well, that no, just uh, means you're doing the right thing. Well, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so, But also, when it comes to the um, the populist versus establishment, you know, where like like the far left and the far right are both populist and the establishment's the center, I, I am ultimately more aligned with establishment than populist, that's for sure. You are literally a neolib. Yeah, maybe. That's <clears> fine, though. You're, you're fucking destiny. I'll I'll be a neo lib. That's okay. You'll actually yeah. adopt the destiny position. Maybe. That time Artemis told me that we have to wait and see means that Dev says I'm gonna have to wait until destiny talks about it. It's feeling more and more, <laughs> more and more reasonable. Ooh. Dev, are you just gonna take that? He is. He's just gonna. As long as Artemis it. does it in super chats, yes. Okay. Raining Terror says, The purple stateswoman doubles down on his people. He's going to vote for Trudeau, then vote for Biden afterwards. He is. Well, wait, hold on. I can't... <laughs> I am not voting for Trudeau. No. You definitely are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I, I, I did in 2015, yeah. but no. And, you and you're going to do it again. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Yeah, Trudeau. I haven't voted, I haven't, no, I haven't no, no. voted for him since. I haven't voted for him since. We'll say something yeah, normal and sensible, and you'll be like, Ugh, that's not communist. Yep. <laughs> That's not what's going to happen. That's around about exactly <laughs> what's going to happen. Yeah. And you'll be like, well, maybe Trudeau has changed his tune. Maybe Trudeau will come out with something uh, centrist. And you'll be like, oh, wow, okay, Trudeau's based all of a sudden. No. He, he can go directly into the middle of the garbage can. Okay. I'll see, Dev. See, Trudeau, Dev. Trudeau, too right wing for Dev. Understood. 
Gabriel Nartier, Dev, should I give praise to the government every second they choose to not infringe my basic human rights? <laughs> There's like, yes. I'm sorry, the concept of human <laughs> rights is something that's... I, I wonder if there's like literally any political ideology that doesn't have some flaws. No. There's yes. not. That's the point. No, that's yeah. not true. My political no, ideology true. has been proven pretty fucking flawless so far. Mine is the one. I think Mike makes right is the only one that generally doesn't have any flaws. I don't think it's an ideology. Yeah, it's just a statement of reality of absolute, unequivocal, unescapable <laughs> truth. <laughs> Also, no, might makes right isn't 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 good, V. I'm not saying it's good. I'm saying it's true. Dev, you're all favor of the government doing it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. I was describing the situation. <laughs> sure, you were. Okay, listen. No, no, no. Listen, listen. All might right, does yeah. not make right, but you cannot have right without might. Hold That's on. How it Dev is. just needs to equivocate so a little bit whilst returning to the actual yeah. point that he started with. Service guarantee. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. I like how equivocate now wrong. means just describe. <laughs> it's like if I can't give a five-word take that is extremely simplistic and only Service only points in one then direction. That means you're left-wing memeing, Dev, and it means you're something. Yes. You've got something <laughs> to defend. <laughs> an I, I, no, no. Complex it's... ideas take time I'm, to describe. I'm not saying it's good. Very left-wing of you. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying it's true. Like, literally, most things happen in the international scale as well as the national because might makes right. No. If yeah. America wanted to spread communism around the world tomorrow, like, literally every American had this ambition, it would happen. Hold on. Wait, wait, when you say right, what do you mean? Do you mean the thing that is happening or the, the thing that is morally correct? Is that the Both. mighty do what they want? Dev, the do you not understand the phrase <laughs> might make want. right? Because what you just said suggests I... you don't. No, 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 no. I asked that question because it sounds like V doesn't know what the phrase means. It does, but both. <laughs> I disavow both of you. Every day I breathe. <laughs> a fuzzy creature. In the US, government cannot ask to censor others because Congress cannot authorize it under the First Amendment. That is why they must ask Twitter to do it for them. Mm. And that's why Dev's okay with it. Yep, because they're just asking. <laughs> yeah, just asking questions, bro. The real whole center. Dev, look up Tiffany Hen Henriard. Henriard. Tell me there's no systemic corruption. No idea who that is. Well, let me put it like this. Uh, Biden earns like 100,000 bucks or something a year. So not, not quite, but he earns very little. How does he have like three houses? How's he Insider in trading. Also taking bribes. Oh, <laughs> Tiffany Henyard. Yeah, yeah. So she was the, uh, the mayor of Dalton, Illinois. Right. And she like... Okay, if you want a textbook example of an actual corrupt politician, it's this person. Wow, really? Oh, corruption can exist yeah. in the Devian universe? Yes, of God damn it, Arch. That's <laughs> oh, wow. This this is this is probably something that's not canon in your universe though, right, Des? What? Yes. Okay, so, Sargon, I I wanna ask yeah. you something about that interesting story that I'm playing right now with Nikkei. I, I just want you to to like Analyze it from a Western perspective. If this is a good story or a bad, right? Service bad guarantee. One. So you have these two cheerleading girls, and they're practicing for an audition. Answered. It's a bad one. No, no, no. let me let me finish. <laughs> right. Listen, and, v, and it turns v, out that v, that v v v v right. When some weird, Service sad, and um, prematurely yeah. balding, gross Japanese man writes anything about two Western cheerleaders, no. Finish. Weird Come degenerate I, if, perverse. If, if you still no, 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 no. It's weird degenerate perverse nonsense from a weird degenerate perverse Japanese man. I'm not okay with it. I will talk to Dev then. Maybe, maybe he will give a different. Okay, talk to me. I want to get this out in the chat, and I want, I want to see what the chat has to say. Right. So we got these two cheerleaders. They're training for an event, like a competition. And uh -huh. at the event, one of the cheerleaders keeps Paris failing. Like, they're trading, and, and she keeps failing. She doesn't do anything. One boobs keeps coming out. Oh, my God. How does this No, happen? no, it's not, it's not about the boobs. It's the fact that she <laughs> fails at the gymnastics, right? Like, she, she lands on her sunshine. knees. Like, she keeps falling down. Yeah. Um, and, and the leader of the squad thinks that she's actually not practicing. Like, she, she's not taking this seriously. 
and wants to to actually cancel the event. But she's get talked into it, and then they go home where where the cheerleading is, uh, the other cheerleader lives. And finds out that she was actually training super hard, and she was constantly hitting her knees, and she was bruised because of it. And um, basically, like what she needed was to take it slower. And the leader realizes that leadership is more than just barking orders. Do you not think that this is a better story to tell kids than the woke no, nonsense? No, it sounds that like a weird, perverse Japanese thing. How is it gay and perverse? Like, like I didn't seriously, say gay. like there is more <laughs> sex in American entertainment. That, that you can have in this story that doesn't have yeah, but any it's not sex written whatsoever. Yeah, by a weird Japanese incel. Hold on, is there actually... It, hold on, V, is this a porn game? Is there actually sex scenes in this? No, no, no. Okay, so, so, so you're not just playing it for the plot, then? It's not one of those things? No, it's a, it's a gacha game on the mobile. Yeah, like yeah, it's, okay. it's on Apple, so if it's on Apple, it's safe for work. Yeah, I mean, if you're asking, you, is the moral right, right. of like the, don't the push look, yourself yeah, too the, hard? Okay, I get yeah, it. Yeah, the girls look hotter. They they look like uh, female characters from the '90s, like like the comic books. Yeah, but, what, but there's why, no sex. Why is an adult Japanese man writing a game about American schoolgirls? Because he's a weird person. I th- I, well, first of all, it's South Korean. Secondly, the person Whatever, writing it is I a don't woman. Care. <laughs> yeah, the, the, second, the, the, the person writing it is a woman. And thirdly, it's the... because it shows that. that I think it's, we've established that there nice are no lesson. women in Japan or Korea. Okay, hold on. Well, Sargon. Just wait, just wait. So, Sargon, Sargon, there absolutely are perverted women out there writing and making this sort of Deb, stuff. It's called racism. Thank you. <laughs> I, I get what you're saying, but you've got the responsibility, Sargon. You've got a big platform and you have a responsibility <laughs> no, to educate the future fucking generation. You can't just like tell them to watch Netflix because they will watch something, right? If you don't have Where any Where did I say them, watch Netflix? They will fucking watch Netflix, Sarga, because this was on fucking television. They will read the Marvel, they will read the Soy Slop, and they will I become LGBT. You gotta tell them to watch the At no Korean point suggested people should watch Netflix. No, but if you don't give them an alternative, that's what they're going to do. Yeah, get out the fucking okay. house. Read a yes, book. That's the Go for a walk, motherfuckers. There's, there's fucking gangs on that shit. in Rochdale. They fucking kidnap you. They're like, you. You're telling them to go outside because <laughs> you're a matter of privilege. You don't live in San Francisco or Chicago. Like, if you actually live in a dangerous place, don't clean the streets, then, option. you lazy yeah, fucking yeah. child. <laughs> Become the change you wish to see. Yeah. Yep. Clean up the whole way to do it. You know, there are many ways you can dress the same way, march together, clean up things together. There are many solutions to this problem. Almost yeah, all of them include Netflix. marching in. You people, stuff. hashtag, you people are pushing them into the bosom of Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> You're but you, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, wait, wait, V, I, I'm not. I will say play Nintendo games. All right. Do you know that Nintendo is having soy sauce as well? Like, they're... Yeah. The, the, now the, I, the, I've heard the, what you said, and no, it's not happening. That's all. That's the, all. The, ma- the, the the Manjo Industrial Complex is coming for Nintendo. It is one hundred percent not. Zelda is still hot in the latest I'm Zelda game. Sure, motherfucker, you're contradicting me on stuff that I'm actually well versed in. Hold yeah, because you're wrong about this V, because you don't know Nintendo oh, like I do. Oh, fucking sure. I'm a no, full. I'm, I'm a. I'm a full ass Nintendo cuck. You understand? You, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Dev's coming out aggressive on this one. Look at this shit, Dev. Explain you this. You don't understand. Okay, which is the five? Where, where, where are you point? Where are you posting it this time, V? I, I posted it into your DMs, but I'll post it in D D as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can yeah, mock you as well. No, 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 I get it. I get. It. I know exactly what you're talking about. This is this is the the Pokemon Go thing. Nintendo contracts this out. This isn't their in-house stuff, okay? And also, I actually think it's being rolled back. They I mean, fucking side on it. That you're what what happened with like... Pokemon Go? Oh, they're, they're uh, they they the made the characters like gender neutral. Yeah. Manjaw oh, right. syndrome. Right, okay. But no, listen, like V, V, you pick up. Here, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you an image now. Here, yeah. look at this, V. And I'll, I'll post it. I'll post it in the D. I'll post it in the D and D chat here, V. So you pick up Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and you have your your Zelda waifu GF. I am willing to you, bet. I'm willing to bet that she looks Link cute. is going to be sidelined in the future as Zelda is going to be the main protagonist. I guarantee you. And, and 
the evil is going to bring upon the patriarchy of the fucking kingdom. And Zelda is the only <laughs> one that can stop it. And, and give like two or three more iterations and Zelda is going to have the fucking banjo with her tits cut, broad shoulders, almost no hips whatsoever. And she's yeah. not even going to be a woman. She's going to be a body type B. You know this. I know this. You just refuse to acknowledge it. Yeah, but V, they also keep making like, hold on here. Yeah, you got like you got like the brown elves that are showing up now, and they're like new oh characters. God, they're all it's happening. The, the, they're the all really hot. Of Zelda is, they're all really is, hot. Is okay, hold on. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Having a a fucking dark elf is not the same thing it's as a race elf. swap. V. That, that's that's the thing. People like you are the ones that are putting the foot in the drawer. Having a dark elf doesn't. Yes, it does. Yes, it fucking does. Give it two more years, and all yes, dark elves yes, are going yes. to have the jawline the and the mental illness haircut. <laughs> I guarantee you. <laughs> V okay, V, look at those two characters. There there is nothing remotely woke about those two characters yeah, in the yeah, DB chat. Yeah, there's nothing remotely woke yet. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like give it give it three more years, Dev. Give it three more years. And and also also V in, it's been the okay, in Zelda since probably the beginning, it's always been Link and Zelda facing off against Ganon together. It's going to be only Zelda. L L Link is going to be kidnapped. <laughs> Link's just gonna transition. <laughs> Link's gonna transition. Mm -hmm. No. Well, he no, already cross-dressed. Calling it now. Zelda is going to become the man <laughs> of the house. I don't think so. Raining Terra says, "Dev, do you see how they're bending over backwards to try to jail Trump?" Yeah, Dev. Yeah, they're they're really uh, prosecuting him. Do you see? Well, I mean. He... So there's there's two interpretations of this event, obviously, right? Oh. One of them is that he actually committed a bunch of these crimes, and it's proper yeah, that he, yeah. that they're going after him. And the other one is that it's all political persecution. All political persecution. Um, after having followed some of them, I think the ones in New York they actually seem they actually seem to be political persecutions. Um, the other ones don't. Really, they the other ones don't. Do, do they? Yeah, they actually do, but the other ones don't, though. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think he actually committed those crimes. Which ones? Um, the documents one, I think, and also the Eastman memo one. Uh, the the documents one, the the tremendous high crime, yeah. Yeah. Adam Dalglish, the Dev same since... crime that Biden committed, just out of interest. Since no, demonetized exactly was nuked, any chance Basically. you could upload old VTM and miss the D and D vids to Rumble? I was so, ex so excited to watch them again. There is a fan of mine who is putting together a demonetized channel for a bunch of old videos. But I, I mean, here's the thing. I, I'm not doing it. So you have to wait, I guess. I'm sure it'll appear somewhere. Why, why, why aren't you doing it? Um, because a demonetized channel full of spicy videos that oh, gets right, nuked right, yeah, is actually able to destroy my, my main channel. So, yeah, no. good point. Good it's point. it's going to be a fan who's going to set it up. Honest. Kind of a stupid question. I don't know why I asked it. <laughs> I don't even know why I didn't think that through. Artemis <laughs> Fowl. Can Dev explain the neutral That's stance like... of New York changing its status of limitations temporarily specifically to allow a woman to sue Trump for sexual assault? How does that fit into the Devian worldview? <laughs> you were looking at you the... asked me that one earlier, I think, and we kind of went over it. I didn't know it. enough about it. I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't so know. it does fit. I mean... so, so it fits so long as Dev doesn't know about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Amazing. it's just I, that I don't know, Arch. This, I don't know every story Dev, that happens all the time. This is how Dev can do things. Like, so it's like he makes communist statements on the things he knows, and if he isn't capable of making a communist statement, he simply doesn't know about it. Yeah. Or if Good I just point. don't Got know there, about Dev. it, Arch. Well, I, I mean, have yet to see on the face where that it. happens. Dev, on the face of it, if it literally is just they changed the statute of limitations just so she can sue Trump. Come on. Yeah, if, if if it is exactly how it's described with nothing else underneath the tablecloth, then yes, it's obviously bad. To be honest, Dev, okay, I will come up. I do not think they actually changed the law just to sue Trump. No, no, really? why? What's your what's your reason? It's just not how government corruption works. Like, there's way too moving parts. Fire Usually government answer. corruption is more about incentives. <laughs> So, so it's more likely that they changed the law and then someone decided to sue Trump, but they didn't coordinate. Well, they changed it temporarily. That's the thing. Coordination between third parties in order for this to happen. 
Raining Terror, Archley, the purple stateswoman is similar to Joan of Arc, worshipping Lathander, the state above all. No, that's bullshit. Honestly, I, I've heard a whole bunch of anarchists say that exact line, like, constantly, and it's honestly, it's stupid and it's annoying. This, you worship this, this, this I, yeah, yeah, the, the idea that you think the state does some things correct some of the times, they're not, it's not just pure evil incarnate. It's like, oh, you must worship the state. It's like a god. It's like, no, you're a fucking retard. You know what? Okay, here. The more anarchists I've encountered and the more anarchist literature I've read, the, 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 mo the more and more I come to just disrespect them. <laughs> and Dev's just like, listen, you fucking idiots. Find the stage above God. That's how I worship the state. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I might have, like, met maybe two or three anarchists who are actually, like, interesting to talk to. Otherwise, they're just, like, screaming retards on the internet. It's like, all right, you autists. Okay. There, there are... I, I love that you're such a status. You're angry at the anarchists. Um, yes. That's so funny. Uh, Dad, what are the origins of change, rights? Though. No one... What? Sorry? What, what's the, the origins of rights? don't make change. Like, they're, they're not... V, 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 V. Hang on. I just want to expose Deb as a mega statist. Uh, what what okay, what's yeah, the origin ahead. of rights? Um, there really is none. It's uh, w w once once you have whatever, taken God out of the state grants, this isn't it really? Isn't it? Well, hold on. Whenever as soon as you take God out of the picture, it really is yes. just a legal fiction at that point. Wow, are you are you an atheist? Yep. Wow. So all rights stem well, from on. the state. Dev twenty twenty four. Yeah. You you are you are in yes. on the same train as me though necessarily. I, are you kidding me? God gives me my rights, Dad. <laughs> but you're an atheist, too. But you're an atheist. That doesn't matter to me at all, Dev. <laughs> you, you're an it's atheist. totally irrelevant. It, it, uh, hold on. Idea. How is... How, how? You need to explain this to me. No, Tell I can't explain it. It's grifting. And, and it's perfectly logical. <laughs> like, like, you can be an atheist and still say God gives you your rights and try to make yeah. other people believe. Yeah. And, and this way, just... you create a system where you They're genuinely never... get rights because everyone else believes that God yeah, is real. It's, it's, it's not right. even a grift. I genuinely believe that I will get rights, and therefore, God gave me them. No, but you, you believe that God gives you rights, but you don't believe in God, so therefore, it is a grift. Well, I don't believe in the government, and Dev believes that that gives us rights. So, you know. <laughs> but Boom. not ironically, where do rights come from, Sarga? No, well, no, and ironically, Dev, why is it you're such a... You put the state even above where you would put God. But I don't. Now, I actually know where rights come from, to be honest. Okay, yeah, fill me in, V. What is it? How much people are willing to take? Like, how much shit are you willing to take? If people Ooh, are willing like to that. allow the government to actually microchip them and, yeah. uh, you know, have ID tracking and stuff, then that's what the government will do. If people mm. say no, and they're fighting back through various means, then that's the rights that they're going to get mm. it's no, literally how good. much you're will how much shit you're willing to that, take that's a pretty good snap. formulation well, to be honest with you. well i mean that that's all true but that's still part ultimately of the legal fiction right it's like well you, you you've now had this conflict the, the, the between, between well hold on v, 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 you can v, change v, the law wait. no you can change wait. the law and, and if people are not willing to take it they're going to just not follow the law yeah, but no, all you're, you, but Dev is correct, because all you're that. appealing to is that the law will change if people yell loudly enough. It's a legal fiction, is what you're saying. You know, let, me, let me give you an example yes. with the pandemic, right? Like, you, you had to mask up, and at one point, the people of Romania just said, fuck it, and they stopped masking up, and the police weren't able to enforce it, because way too many people didn't well, mask. Well, yeah, right? same, same here, same here. Right. Yeah, so, same so here. basically, yeah. yeah, like, basically, that was Except the point Dev where was people said, the no, fuck you. I didn't and mask at all. Right. Like uh, they, they gave the right not to mask up because they simply did. The, and, and it didn't matter what the legislator would say, and it didn't matter what they would enforce. At the end of the day, people just said no. Yeah. And that was when they got their right to walk around the face with their bug uncovered. Right. So, so hold on, okay. V. Are, 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 you, are you saying then that a person who walked around with their mug uncovered and then encountered an agent of the state, there was actually no underlying threat of violence there because too many people were doing it? See, yeah, curious. literally, this is what I'm saying. Like, the, the people are more powerful than the government. If the government... Yeah, but, well, the I thought that every nothing. time you encounter the government, there was some underlying threat no, of force. On, Dev, don't play language games. Listen to my meaning, right? <laughs> if, if, if the, listen, if the entire people of the United States would believe that free speech is important, and you would have an activist like the ADL going around and trying to censor, you would have people in front of the ADL house protesting. 
and that's what it yeah, would they stop. They play like, language games. <laughs> but, 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 so, so here, here's no, the thing. Like, no, no, the point that I'm making, V, the point that I'm making is that you're completely correct, V, but it also does fly in the face of your previous point about how every interaction with the government is, is has, has a twinge of, of, no, no, of no, threat no. to it. it. <clears throat> no, no, Dev, there, there is still the threat, but just because the government can't enact it due to some sort of physical incapacity doesn't mean the threat or the implication of threat isn't there. I mean, okay, if that's the standard, then, there's, there's uh, a, an implied threat when you interact with anyone or anything. That is correct. Of people who are no, I've met loads of people who are literally not an implied threat. Service guarantees. <laughs> yeah, because well, here's the thing: like you, you could, you could, you know, walk down the street, and you pass a guy who's completely normal on the road, and the minute you walk past him, he turns around and just knifes you in the neck, right? Like it's, it's possible that could happen. Jesus, so, yes, if, if a stranger mm -hmm. comes in and asks you for your money. That's not what I, I said, just... V. That's not what I said. Don't, no, no, don't no, immediately I, it's change it. It's what I'm saying. It's what I'm saying. De if a, person like, if a black guy walks money. past you on the street, you're like, fucking hell. <laughs> it is an implied threat no, no. that if you don't give the money to him, there, there may it's be some... It's an implied threat. No, no, no. What, what, what I'm saying... Here, no, no. What I'm saying is that the existence of other people is an implied threat. Oh, God. We're getting a bit extreme here. No, look. It's not that people... It, it's true, though. No, it's a very no, small no, implied threat. No, no, no. It is true. No, it's not a small... No, way more people die to other people than the government, right? So that's mm -hmm. not true. But no, no, no. What we're saying is about legitimate force and authority, right? People on the yes. street don't have any authority on you, over you, legally, and nor do they think that they have the authority to enforce their will upon you, right? Whereas the government does. That's why. The government can take lawful action against you, and so there's always that. Mm-hmm. No, I, I understand it's, your also, point. It's, yes. it's also another fact. Like here in Romania, we define a threat as if it being credible. So, like, if someone has a stick and is going to you say actually, that we he's actually going do to that in the yeah, like if a five year old yes, threatens to yeah. kick your ass, like if if a five year old threatens to kick your ass, like you know, he he may try to do it, but you don't find it a threat because it's a five year old. But if a random person on the street, like a thug that's twice as big that you demands your money, then it, it is implied a threat because you can actually do it. Now, when the government does something, mm. it's the fucking government, Dev. Oh, but now, now, we if you have society, gone like, over like, this. Wait, like wait a second, wait a second. V, v, didn't you just Dev has v, swallowed this L? Must hold on, we, though. Hold on, because because V is about to death. V is, a, v is about to pull the L right out of my yes, mouth. I know. No, he's not. V is no, he's continuing not. V is to <laughs> trying to find v some way it, to remove our best his efforts. advances. <laughs> v just can't take the win. <laughs> Literally, he can't. He cannot. Hey, because I'm not playing like the gotcha no, game. You are, you, no, but I you, know what he's yeah, going you should to be say, me, but okay? We're wrong. playing the gotcha game. Let you are stating your opinion, and, and then an in, hour in later, world, then, you withdraw where, where your every opinion. Every single American believed in free speech, and you had like 100% of Americans that believe that, yes, free speech is an absolute. That, yes, in that particular universe, in that particular world, if a politician asked for censorship, that it would just be an ask. But we don't live in that fucking world. We live in America, where most people think that free speech is white supremacy. So no, you're still wrong. Berg says, I want limited government, but GOP never delivers. They don't. That is the problem with politicians. They lie. All the time. Constantly. And they are incapable of doing anything but lying. That is the truism we need to return to. Boog also brings in a My Little Pony reference because he's Boog. And says, Dev agrees with Celestia. Status rule all. Did you fucking make another video on the fucking ponies are? Once a year. <laughs> Every year. Like clockwork. Once a year. You know, I forgot to ask Sargon to make a This Week is Stupid for 1st of April. It was so good when he did it last year. No. I didn't do it Paris sees the question. You did. It. I asked you, answer. and you did. <laughs> or was it two years ago? Your definition of last that. year also varies. I see. <laughs> Man, I'm getting old. Okay, I, I'm forgetting. R Romanian things. time. I'm, I'm forgetting things. Dethan says government exists to pro protect property rights, Dev. And if that was all it did, it would be a blessed world. I mean, that is um, the yeah, liberal part. theory. Yeah. That's the liberal yeah. theory. 
problem is that the government keeps finding new things for the government to do, irrespective of what anyone would like the government to do. Also, devs are communists, so he hardly signs on to it. <laughs> I think my definition is the best. Like, the government does what people allow it to do. When a sufficient percentage of people tell the government to fuck off, it actually does fuck off. That is true. Except yep. when it doesn't. Except when it tells you to yeah. fuck yourself. Which also happens too. Yeah. Which also happens as well. Except when the government says I mean, that I don't care about my legal framework, you will accept DEI into your marketplace. I mean, no, there I are minoritarian it's... governments throughout history that have just oppressed wide swaths of people. I mean, that happens. You know, I actually looked at history, Dev. And, and yeah, even, like, like authoritarian government. monarchs still had, like, a big percentage of the peasantry on their side, one way or another. Yeah, Usually sure. what they do is they get the people to fight each other so that they don't fight the people on top. Yeah. Monarchs were often quite popular, actually. Yeah. The, yeah. the, the issue is that the aristocrats would be angry with them. Mm-hmm. And honestly, the, the, the history like the, the history of South America is the history of minoritarian governments like destroying whole populations. So. Oh, yeah. And yet you still don't give up communism. Weird. I'm not a communist, that's why. <laughs> the Ray Holson says, Dev, so long as the progs lose, I am happy. Even if that means tossing the planet into the sun, though I'd prefer to hand them their L's more personally. <laughs> <laughs> as long as as long as the progressives die, it's okay if everyone dies. Is that the that the moral? So Dev, would you call yourself a progressive? No. Really? Why That's would you be dishonest? Why would you be dishonest yeah. like that, Dev? <laughs> Why would you lie to everyone? <laughs> like we've got like five hundred people watching or something. You just lie like that. Dev, no, I, I don't keep telling person, people no. that you're not actively dishonest, and then you then you do simp stuff like this <laughs> and say things like that. Well, no, 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 like listen, that. listen. <laughs> Whenever I actually am talking to real progressives, like like Stardust or somebody, I always have to point out, like, listen, no, no. Here's how we are different. All right, because I, I don't buy into to a lot of the diversity nonsense. Okay, that's fine. How are you? How are you not a progressive? I want to know. What? How are you not a progressive? I don't buy into the DEI stuff is a big one. Is that the only thing that separates you from the progressives? The yeah. DEI? That's one big thing off the top of my head. I mean, what I'm still ultimately pro-gay uh, marriage. That's probably the, pretty progressive. The, the Whig yeah. theory of history and the telos of history. So that's really um, what progressive the, is. The, here, okay. okay. I, I've, the more, I've been thinking a lot about Whig history and then also about oh, yeah. like the, the competing view, like the, like, the, like the cycles of history. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I buy either of them, to be honest. Really? I'm I'm not sure I'm not sure if there if there really if if there can actually be a unified theory of history. I think you history simply just communist. is. No. No, because the communists were the, the, no the, the communists were Whig theory people. They were Whig history people. Sorry, God. I know it's just really funny to get you off hands. It's like. <laughs> no, it, it it doesn't seem like 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 unified theories of history are actually all that useful. I don't think any of them really work. Hmm. So I mean, if if if, if being if being a Whig history person is what really makes you a progressive, then I'm not a progressive. No. Interesting. Um, so you don't think that uh, civilization has a purpose? Um. Not in the long term, no. Right. So you think it's. Um, maybe um, morally neutral if we return to barbarism in the Dark Ages? No, I don't think so. Right, so you are a progressive. Why? Hmm, because yeah. you think that history is a moral telos. We told you you were a progressive. No I, just, no, I just wouldn't want to go back to those times myself. I didn't say you would. I didn't ask you for a preference. I asked you if it would be morally neutral. If, hold on. If it would be morally neutral to return to barbarism, yeah. I'm not saying I mean, you want that. Pro it, probably not. Just because I think I think it just no. come. There'd be a lot more. Um, not not. It, there'd be a lot more harm, but not just material harm. I think there'd be. I think yeah, a lot of freedoms question. would be restricted. Fire is the um, I think a lot of people would be violated. I, I think there'd just be a, like there'd be a lot of bad things that come with that. I agree with them. So no. That makes me a progressive. This so be it. Yeah, I, I do think it would be morally evil to return to barbarism. 
Yeah. I think a, I think a lot, a lot of progressive. Fire is the answer. And, I, and but that's the thing. I mean, like, we say, oh well, you know, I don't believe in the Whig theory of history, but like, you probably do have some Whig history in you. I mean, probably, but like, I, I it's, it's it's like, you know, if if we're judging for moral content, is the past more or less or equally moral to the present or or to the yeah. future? That that's yeah, the question, right? Question. That's a good question. Yeah. Heresies and I mean, I. Fire is in some answer. ways, yes. In some ways, no. I agree you know? with Dev, yeah. Like, there, there are time periods of the past that I would like to live in, but there, there's also. Well, it's not, it's not just it's, it's not just what you would like to live in. It's, it, it's, it's, is the time itself more or less moral? Yeah, go on. Which one was less moral? World War One. How was that less moral? I mean. We got fighting in the ditches. Okay, how and, how and... many children did they transition in World War One? None, but they butchered <laughs> soldiers, people on, soldiers on an industrial wars. scale. Uh, is is a soldier fighting a war immoral? No, depends. Obviously. I mean, no, I mean, it right. depends on the so, war, no, right? No, no, like, no, no, hang on, no, hang on. War, then it is immoral, yeah. Well, it, well, I mean, like, who gets to decide which war is senseless, right? But sol soldiers fighting wars are not inherently immoral, right? And zero children would transition during World War One. So uh, you know, sorry, I, what... I think like most wars are immoral, actually. Well, especially, that's a especially very if you're, you're fighting a war because you're not he getting comes invaded. out on the pro-Nazi side of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I also think that the Nazis invading Poland was immoral. Sure. Yeah, but if war itself is immoral, sure. then surely uh, fighting war with war is immoral. Yeah. You, you do have to eventually step in and like stop certain things like that, even if that means look, a war. Look, look, yeah. look if we're looking the sol at the, the average... soldier fighting a war is not necessarily an immoral man, right? He might be immoral, but it's not necessary just because he's a soldier, right? War in and of itself is an inherent moral good. Yes. <laughs> my point is, Argan, I would rather no, no, live in a society. No, I'm, hold on. I'm, my I'm, point I'm is, I would rather live in a society that transgenders children than to live in World War One. It's not about what you'd rather live in, though. It's it's about if 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 the time period itself is more or less moral. Yeah. You know, well, it, for example, it, it, is, like is it better because it's more or less advanced, right? Because you have I, like I the primitivists who want to go one back. Existed. Yes, World War One existed because of hyper nationalistic sentiment. Right? No, so, no, 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 V. Do not even get into this argument with me. I will fucking violate you. <laughs> World War II, well. you might have a point. Uh, do you mean yeah, World yeah. War II? Because then you might have a point. Oh, World War One. Yes, no. World War One was not about hyper nationalism in the slightest. It was because we it, as humans had discovered the, the mechanisms states, of mass mobilization the, the nation, and mechanized the nation mass states warfare. states formed alliances. Yes, the nation states formed the series no, 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 of alliances. The, the, it wasn't about nation states. It was about great empires. You need to you need to read uh, nothing new on the east, uh, on the Western Front. And you is get that to World see War I, World. Yes, that is World yeah. War One, but it, that does not describe shit. What you need to read if you want to do anything about this is not World War One at all. Is the Franco-Prussian War? World War One started so because every shit. single nation who participated in it was one hundred percent convinced that it would be a quick war. No one went into World War One with the idea that it would be a long, painful war. Everyone thought it would be over quickly. Everyone thought that it would be over on their side because everyone thought they had the better mobilization scheme. And everyone thought that the war itself was a good thing because this was the end of war. Like, the best part is, in the Franco-Prussian War preceding this, uh, preceding this, there was actually a genuine neutrality party raise, arising in many countries that believed that war could not happen in a civilized war uh, world. But also... World War One was the sort of pre-nationalistic stage. Yes, like the Tsarist Russia, is, you know, Tsarist Russia and Austro-Hungary and stuff like that are involved in it. Like the British Empire, you know, like it's not, it's not World War Two. Yeah. World, World it, it, War One was wasn't, like that, wasn't it basically just like the, like politics. the failure of the concert of Europe. Or they kind of balance all the powers and all fell apart. Yeah, yeah, basically. yeah, yeah. The balance of the yeah. powers and the fact that ever again the the understanding of weaponry was so important because today, in the same way that nukes make it impossible to go to large scale war because everything everybody thinks they're going to lose, 
back then, everybody thought they were going to win. Like, there was no doubt in Russia that they would win. There was no doubt in France that they would win. There was no doubt in Germany that they would win. Everyone was supremely confident. And so war was, of course, very desirable. Because if you're going to win the war, obviously you want the war. Yep. But the point is, the soldier is not an inherently immoral person, right? And Dev's, Dev's question is actually a bit different as well. Because the question is, like, are people... Is there more morality is a really good way of framing it. Because I tell you what, man, some of the most moral times in history have been, like, in the sort of, like, 13th century and stuff like that, where people are just obsessively moral. And it's like, you know, the, these people took their morality really fucking seriously, man. Way more seriously than we take morality now. Yeah, so, like, you're talking about, like, like the actual Puritans who... We, we, yeah, I know, I know how we, before, we, 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 but, but yeah. Okay, but... but, but I mean, the actual, I, I, but, I mean I, I, they're I, an I, example, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What I mean is, we use the word Puritan as an insult, but the people who actually were Puritanical, yeah, and and, and they yeah. actually followed these 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 morals. You know, you the people who would kill V for moral. making a porn game, basically. Uh, they would. Yeah, they would stun me to death. Yeah, which is kind yeah. of funny well, because, sure, like, my my well, product, well, 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 my product well, detracts v, v. people from the actual porn industry. <laughs> but, like, it's just drawings, but there are people like actual human beings. That, that are well, doing no, no, I, sex work, which is real work, apparently. No, I, I get it, V, but the, the point is that like th they they would find you immoral and what yeah. you do immoral. Yeah. yeah. So, like, so I mean, are they more moral? I mean, they, they, they also do that today. Like, there's many people who look at the they, anime. They, they are and, like, more moral people, yes. The most moral people in history were the feudal Japanese. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I personally disagree with the... Well, and it's not just because I'm making a porn game, but, like, the, the anti-porn, <laughs> if taken to an extreme, it creates a negative backlash, which is usually worse than just uh, allowing porn Yeah, but that's a very utilitarian sure. perspective, and I don't respect <laughs> utilitarian yeah. yeah, but, like, utilitarian so, is well, good the... because it's actually... The, the word utile comes from Latin and means useful. So, like, you're, you're basically yeah. saying that there's a very useful perspective, which is true. Yeah, but, then, yeah, but you've opened up a huge can of worms there. Did I? Yeah. Okay, go on. Well, I mean, okay, if that's okay, okay. V, V, here's an easy thought experiment. Right? V, here's an easy one, right? right. So, if uh, if you you know you got up tomorrow, you went into town, and uh, you realize that um, the electricity's off and nothing's working, and everyone's like, "Oh no, nothing's working." Uh, v, uh, we've got a question we need to ask you. I'm like, okay, what is it? Well, the the prime minister needs to see you, or the president needs to see you. You're like, okay, fine. Uh, that's a bit weird. Uh, and you go to the presidential palace and they invite you in and they're like, V, come in. And they sit you down and say, look, we've got something to tell you and it's going to be a bit weird. Um, but basically we need to choose between one of three children. You'd be like, okay, the for question. what? Fire and they'd be like, the well, answer. look, it, <laughs> no one likes talking about it. But it turns out that everything good in Romania, all the power, all the food, it's all contingent on this one child just being tortured until they eventually die of old age, right? Uh, and it means everyone gets a really good life. But we have to torture a child just forever to get this stuff. Uh, we just need you to choose the child to be tortured. Um, how do you feel about utilitarianism suddenly? Literally in a heartbeat. And I will tell you that... something else. If I go was on, child... go on. Tell me how you decide which child to torture. Any meaning? No, mighty you mo. just pick straws or something. Like you do it on random. So yeah, no, this is, uh, there's an even worse <laughs> example of this in the SCP archives back before they went shit. And yeah, no, I am, I I am entirely the Mohawk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I am entirely Mohawk, with V yeah. on this one. Sargon I would just go close met, my eyes. Eeny, I, I meeny, miny, moe. I don't think Sargon actually met a utilitarian ever, and it's like the answer is <laughs> Sorry, very child. simple. He's doing a random thing. Don't feel guilty, but I'll tell you something else. Sargon. No, but that's yeah, but that's the point, V, right? No, you can if say, I was well, the child, I'll just choose no, a I'll, random I'll, child. I will, even, I will even take it one point further. If I was the child, and I know that over 20 million people would benefit because of my sacrifice, I would genuinely do it, unironically. Oh, you would. I, I, I don't know if you would. I, would. I, would I don't know about that. <laughs> that is, would you? That is no hey, not a chance. Would you? <laughs> would you? If they were like, V, you can... You, no, 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 listen, no, 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 V, you were like, okay, you, listen that, you, you listen can that. take their place. You can be the Romanian Jesus. And we'll yes. torture you forever yes. instead. Literally, I, I would tell you something else. Not you do it. Like, what, liar, what liar. You'd be like, well, there goes my liar. Japanese porn game. I guess I'm going to get tortured on. forever. You're, you're asking, you're asking, what is immoral from a soldier fighting a war? And I'm asking you, like, what is immoral sacrificing yourself for 20 million people? No, no, no. You're not sacrificing yourself. You're sacrificing someone else. 
and your entire civilization is predicated yeah, on that well, person's suffering. Well, that suffering. person should, should right? adopt my but, mind view then. But the, no, no, but and, the and point the is, the, the point is, at random, so I don't feel the utilitarian, about it. yeah, but why would you need to choose at random? If you're a utilitarian, it's not immoral. It is not immoral to do it if you're a utilitarian. Because well, you say, well, look, it's moral. Thing, no, wait, wait, no, wait. no, no. It, it, it this is, is, no, this is, is the problem. No, this is the problem. I guilty about it. Listen, this is like the problem the with utilitarianism. It's well, bollocks, look, right? Because no, you know, it's not, it's not bollocks. you would just, feel just because no. you're saying that I would have difficulty waking up in the morning. But but even then, okay. No, the like, fact that you, you would need to randomize is the th is shows that you know that there is an immoral problem okay. outside of utilitarianism. Allow me okay, to well, elaborate well, depends, on my answer. Like, like, if that's the I would case, pick the child the case, I dislike the most. If I'm, if I'm forced to make like a, an educated decision, <laughs> I, I, I would look at which child is more healthy and fit. Is that is that good? I wouldn't have done that. I would listen. No, which child please. I dislike the most. It I will look at their yes. little pudgy child faces and I will see like, okay, which one of you do I inherently dislike the most? Because sometimes it you doesn't see children matter and just go like, I don't no, like no, that's no, not the sum total of morality. No, it, it should be the child you like the most because it's an honor. Like they, they are going to make over 20 it's billion people live good lives through their sufferings. Like you, you literally Jesus bestow me. a great honor upon them. So it would be the opposite. I would just choose all three of them. See, that is another way of viewing it, but this is like cruel. And <laughs> Why? There is, no, there is no utilitarian view for for like having three kids. Why would you choose all three, Dev? <laughs> because Dev is a so communist okay, and he hates people. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you've got a <laughs> suffering in for a penny, kid. In for a pound, Sorry. You know? Yeah. So that if you were to suffer, so that twenty billion people live, would you say no? Um. Well, it depends what the circumstance was. <laughs> Well, like tw 20 million people die or you suffer, which one would you choose? Yeah, but that's, I'm not saying that 20 million people will die. I'm saying the quality of your No, I, I am saying this. Like from a utilitarian right? point of view, right? Like you have this hypothetical. Well, yeah, someone else like... would have to kill me, but I don't think that'd be right. Yeah, but like how is it different than a soldier going to war then? Well, a soldier can go for war for any reason. Yeah, but like in this particular scenario, right? You are given like aliens of that. Well, it, it depends say... on. No, no, but listen, right? So the, morality is consequential or deontological, right? You can you can be upholding a deontological order by going to war, and so you're doing. You know, if you're you're upholding the Christian order of Europe against the Islamic invasions, then yeah, actually going to war is a really moral thing, isn't it? Okay. Do you not like, think that the, you should also go to war to uphold the Christian kid, order of Europe? If you're a child that you have to suffer so that 20 billion people can live, how, how is that any different than going to war? <laughs> because so, if you don't on, go on. to v, war... V, the v, v, there's, there's a difference here. There's, there's, v, there's, there's a difference. Europe, right? that, like, there's obviously Europe, a difference there, V. What, what so, is the difference? Go on. Okay, well, okay, the, the, <laughs> one big difference, one big difference is that it's not the child deciding to sacrifice himself because the child could do that and then be yeah, a hero. Yeah. It's the, the fact the that you have to, to go just to wait, either. just wait, V, V, V. Yes, he does it's decide fact... to go to no, war. No, he doesn't, you know. Sargon. You get no. conscripted. Okay. You get conscripted. So, so, if you v, don't go v, to war, like, just, if you're no, a no, Canadian, Sargon, you can't live your house. If you get conscripted, you get It's not all conscription. No, but we're talking about the case that you are conscripted. Let me finish my point, V. Let me finish my point, V, okay? Because... The, the the difference here is that you must choose one of the children. All right, so you it's not like, it's not like they're going to sacrifice themselves and be a hero. Okay, you have okay, to impose so you, it on them. The you must choose then, one. You gotta choose the soldiers getting conscripted. Okay. How is that any different? The government already does that. Like you're, you're you're choosing someone's son <laughs> to actually go to war. If if you're in Ukraine and you get to choose who gets conscripted to fight in the war effort. Yes. So so, so it hold on, so hold on, hold on, hold on. the morality between. So, so the morality of the soldier who goes to war and the morality of the of the bureaucrat who Fire has to choose who goes to war that's answer. those are two different moral situations <laughs> no, yes they're not. no they're not yes they are relatively no. different okay go how on could how they be the just... same because of consent one is voluntary the other is involuntary no it's not sargon jesus and then just stop what? applying your anglosphere morality to eastern europe no in ukraine if you get conscripted <laughs> you go to fucking war yeah you literally get a drafting order you you, you sit at home right you minding your own business and you get a letter saying that you need to present yourself to the nearest recruitment office or else right it, it's not like in england where you get to volunteer for the war effort most nations do not have like a volunteer system they, they actually get drafted into war it's the same in Russia, really. 
It's like they, they get a letter. They, they get the recruitment officer sending them a letter, and they have to present themselves or else they get in prison. Okay, well, um, we're not talking... We didn't st stipulate conscription. I mean, we could have done, but we didn't but stipulate conscription. But most of World War One was like this, because this is how it started. Like, in most of World War One, you, you would yeah, get hold, this prison, hold on. except for a couple I of nations. So. I've got to go have some dinner, guys. I'll see you later, okay? Oh, it's the eating hour. It's the eating hour. It's been fun, though. We, we, we you know, yeah. not, 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 I don't want to say like rags should disappear all the time because that's bad, but we should do this more often. It's always yeah, fun. Only to do. when I've already approved of it. Otherwise, I get annoyed because you dragged out the super chats and then you leave because <laughs> you're fat. Yep, that's how these things go. That, to be fair, it is getting on a bit, so I'm going to have to get a bit. Yeah. yeah. See, so. see, this is yeah, exactly this, what I was I fucking will, talking about. We have all the Arch. time in the world until we don't have any time. I will stay with you, Arch. <laughs> I will read the super chats until the end. Good night, guys. Have fun. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, chat. Wait, what's tomorrow? If you, uh, if you thought you would be able to give super chats to Dev or Sargon, you were misled. Yeah. And it wasn't me. Good night. Yell at them. They are bad human beings. They don't value you. They don't like you. They hate you, in fact. They actively dislike you. Hate them. Hate them back. Never stop. Arch, when are you going to play when are you going to play Nikkei? Uh when chat pays me enough. It's Grim Dark Horny, Arch. This is how I describe it. Grim Dark Horny. But what if I don't like that? The universe of Nikkei is so fucked up. It is unbelievably fucked up. But you get like all these cute girls. But I guarantee I don't you like, like the game. Chad, Chad, give him money, Chad. Give him money so he plays Nikki. But what if I don't like that? But what if you like it and you actually start making lore videos? I won't. Chad, back me up on this one. Tell Arch. Tell him the truth. Make him see the light. Bad Americans. <laughs> Out of his file, since the specific law and story, the woman lobbied New York to sue Trump, so the state temporarily extended the state statutes of limitation just long enough for her to file her lawsuit. <laughs> sounds like Dev has been owned. Sounds like Dev has been defeated in the realms of legal battle. I think it sounds like Dev will be, be forced honest, to admit I, that he I took do not think this is coordinated. I, I think it's more like this happened and Harris then they took the advantage question. of the situation. Fire is the answer. <laughs> Your pro-statist, positivistic view is noted and will no doubt be remembered. It's more like coordinating all these things. It's like, oh, well, we got this woman and she wants to sue, but like, ah, oh, goddammit, the Statue of Limitation, oh, let's change it retroactively. I, I, I just don't see it. Well, it's not retroactive. It's proactively, but... Mercenaries to one. Dev, you are desperately delusional well, with how corrupt all government is. You will never convince me you don't need a straitjacket. Now debate reservist. Is he scheduled for debate reservist? He is not. No. Dev's, deb Dev's diet has been quite heavy with L's as of late. I'm sure he does not wish to take another. Besides, this is the entire reason why the trucker video will never emerge. Because Dev knows very well the L that will be forced upon him about the trucker video, and he doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. Artemis Fowl, the American system is bad, question mark. Ours doesn't try to get sick people to commit suicide or keep terminal toddlers from being moved to willing countries to try experimental procedures to save their lives. Okay, no, America bad. America bad. I don't, I don't like America good either. America bad. Why America bad? Oh. Because America... America is the bastion of all of the DEI nonsense. It's all American. Arch, what was I wrong with the child question? No. Wasn't you sacrificed that a Star the Trek, child. Though? Yeah. Well, wasn't that in, like the Star Trek thing where, where they had like one planet that existed only because of the suffering of one child and like the, the solution is always to sacrifice the child yes i i think star trek has done that episode like three times because it's it's a very simple yet effective moral question would you sacrifice child and your body goes like but child poor child why would i sacrifice child i, I think like the only question of morality is like how many people do you save you know like do you sacrifice one child for one adult the answer is no yeah. What about one child for two adults? And the answer right. is no. And, and you keep increasing the number. And at one point, you get like one child for like 10,000 people. And it's like, oh, it's 
Mm. It, it's baby's first moral dilemma, as I described it when it came up in, uh, in Star Trek, because it is. Because, yes, the answer <laughs> is always you sacrifice the child. Like if it's, uh, it'll but say see, a million people I... sacrifice child. Two million people sacrifice yeah, child. Half a million people sacrifice like, what child. about 50 people are? Like, sacrifice a child, child for 50 people. Really? For 50 people? Yeah, sure. I don't know these people. Okay, what about 40? I assume I don't like them. 40? Sure, yeah, what why about, not? What about 40 people? Yep. 30? Yep. Sacrifice a child for five people are? Five people, sure, yeah. That's still five, five times. Okay, one child for one person. Uh, it depends. Adult? Because, sure, it's if like it's an adult, adult then yeah, don't her. sacrifice the child. Sacrifice the adult instead. Do you know doctors actually have to deal with this when they have, like, one ambulance and there's, like, two victims, right? Hypothetically speaking. Like, you got the old lady that's, like, 95 years old and she had a heart attack. Or you got, like, the 80-year-old that uh, drunk drive and, and he's now in a coma. So, like, wh where do you send? Do you send to the car crash or do you send to the old lady's house? Old lady, because car crash ambulance. is immoral. Yeah, but, like, usually they go for the, the car crash. Uh, yeah, of course and, and I do, because it's, it's the because utilitarian lady... option. Yes, yes, like, they actually do that. They, they, they will say that even though the old lady has paid her taxes her entire life and she's rich and she, you know, deserves medical care, uh, they will go, well, yeah, but this is a young person and, you know, like, he's got his life ahead of him, so... He might become a doctor or he might become the new Hitler. We don't know yet. It's part of the charm. <laughs> but, see, I don't like young people. I, in fact, think I hate young people. I've come to the conclusion that all of our problems stem from young people. If our nations know, were ruled by, like, World War II veterans, like we would have less DEI. Like, if you're... See, I, I, ex, I su su suggest, suggest we only extend human rights to those above 30. And we can continue this sliding scale with whatever age I am, frankly. An 18 is definitely too old. Are you, Arch? How old are you? Are you older than me? It's a government like held senpai? secret. Right. Young people are the problem of virtually everything. An 18 is far too low of a voting age. 20 at least. 22 probably. 23 a pinch. 24 if you know me. See, because I don't think we should do IQ tests either. Because, you know, you could cheat on those. But definitely not 18. Definitely not. I don't know, Arch. I think like if you were to um, vote like 18 only or above or whatever, um, you're going to have only conservative governments. And when they know they constantly win, uh, that's when they start doing shenanigans. Well, like if you're well, a government and you know out. that your seat, if you know your seat of power is guaranteed, then you don't have accountability. So you can always, uh, you know, do whatever you want. Like yeah, you can be as corrupt. As it's it's only guaranteed because young young people are inherently retarded and will continue voting for the same thing that fucks them over over again and again that is uh, that, that is the only way aging population. Like, like theoretically we should have more conservative governments because of the aging population well yeah but they're old and dumb and lazy we need we need younger more vital dumb people Basically, we need a combination of made and limited voting. So basically, when you hit like 60, they just off your ass, but you don't get to vote until you're like 30. So you really got to make the most out of it. Reverend Noah says, Arch, so du mener att Norge inte skulle ändra sina läge, lager? Swedish motherfucker. För att komma åt vidkund kvistling är inte det liknande exempel som haxjakten av Trump? Uh, yes, no, it was immoral of the Norwegian government to change the law to, uh, after the fact, prosecute Vidkun Quisling for, uh, for uh, uh, high treason. It was immoral. I get why we did it, but it was immoral. Artemis Fowl, Pikimi would fight the state. Mm, Pikimi was weak. I've, I've, I've adopted Dev's position on this. Uh, you Max know that, uh, what's her name? I, I don't know if it's Pikachu, but the rabbit girl introduced her mother to the stream, and now people like her mother more than her. Uh, her mother has larger breasts. Me. Yeah. Uh, Maxman seventeen B. Very important question: Can geckos consent? No. No. <laughs> very, very simple. Very wholesale. Dev, I've had tons of different healthcare 
companies, they've been really good to me. You're generalizing. Health insurance isn't that bad here. I could afford it with a landscaper's salary. Yeah, no, ironically, the, um, the fat man, the American fat man, um, whose name I, I don't remember, he who did uh, Fahrenheit 9-11, etc., he gave a very uncharitable view of, uh, like healthcare in the United States, because if you have an insurance, your insurance provider will pay you out 99% of the time. Like, it isn't like they're yeah. constantly trying to trap your ass. Yeah. They, they will increase your insurance rate, though. So oh, yeah. That, that is... Like, yeah. If you are at a risk of congenital heart disease, for example, they are going to in increase your uh, insurance premium against congenital heart disease, because you are at a higher risk of that thing. Duh. Book, when will Dev go on side scroller with Razor Fist? Never. Ah, uh, Dustborn Knight. When the government asks you to do their bidding, it is a request for submission, not permission. Dev should know this. The threat of force becomes more apparent to the closer to the sun you fly. Taxes. Yes. Taxes are theft. I've grown accustomed to this. Uh, Frog Jupiter, do you plan on watching the A24 Civil War film? I do, but I'm waiting for it to, like, properly come out, so I don't have to watch, like, a cam of it. Have you seen the Civil War film, V? No, but I keep getting subscribers telling me to see it. I will watch it, just because I hope it might do something cool. We'll see. Uh, Artemis Fowl, keep arguing about the state and how Dev can't make a decision without the state telling him what is true about the state. He argued that the Eastman memo was the real coup overcharging trespasses is okay in Dev's book. Of course it is. Dev's book is the book of authoritarianism. The DCB Titan, did you hear O.J. Simpson died? I did! I hope they find a journal with an entry. I can't believe I got away with it with absolutely no context. Do you think he died of natural causes, V? Yeah. Most yeah. Animal. Yeah, sadly, I have to agree. Like, I I wish there would be a government conspiracy of old white dudes who's like, fuck that damn person. I can't use the words. We're gonna have him assassinated years after. It would be funny, but I don't think so. I think uh, people more or less got over the whole late OJ thing. It would be funny, though. It would be funny. On a well, the U.S. is demanding we register our chickens now. They are coming for small farms. Of course they are. See, see, the reason why the government it, is going... It's E. coli, Arch. It's E. coli. Every single fucking small farm has E. coli, right? I know, but like, the reason why is farms in particular... The government loves regulating farms because farms are really easy to regulate because the farms use so many things that could potentially be dangerous. Use the wrong kind of seeds, you could cause damage. Use the wrong kind of fertilizer, you could cause damage. Use the wrong kind of water, you could do damage. Store it incorrectly, you yep. could cause damage. It's a yep. very easy target for regulation. And it's also a nearly limitless basket of regulation because, again... The state... And not to mention, they can't fight back, right? It's like, oh. you're one farmer. Like, why, why are you going to do it? You're, you're an Amish. Oh, well, what, 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 what pushback will you have? And if my theory is correct, and that um, the governments can do whatever they want until people fight back, well, they're not going to get much pushback from fucking with farmers. They're not. And it's also because people kind of hate farmers. And for a very good reason. I fucking hate farmers. In no way. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because in no way, farmers are well, nothing farmer... more. Show me a dissolve where the farmer touched it. Well, I, I, can, I can show you it. I can show you it right on the, uh, the receipt from the store. Because in no way, all farmers are glorified governmental employees. They must sell all of their produce to the government. Uh, they have full monopoly. Yeah, the government that, takes that's, everything. That's not the farmer's fault. That's it what, is. What you're because the farmer the is submitting no, to it. The farmer should rise up with a fucking pitchfork. Yeah, the, farmer the farmer should farmer drive to the, the capital and guard. dump fucking feces. No, I get, I get it. I get it. You, you, on the no, politicians. I, I see your point. But, but if the farmer rise up, would you be there with him? No, he's going to have to fight his own battle for now. I don't trust him. I don't no, like the farmer. Did you see the problem? Like, nope, all of I don't a sudden, see the he feels very lonely and I'll support it. I don't. I don't see the problem. He was the one who started this. 
He was the one who submitted. You don't, you don't, you don't see the problem. No, I he was the, the one who submitted. Now fun. he's going to get fucked. No, it's, it, no, and after on, he has bled is... sufficiently in defense of what he should have done ages ago, I'll consider supporting him. Once he has shown but, but, proper Arch, contrition. The, the, the problem that you're talking about is the receipt that you get from the supermarket when you look at the produce. Mm -hmm. And how much you have to pay for it. That is the problem. That is the problem, yes. Yeah. But because you didn't help the farmer with... Or, well, he hasn't asked. Like he, he's happy him. to be a government employee. See, that's the thing with farmers in Norway, too. They constantly ask for more and more governmental subsidies. They're like... They're, they're like cheating wives to continuously ask for more and more alimony, even as they're fucking the gardener. That's, that's okay, farmers well, that in Norway. problem. No, I, I, I agree. I, I would hate the farmer as well in that situation. It's like, we need billions more. Why? Because the government isn't paying us enough. You do understand how this is not going to work out. It's like, government, give us more money, even as you take all of ours. <sighs> we need to no, eradicate I, I, I farmers. See, I, I understand your, your point of view. Now. We're going to have to replace them with robots. It's just how it's going to be. And people who want to be farmers, and most of them just want to be hobby farmers anyways. They want to be like, oh, I'll work with my hands in the soil. Fine. We'll buy you a fucking dirt side or something. Like a little square of dirt where you can on, play around. Re replacing them with robots. How that fixes the problem? Because the robot would still sell to the government. Yes. But at least they wouldn't complain about okay. it. That is correct, yeah. Mm-hmm. That is correct. They wouldn't complain much, much about so, it. So yeah, your, your issue is that with the situation is that with the oh no it's it's a it's a complex matter and my issue is it's, with it's the situation whining, but it's also issue. about them complaining about it right so so like your your biggest gripe is the whining no well yeah that's the one i can do the most with immediately because it is within my power to hurt the farmers but it's not within my power to hurt the government and so i will <laughs> just lash out at the one i can reach <laughs> the rationale it's the yeah, rationale is honest, part. that's what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, unironically, I can't refute this. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm trying to refute it, but I can't. Yep, the rationale is honesty, simple as. Artemis Fowl. The U.S. is democratic. Yep, the real state sincerely. When was Romania a first world country? Never. They're working on becoming one, though. To be honest, I, I, I genuinely like, don't understand what we don't have that the first world does at this point. Uh, like we're much more a, advanced than a centuries right? history of being free of communism. Yeah, yeah, but like, but like currently, currently, and not historic, like tangential things are so not not the matters of spirit or the soul, right? Like, like what exactly does a first world country have that we don't? Well, Norway has been declared the world's happiest nation like fifteen times. So when you get one of those. We can talk. Let me check. You don't have to be the happiest nation yeah. to be a first world country. No, but you have to have achieved something great. You only get into the club if you've done something like that. Oh, if you look at Romanian investor, we invented a lot of shit, including penicillin. Yeah, but that's not doesn't really uh, matter. We're, we're 24th in the world when it comes to happiness. 24th. So, I mean, we're, we're, Jesus. Yeah, I'm quite, quite high up there. Where's I mean, Ghana like on that countries. list? Let me check. 22nd? Oh, uh, no, it's it's really down. Like, I, I got to scroll down in order to find it. It's not, it's not even on the list. I, on paper, in even theory, on. even communism works is good. That's the problem with Dev. He thinks uh, communism works in theory. Uh, Jimmy, the Russell, regulations are good in the same sense communism is good. In theory only. Well, no, see, regulation is good. Sometimes. But the thing is, I agree with V here, most of the regulations we needed was already invented. Like, don't dump poison in the river. Good regulation. Uh, you know? Oh my but... god, the Romanian, uh, a Romanian subscriber told me, V, stop, Romania is border. I don't want retards to come in here. <laughs> if anything, yes, I'm going to move to really Vietnam. Bad, it's, a, it's an awful country, yes. I swear to god, I want to move to Vietnam. Because Vietnam, everything is stupendously cheap. All of the yeah, but all of the make, people are cross-eyed. You make far less. You make far less. No. How do I how do I earn yeah. my money, V? Oh yeah, through YouTube. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Unironically, everyone who works on the internet or can work remotely should just move to Asia at this point. Seriously, just it, it's almost guaranteedly better. Yeah, yeah, you might have local mob bosses and stuff, but you know, at least it's not Mexico. Scroll, 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 scroll. 
Not Alpharius says, You need to start forcing these arguments to be in-game and in-character. No arguments longer than 10 minutes unless it's your character doing it. Don't forget to have this year has death what communism is. Well, this was simply just a second, uh, second arch cast for the week, basically. Nathan Elderman, holding my newborn while my wife sleeps in recovery. Life is good, lads. Keep being stupid and don't let Dev's politics ruin life for my family. Well, congratulations. You're going to have to fight Dev yourself. You're going to have to aggressively resist Dev. Otherwise, Dev is going to bring maid to your country. It's inevitable. Communists just do that. They spread. Like the plague. Or mold. Didn't they, didn't they talk about Maid in Norway as well? I remember like hearing about it. I'm sure we have some variant of Maid in Norway. Mm. I mean, hey, again, in theory, if, if you're suffering from some cancer that has eaten 98% of your fucking intestines and you're just in screaming pain all the day, yeah, sure. Yeah, it, it would be a good idea, yeah. Yeah, but the problem is it, it just doesn't end there. Yeah. It's like, this guy's in tremendous pain. Sure, okay, kill him. This person eats penicillin too often. <laughs> Hold on there. <laughs> Don't you think that's going a bit too far? The whole senator, remember that Dev said that veteran activists and trans activists are worthy of the same consideration because both have a higher self Minecraft rate. Even the one, sac one sacrificed for our country. That does sound like something Dev would say. Mm hmm. Dev believes that the trans activist and the veteran. Is the same same creature, same moral, same morals, same existence. Ah, uh, read Fox Media. Join the late. How long till the diplomatic process breaks down? Well, I mean, I like how Sargon's idea is like, oh yeah, no, going to uh, steal a slave uh, is definitely not not good, and it'll like ruin everything for us if you do it. Uh, and then Sargon, the next second is, hey, you get $10,000 if you do this, and you now have an official quest to go north. I wonder if Sargon is trying to hurt us. I wonder if Sargon is just, he just hates this now. He I doesn't want to do it I, anymore. I found it bewildering as well. It's, it's almost like this is exactly the quest we wanted, but without the mortal dilemma. Maybe Sargon is just sick of the RP, and he's like, how can I end this as quickly as possible? And this this is how he came up with it. Maybe Sargon is the mad guy all along. Maybe Sargon is the enemy. It's possible, at least theoretically. It is weird though. It is weird about the quest that we got and the timing. It's like uh, Rex goes, "Oh, let's see Elidora," and it's like literally the quest, you know. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, Mog of War. There are good regulations, but quite often the regulations get written by the company and are designed mainly to hinder competitors. That also is a big problem, yeah, particularly like in the US. The, the, yeah, like this is another thing that I didn't talk to them. Like most of the regulations, especially in America, are written by actual corporations. It's called lobbying, right? Like here in Europe, we call it corruption, but in America, it's called lobbying. Yes, the fact that America has indeed instituted legalized bribery is a terrible fucking idea and something that America really probably shouldn't have done. Well, it's the Supreme Court, right? So it's not like we're going to witness a change anytime soon. Martin Calendar. Uh, how much for Dev to take an IQ test? Hmm. To be fair, I'm, I'm sure wait, Dev wait, is pretty clever. Why can you take an IQ test? Because I tried, but like all the ones that I found, like they require you to pay for it. Like they get you to do the IQ test, and after you finish doing it, if you want to see the results, you got to pay money for it. I'm pretty sure there's tons of them online, I guess. I mean, I was given one by a psychiatrist because they thought I was fucking crazy at one point. Were you? Uh, no. Mm. At least not in the bad sense. I think. Maybe you are like sociopathic, you know, like the type of person that does the correct thing, but like for immoral reasons. That's kind of what they were suspecting. They, they thought I was actually like nutty, like I might have some sort of nasty tendencies. I did not. They determined I didn't, so I'm, I'm fine. No, did, nobody didn't you set worried. fire to your teacher's car in, in high school or some shit? Set fire to the car? It's slightly heated, yeah. maybe a little bit. You, you prefer like some chemical reaction which caused the teacher's car to go in But that wasn't intentional. Like the end goal wasn't to set fire to the teacher's car. Oh. 
No, the, the, the intention was to see if this could inconvenience the teacher, not to burn their car. There's I mean, it did, right? Because, like, if your car is on fire, it doesn't really make it convenient. Yes, like, that was the idea, that this would inconvenience teacher. The idea that so, it so would... So basically uh... what you're saying is that you were too successful at it. Yes, simple as. <laughs> I see. That was all. On the bright side, I had an IQ of 133, so I've been very happy with that ever since. Is that good? Because I, I don't know, like, what is good and what is... Yes, that's supposedly good. It's better than Sargon. I beat Sargon. That's what I remember the most about that. And I wish I, were, I can take an IQ test. Again, I don't know where to do it. That it doesn't require payment. Uh, Subi Fluff says, how about the standards that allow for leaders in your Lunchables, Dev? For lead? Oh, lead in your Lunchables, I guess. Yes. Well, I would like for there to be lead in Dev's Lunchables. I don't see any compelling reason why there shouldn't be lead in Deb's Lunchables. David Smith, the governor's only job, the government's only job, should be enforcing the only regulation, which is no false or obtuse advertising. Well, I'd like them to enforce uh, private property as well. If you can't lie about your business, then it should be up to people to decide if they care. There are several things that the government should do, like um, defamation. That's that's a good thing government uh, government does do. Uh, lies, actual lies, like misleading marketing, that's a good thing the government does. Uh, police services, fire, you know, I'd, I'd rather not bother with this myself. Uh, making sure that there's property rights, I like that. I, I like the idea of property rights, so I'd like to keep that too. Uh, so, John, Dev, the corpo will always roll over for the government ass because corpos don't want to risk their financial stability. The only exception are those that are ideologically invested and Kenshi. All right, I will add 10, to, 10 more to Kenshi. I generally don't understand how Dev can think that it's okay for the government to ask. And again, when you say the government, it's like a little random police officer goes to Twitter and is asking, like, hey, you know, like, I, we, we got a criminal on the lam, and we suspect it may be in your building. Can we look him for him? It's like, no, it's the Department of Homeland Security, you know, asking, like, yeah, can, can you guys censor the political opposition for us, please? They do do that. That's the problem. Boog, Dev wants to ban taco trucks. He almost certainly does. He almost certainly does. Let's see. <laughs> Whoever accepts first. Anthony Pepinfus, most of the ranks Dev asked for were past regulations, were passed in the 60s and 70s, before the obesity increase, before multinational companies became the norm. That's another thing too, the multinational corporations. Like that that was a that was a big thing. Multinational corporations function under very different regulations than most other things because now you need to regulate companies that need to exist in multiple regulatory spheres at the same time. And it's difficult mm. to determine who really has, you know, um, authority in those matters. Yeah, I mean it's the whole Twitter Brazil thing, right? Yep. Anthony Pappenfuss, most of the uh, uh, Real Snyder play the clips art, but he's a saga Rooney. Adam Isfahl, what does Dev think about EFAP refusing to give lifelong health care for burning the chemicals? Erich, they never needed to do it. FOIA email evidence given to Arch and V. Partisans reasons, Dev. Well, he is a Democrat. Service guarantees. Uh, Gukyom, Dev, what about ism incarnate? He, he does do that. He does do that. Uh, fondue. But if Mormons didn't have the freedom to settle where they wanted, humanity wouldn't have to fight a bug war. That's also true. That's true, Bruce. And Fondue, V is the deer that keeps jumping into the pool. He kind of is. You kind of are. Well, again, I, I wasn't trying to get a win. I, it was just like normal You must always try to get the win. Through. You're conversing with a communist. Uh, Anthony Pappenfuss, Britain had a reputation of being corrupt in the early 1800s, but large-scale deregulation destroyed the reasons for corruption. Yeah, no, honestly. Yeah. I, the, the clue is to try and get as much money out of politics as possible, yeah. to give the people who are working there as little incentive as possible. Yeah, if the government is small, then its corruption doesn't affect your life. If the government is all-encompassing, then the corruption affects everything you do. 
A uh, skeptic student says, V cannot speak orc, only understand orc. Oh. Yeah, that Is would that complicate our diplomacy, wouldn't it? Hold on, let me, let me check. I mean, the spell says you can understand it, and like, I, 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 I feel like if you understand a language, you must therefore be able to speak it, but eh. So you comprehend defend? language, magical spell, blah, 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 blah. You comprehend any spoken language you hear. You can also comprehend any language you come across. Uh, you need to be touching it. I guess it's up to the GM's interpretation if you can only understand it or speak it. I suppose. Uh, defense says, Dev, I want the RP videos. Please sell. <laughs> How much? The RP videos, they are long lost to humanity. Long, long lost. Fondue, if you want to know who controls you, find out who you can't criticize. V on the dog pill. So we are all ruled by dogs and white women. Which, you know what? That kind of sounds... I, I know that's not by Voltaire who said it, but it's kind of true, right? Like, if you can't criticize someone, it means that they do have power over you. Yes. And if you can't criticize white women fucking dogs, you are subservient to white women fucking dogs. That technically means that all of us are cucked by dogs. I just want to point that out. Defend. Dev, how many hours of my production <laughs> is worth it? Very communist. It's good that you try and put it in terms that Dev would understand. That, that will help, uh, you know, negotiations in the... Uh, the long term, definitely. It is good that you pitch it in his language. I think, you know, like, the moral uh, response to it, it's like, how many women actually fuck dogs, and does it really genuinely bother me that women are fucking dogs? I don't know. Like, like, can I not sleep at night knowing that out there somewhere a woman is fucking the dog? You know, it, it, it's like that. Like, do, do I need to go out of my way to prevent it from happening? Like, just because I know that there is a woman somewhere that I don't even know her name and she's fucking a dog, is that literally something that I need to devote my energy towards stopping? No. No, I agree. Like, I just assume all women are degenerate monsters anyway, so... Now, now if it's a woman I know, that would be different, right? That would be different, Like, if yes. I find out my wife is fucking a dog, then that, that would... That would be, be cause for interactions, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, 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 like, if it's, like, just somewhere, you know, you don't know her, you don't know her name, it's just, like, you don't even know the dog. It's just, like, it happens somewhere out there. Do I lose sleep over it? It's Someone dog. out there, a woman is getting knotted. Do you care? Uh... <laughs> like, no. In fact, the very action of caring implies that I'm thinking more about it than I would care to, honestly. Seems like literally I'm investing more time into it than I should. Yep. Literally. I, gotta, I don't want to go there. There's not ironically going to be people that are clipping it. It's like, oh my god, how dare you not care? It's like, literally, I do not. I, I just, it's not in my mind. I, I do not devote any time thinking about it. It is an irrelevancy. It, it actually is. <laughs> Boog, F your freedom, Sargon Schwarzenegger, 2024. Arnold Schwarzenegger did say that. He did say F your freedom. He did actually say that. He retracted it. Did, it, it. Uh, you know what? He, he Credit was where credit is due. He did apologize for it because he had the movie coming out. So he had to, you know. Yep. I mean, and when he said it to you, you could tell that he thought that that was going to sound good. I, I guarantee you his friends were all, all on board with that. Like all of his friends thought that was like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's totally how it should be. There's people saying you need to purge that. It's like, but that requires energy. Like, you can do it. If, if, if you genuinely want to, you go purge. I don't fucking care. Like, literally, I, it's, it's too much energy to go purge. Yeah, Chad. Like, I'm not stopping you from purging it. If you want to dedicate your life to stopping women from having sex with animals, not only will I allow you, I will encourage you. But I'm not going to spend my time on it. Okay, listen, Ash. Best description of the comprehend language spell. It adds soft time. You should care because it's about the dog. Listen, I don't care enough about dogs' rights or dogs' about the dog, behavior. Yes. It's like it makes I the dog uncomfortable. Dogs. Well, I love cats. I love cats. I hate dogs. Unironically, I do not care. And not to mention, you know, like, isn't most countries, like, if they have, like, a, a, a stray dog, like, they gas it? 
Like they put it into the pot and then they get so so no, I do not care. Neither does your government. By the way, Arch, comprehend language is like adding subtitles. So you, so you don't really understand the language, but you get subtitles. I suppose that's probably true, yes. Yeah, no, I I can I can see that. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. Rain Turner, Dev in reality, with the Democrats, if Americans had made, they would re redefine mental illness to be right-wing. I think they have actually already done that. I'm pretty sure there's a narrative out there somewhere where conservatism is just described as like a mental illness. I am almost certain that is already a thing. And if it isn't, I'm sure that it eventually will be a thing. Wait, wasn't that, um... No, no, th this was a thing. Because there was a whole thing that, like... Wasn't that the argument behind the, uh... They rigged it and that's a good thing thing? That people yes. didn't know what was best for them? And so the rigging yes. was actually a good thing? Because they saved yes. democracy by doing that? Yeah, I think that was a thing that happened. Yes. They fortified it, yeah. Thomas Hosea, to Carl and Dev. The founding story comments earlier is not in reference to Ben Franklin, but rather the genesis as the USA sees it in rebellion against tyrants versus the British helping Canada separatists. They helped Canadian separatists? Quebecois nationalists? Did you, know, Arch, did you know that Canada set fire to the White House? I do. I didn't know that. Many people don't. Even Americans don't. Well, they didn't set fire to it enough then, I guess. Oh no! It, it's I think it's like they set fire to it long ago. Yes. Like if they set fire to it recently, they would be different. Yeah. But yeah. I would like it if they set fire to it now. Why though? It, you, you, like, wouldn't that cause a massive international conflict? Yes, but it's Trudeau on the losing side. Besides, I imagine it would give uh, Trump a nice big bump in the polls if that happened. I think like it, no, it's usually the city. Uh, president that gets the bump um, you think biden would be considered a good wartime president by the majority of the american people no, I, I, unfortunately it's not about that it's like whomever is the sitting president even if it is biden it would just be considered as like yeah you, you're the man in charge because you're the sitting president people want stability arch that that's the whole thing yeah but i don't know so, if, if biden is necessarily like the a good example of stability isn't, but it doesn't matter. Like people are stupid. They they will just vote for whatever gives them stability. Would you chat? Would you vote for Biden during wartime? Would you embrace Biden? Uh, well, chat doesn't represent like the majority of Americans. Oh, you hear that, chat? You're not you're no longer representative, chat. How how many Democrats do you have in the chat? Arch? I imagine relatively few. Yeah. Oh, there you go. So John says the majority of the Soviet revolutions were Jews. Uh, killed 66 million Christians. Jews all started the 1919 Communist Revolution in Germany. Sample CCP. I think that's maybe not true. I've heard Dad tell me it's not true. Which no, I mean, is a good like question. Putin even said that. No, I think even Putin said that most of the Bolsheviks were, were Jewish. Hmm. Hmm. So John says 85% of the plantation owners were Jewish Jews in the Confederacy. Check the Jewish Encyclopedia. It's online. Look for the American Agricultural section. Kenshi. I have heard that, yes, that there were a, a lot of uh, Jewish agricultural owners who owned a lot of slaves. I have heard that. Disproportionately represented, yeah. Yes. Gilgis says, V, I will, uh, I will happily buy your game if you include a safe work option at the start of the game. Will you? Will there be a safer work option? Yeah, I guess you'd just get a game over rather than the actual cutscene. Would that be safe for work? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Tedder, Dev, the activism causes the incompetence. They filter the competent people and other people and also censor, causing games to have ugly women and rampant greed. See, I am I am with Dev to a degree in that there are definitely people who are ideologically motivated and there are people who are motivated by greed. But the thing is, the people who are motivated by greed are then influenced by the ideologically motivated people because they're the ones who tell them, oh, yeah, no, this is totally hip amongst the kids today. So okay, it does so come down to them, the... Like, like, first of all, you, you can actually be a woke person that actually draws good. Like, th those are mutually sure. exclusive. You can be a good artist and you can be woke as fuck. 
but but if you're at a company and you're a good artist you you can just keep your head down you know you can just go like whatever the hr lady tells you and you don't stand out and shit uh, but at the end of the day if you draw a woman with big tits you're going to be told you're not allowed so until yeah. you fix the ideology it doesn't matter about the competency yes the ideology must come first Again, I, I generally think that what I told Dev is true. If, if I were to have the people that work on the Suicide Squad and I would get them to make a game for me, I would be able to make something that sells. It would at the very least be a superior product to the Suicide Squad. 100%. Uh, Excelsius says, No, it's not hatred of beauty. Anything men like is a sin to these people. Look at the community manager. Main community is male gamer white man. The self, uh, f self flagellating people. Service guarantees citizenship. Uh, okay. Kiki, Kiki Hideout. Why Dev just doesn't admit he is dirty communist? It's a good question. Why does he not admit that he is a dirty communist? Does there's he live? There's uh, a lot of stigma. No, there's a lot of stigma attached to it, so he doesn't ah. want to face it. He doesn't want to admit that he's a dirty communist because he's he fears that he will lose some sort of societal status if he does. That makes sense. Yes. Yes. That does make sense. Uh, Sujad, Warhorse look to be announcing Kingdom Come 2 on the 18.04.2024. All my super chats should be counted towards the Sen Kenshi stream. I figured I'm, I'm already doing that. I would like a Kingdom Come 2. Did you play Kingdom Come Deliverance uh, 1? A little bit, and it pissed me off, because you're technically a peasant, and you get to badmouth a lord, and there's no consequences. Y yes. I guess. It's been a while since I played it. I think you do get yelled at if you do too much naughty shit, yeah, but... But it's not, it's not really what will happen in a medieval society if you as a peasant start talking shit to a lord. Probably not, no. There'll probably be more strident consequences than getting told off. By the way, look at this. This is interesting. This is, uh, since we're talking about O.J. Simpsons, uh, this is Opera's audience reacting to the verdict. So Opera's polarizing. audience? Yeah. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant or his Orenthal James Simpson not guilty of a crime of murder in violation of penal code section 180. From what I understand, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, this is an individual that was proven to have done it, but because of jury notification, he walked away? I don't know anything about the Simpson case. So, like, what I know in America is that even if they have evidence that you did it and you confess and everything, uh, if the jury says you didn't do it, it's called jury notification and you walk away. And in the case of O.J. Simpson, and, and I would like Chad to correct me if I'm wrong, um, it was racial identity politics that played a lot in it. And it's because like he was black, then the jury uh, basically said, no, he didn't do it. And, and I think like this is the, uh, the reason that people talk about it. I have heard that narrative, but I don't know enough about it to really comment yeah, either way. I don't know either, which is why, yeah, which is why I'm asking the chat. But I think like this is it. It might be. Uh, the sugar daddy, Robin Hood, is unironically cringe. Don't bother watching it. It's not funny, terrible. It is just terrible. I did watch it, and I kind of agree. It was just kind of terrible. It wasn't even cringely terrible. It was just really, really bad. I'm just foul. Imagine Dev telling you he will look into it, but you go several weeks, and he still hasn't looked into it. Looked at Tilly Law and Count making fake docs information. Well, I remember when I told Dev that there would be absolutely no consequences for what Trudeau did with the, uh, the Abuse of the Powers Act thingy. I told him he will not be found guilty, he will not be charged, he will not go to jail, there will be no consequences. Dev told me that we will wait and see. Well, uh, we have now waited and we have now seen, and there have been no consequences whatsoever for Justin Trudeau. And Dev has been very silent about this fact, very quiet. <laughs> Unironically, though, I don't know why Dev keeps treating the government like he's a friend, like it's Uncle Sam, you know, like the uncle that you know, and when the uncle says something, well, he just wants your good intentions. 
Dev thinks that if he's very nice to the uncle, maybe the uncle won't touch him anymore. Maybe, but maybe. it's not how it works. Yeah, it is not how it works. But maybe the uncle will stop touching him if he just behaves enough. Kiki Hideout, Dev is unironically evil. V, ditch him already. Didn't Dev is not Rinder? evil. He is, he is merely misled. Oh, well, retarded. I must follow why Dev is unironically evil, part 731. There's, there's that many parts. There should be, though. There are, there are many levels to the Devian idea of evil, I feel. Much to be discovered and explored there. Actually, I do know a lot of people actually genuinely really, really hate Dev. I'm not one of those. No, unironically. And, and I think the reason for it is that with someone like Vosh, you know, he's a leftist, right? But like Dev is, uh, you know, pretty much like promoting uh, our side of the argument. But he's got like these roadblocks and people think, well, maybe if I can reach to him, he's not reachable. Got all the tools. He's got all the evidence. He's got everything in front of him. It's like, no, I, I, I think like people in the gaming industry are just incompetent. It's like, come on, Dev. Come on. Come on, Dev. Why do you think this? Come Why on. are you being a silly boy? Come on. Yes. On his foul. Yep. You're pa Gabriel Petrascu. Dev is a good boy. Leave him alone. Yeah. Most of the time. Most of the time. And as well, Destiny yeah, supports Trudeau. Checkmate, Dev. That's true, and that that is why Dev will vote for Destiny. For Destiny, yeah. For Trudeau. Rain Teller, Dev, you never leave might makes right, regardless on how large or small the scale. You never leave might makes right, regardless on how large or small the scale. I don't understand. Uh, Adam and friend of two women talking about incompetence, making me think they're also incompetent and just protecting their weakness. Women do do this. Adam as well. Dev is taking the Athenian perception of the strong do what they will and the weak suffer what they must, Sargon video reference, except it is always the government getting to do what it wants. It is always the government getting to do what it wants. Because the government is always the strong. This is the problem that we must face. And the dev refuses to face. Dev's idea of, 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 of neutrality to... Neutrality to dev was what is not politically... Oh, politically um, motivated. Like, that's a very interesting definition of neutrality, isn't it? To bind neutrality into politics immediately. Not whether or not it is morally neutral, but whether it is politically neutral. Hmm. Make well 11. The dev democracy accepts only small bribes. If bribe big enough is just conspiracy. V accepts only degeneracy. Booba rules. Sargon based. We could go for a boobocracy where we just hand out civil rights dependent upon bust sizes. I think that has already been tried in anime and it was very successful in that anime, I think. Sandoom, so much. How has your physician been holding up with Dev's commie psychic? Psychic physician. Psychic, psyche, been holding up with Dev's commie nonsense and he's yelling poorly. It has made me sad. More than just a little bit sad, too. Too much. Too much weirdness. Too much nonsense. Too little sense. Uh, Gilgit Sargon, I saw the LE video about how the new Japan immigration plan told my wife about it. She is Japanese. Uh, she didn't know about it and got pissed. She is telling her friends and family to vote against current PM. Thank you. Well, there's the thing, too. One of the reasons why the government usually gets to do what the government wants to do is because the government doesn't actually tell you about half the things you actually need to. Because the government also, of course, has supreme authority over information, which is very, very, very useful. If people can't, if people can't vote on the thing if they don't know if it's being proposed. 
Got 11 laws and nations rest on population benevolence. To a degree, certainly, to a degree. Uh, a liquid volt... T uh, volt thesis. Alright, I'm calling this now the bridge reband or whatever next thing it is called will work because people are stupid and forget. Game get lost and woke infected the industry for the exact same reason. Yes, but at the time we didn't know what we were fighting. Like we genuinely had no actual inclination as to what we were up against and that gave the opposition an enormous advantage because if you don't know what you're fighting it is very difficult to actually resist it. Whereas now, there has been so much content produced repeatedly and very, very autistically laying out exactly what wokeism is to the point that it is going to be very difficult to try and pretend that something overtly woke is not woke. It... I'm here. What, what's going on? <laughs> Nothing. Wait, what, what is about woke? About... We're talking about bridge. Chat thinks yeah. it uh, it will hap it will uh, it will be a successful rebrand. I do not think so. Mm. They they want to do it so that you actually get influenced by diversity. So like your credit card, for instance. If you purchase from some companies that are woke, you 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 get a discount. Yeah. Whether if you're purchasing from something that's not woke, you don't get a discount. So basically, like, people will be incentivized to buy woke shit because it's going to be advantageous. Like, basically, it's not the company now that gets the diversity funds. It's you as the customer. Yeah, but that will... Like, BlackRock would pay for the difference, right? So, so let's say McDonald's is woke and you got, like, the mom and pop store over the street that's not. If you buy from McDonald's, it's cheaper just because it's woke. Yeah, but again... That depends on subsidies. And the subsidies have yeah. failed already. Like the subsidies failed the companies. The subsidies will fail people. For the simple reason that the people will now be taking money out of the company's pockets in an age where the companies are already complaining that they're not bringing home enough of the produce. Like, I think that is but if you're looking actually at quite self defeating. Yeah, but, but like, the, the thing that they're doing is like if you look at Australia, right? No, I'm not looking at Australia. Cash. Because Why Australia not? is a highly politically one-sided country. Poli there, there's one one politics in Australia. It is an incredibly no, woke but country. The system, the system that I'm talking about can be implemented anywhere. Right? Of course, so like, but it's not if... about the system. That is the point. That is why bridge will not function because it has nothing well, to let, do let me, with the system. Let me, let me describe it first. Let me describe it first so that we're talking about the same thing. Um, if you want to withdraw money from the bank, the bank just says we don't operate with cash. So, so if you're just an average individual, because I hear a lot of people, oh, well, I use Bitcoin. But if you're an average individual and you just get to work for a company, like you're working for Amazon or you're working for Walmart or whatever, they will pay you through the banking system. So you technically do not have the cash anymore, right? Like your money is electronic. You, you, can't, you cannot withdraw it. I don't see why that system can't happen in Europe, by the way. Now, Wait. if your money is electronic, right? then the credit card can decide, oh, you're not going to have, like, the bridge initiative. So, like, if you don't spend money wisely, if you buy too much meat, then you get uh, deductible. Like, you're losing cash. Sure, um, but this is you... all woke. All of this is yeah. woke. That is the thing. Yeah. That is the entire point. We have made woke a negative word. That is the only way we can defeat woke. We haven't spent the last 10 years making ESG unpalatable specifically. It's all about making woke bad. Anything that, that can that be defined true. as woke. Uh, I do think that more people are aware of what wokeness is than they used to be. Yes. I, I do think that woke is a bad word in the common language. Uh, so, yeah, maybe. Whatever. Yeah, Woke has absolutely been made into a bad word. No doubt about it. I, I know it's made because they're, they're hating it. And it's also the simple fact and, that and if, the irony of it is that it's their word. Like they, they're the ones that create. If you don't make it into a bad word, there's there's no point. There's no stopping it. Yeah. It's it's retarded. Like you can't stop bridge. You can't stop the next. You can't stop the next one because there are five thousand of these initiatives, and they're all yeah, founded yeah. by no, organizations like, much larger than you. That's why you need to hit when, again when it the comes culture. To the gaming industry. The good thing is, like a lot of people say, well, you can't boycott it. Uh, you don't need to. Like people are just. 
not buying all new games. Like, like you're looking at the best, uh, sorry, the most played games last year. Top seven are old games. Like people just play old shit now. They they don't play new stuff. Mm -hmm. So like the boycott is happening, um, and it's not ideological. It's just that the product is just so bad that people aren't interested in it. And, and if you look at the video gaming industry, number one, it takes it's more expensive like like the games are actually costing more now than they used to they are worse like in, in graphics and in most of the things you look at games from um five or six years ago they, they actually look better like batman arkham city is, is actually better in gameplay and in story than most new games and it took less developers to make so you now need more people to make it it's more expensive the, the product is not as good so people just don't buy it Ah, population just doesn't count NPCs. No will. Uh, Gavin not here. Mute V before he snatches defeat from the jaws of victory. That is well. Waco and Ruby Ridge would like to a word with V's definition on rights. And sure, eventually why, why the government can bring it up. Why is my definition of rights bad? Like, every, every definition of rights is going to be bad at some point. But, like, my point is that when... Like, like the government will take as much as it can until people say no. Like, when enough people say no, the government backs down. Like, even if it's... Like, if every single black person in the United States would have said, uh, fuck you, government, when it comes to the pandemic, they wouldn't have any single pandemic measures. That sounds awfully much like a argument for collectivism, V. It's not, it's not necessarily collectivism. Like, people don't actually have to talk with each other. It's just that enough people are pissed off and, uh, and, and upset then the government regulation drops. And the reason, like, what, what what governments do in order to prevent that from happening is to get people to fight amongst each other. Like, the whole wokeness thing is because you had the populist left and the right uniting against Occupy Wall Street, right? So, like, the government goes, like, all right, well, fight amongst yourself with woke ideology and leave us alone. Ah, uh, Michael Levin, Dev accepts the aristocrats. The meme... Rain tenor. So Dev is just J.K. Rowling, a communist with one small difference. Yes, largely. And as well, Dev does buy into diversity. Just ask him what he thinks about segregation or the freedom of association. Uh, Defend best Archcast ever, Mr. Arch. An Arch they need to read The War That Ended Peace. Uh, Sandu, my high school history teacher, loves the Puritans for their absurd beliefs. He described their beliefs as if you feel joy, then you're going to hell. Reasonable enough. I'm foul. All right, V, would you sacrifice your baby to be endlessly tortured so 20 million people would live comfortable lives? Yes. <laughs> there you go. It's the same shit like allowing your baby to go to war. PC, let's split the baby and send the kids to war. Why not? I'm as foul. Dick Cheney is the most moral on moral man on the planet, according to V's L take, since he sent many men to war. Uh, Rain Teller, if Ukraine dudes are getting catfished and kidnapped. <laughs> I think mean, Ukraine dudes are getting catfished and kidnapped. Oh, I should get catfished, I guess. No one. With regulations but no incentive, you get the FAA and Boeing. With correct incentives, you no longer need regulations. Uh, Rick said, I'd vote for Biden during wartime since I bet he'd leave the progs more vulnerable to crimes at home. That's one way of viewing it. And that, finally, is the... Lost super jet. <laughs> all right. Thank you all. How's your game going, Art? Uh, well, but that's a secret, V. Bad V. Bad. Oh. Bad. Eh. Bad V. Eh. Bad. Even the fact that you're making a game? Yeah, sort of. Hmm. I thought you said it on stream before. Mm, maybe. I can't remember now. Yeah. You did. 100%, I'm sure. Until next time, chat. Thank you very much for watching, and for your very generous donations, and we'll see you all again, maybe even with D&D, next week. But I wouldn't hold my breath. Have a good